No, I just want to find out some information on what have you, okay? Um, let me ask you this. What level of education did you complete? Uh, I have some college, some online college, and a lot of military, some military kind of school. Okay, so obviously I'd you graduated high school. Yes, I'd say with all the combined, maybe two or three years college, with combined online and military. So online, military, combined college. What did you specialize in? Uh, computer, hardware, repair, and things like that, computer network. Okay. Do you understand the English language? Yes. Can you write the English language? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions relating to drugs and alcohol. There's one main reason to ask you, just to make sure you're clear-headed today relating to this interview so you understand everything coming out of my mouth, okay? Are you under the influence at all when it comes to any type of drugs or alcohol at this time? No. Okay. When's the la do you drink at all? Yeah, I do. When's the last time you drank? Then? Last week or first, you know, about a week and a half or so. Okay. Do you take any drugs at all? No. Okay, and what I mean by drugs, obviously, street. nothing, nothing. Okay, the other thing would be prescription. Nothing. Okay. When it comes to being clear-headed today, do you feel clear-headed? Yes. Can you understand everything coming out of my mouth yes. today? Okay, and I seem like I can understand everything coming out of your mouth. You seem, in a blunt term, very with it, okay? As long as that officer gave you the purpose for saying me, did he repeat what I had told him verbatim? What he had told me is that he said that you wanted to talk to us about um, something relating to Ammons. That Correct. it had something to do with Ammons, is Correct. what he said. Correct. He, he the, the, the thing that had come from my sergeant, because what happens is that officer that you're talking about called my sergeant. And okay. in turn, my sergeant called me. So I'm getting... The story okay. from from well, him, and it was my understanding that you wanted to talk something about Ammons, correct? And then also, and this was just the wording they used that you wanted to clear the air and you wanted to talk about Ammons and talk about this case and, well, and something the, related to Ammons. The, the case and perspective uh, uh, of that last couple of days that when when you're questioning my family, right, and not questioning me, mm -hmm. and, and you question folk that knew nothing about those last couple of days, last couple of days of. When Pastor Nella was living. Okay. And, and we'll talk about that today. That if no, you're willing to do that, we'll talk about that I'm today. not getting too, too far in that. And that right, and naturally, you, you wouldn't expect me to get too far into that. But I'll, I'll get... Uh, my, my, my purpose of seeing you, because I've, I've never met you. Okay. And my family met you. Okay. And well, they, did your family say I was a bad guy? No. Okay. Well, I mean... Did you know, your family ever say that I disrespected them? No. You're an officer of the law, and you, you're, you're on that side, with, and, and we're on this side now. Okay. And, and that's just how it is right now sure and uh when it would i'll get right into it because i don't want to waste your time you're not wasting my time and as soon as we get done with these questions so I'll, I'll, I'll ask you some questions we'll get right into right. it okay all right okay so you feel clear-headed today yes and you understand everything going on yes okay you understand why you're down here yes and it relates to the passionate of prince case that's correct okay. Okay. Uh, you told me that my house when they arrested me finally right they told you at the house but i'm telling you that again yes. today. you you've already told me that earlier okay yes. All right, before we go any further, I already told you that I got to read you your rights, okay? And I'm going to use this form to read you your rights, okay? It's an Omaha Police Rights Advisory form, and I'll just put your name up here. Okay, your address. Today's the 23rd of June. Central Station. Yeah. 
I started the interview at around 1544, so I'm going to put that here. And I'm reading your rights at approximately 1600 hours. Okay? It's obviously conducted by me. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to need a yes or no from you. Okay? I would like to advise you that I'm a police officer. Do you understand that? You have the right to remain silent and not make any statements or answer any of my questions. Do you understand that? Yes. Anything that you may say can and will be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to consult with a lawyer and have a lawyer with you during questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. If you cannot afford a lawyer, the court will appoint one to represent you. Do you understand that? Yes. Knowing your rights in this matter, are you willing to talk to me now? Yes. But somewhere in there, uh, you know, this is new to me, but I, I can stop questioning at any time. Anytime you want. But that you, did, you didn't mention that. It's not part of your rights here. Okay. It's not on this list. Okay. But you're, you're mentioning that, yeah, if you want to stop anytime, you can certainly stop at any time. Correct. It depends on uh, which route. You, you, you have to understand that, you know, where I'm at now, my life has just changed. I understand that. And... For me sitting here, I don't know if this is a good move. I know what the lawyer would tell me. Okay. To let him do the talking. But then as that becomes a, a game, so to speak, of, of who's the smartest and who's the wittiest. And the truth may not even come out. Well, that's the thing that I want is the truth. Yeah, so the, that right there to me is a bunch of shit. That I want the truth? No, 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 no. Okay. That the the game that if I look, uh, speak to the lawyer and it, you guys have to give it to uh, the prosecutor, then they do their thing. Okay. And then it's it's nonsense to me. Okay. Me sitting here is nonsense. Okay. So you ask me something here. I mean, I, well, let me tell you what I told the guy in, in verbatim in the truck. What you told the guy verbatim in the truck? You said the officer. Okay. Officer. We're talking about today now. Today, in route, correct. He said something, and he said, well, what, what, what's on your mind? And my response to him is that particular day or that weekend when the gentleman, I don't know his name, got shot up on six different names, that was from 10, 15 years ago. And it came to the street. I, I'm pretty sure that that's what got me here is talk and, 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 and get him and get him and, and persecute me. It's not me. Okay. The That weekend, that guy was shot. Uh, someone called her and told her that uh, uh, that had happened. And then within uh, a day or so, all the buddies start popping up at the house. And she started having something to do pertaining to that incident up there on 60th, because there was a lot of folk in town for that funeral that we knew. Okay. Some of these folk, you know, in retrospect, when you look back, if, if I'd have just broke up eight, nine months prior to that, I wouldn't be sitting there now. Okay. Maybe someone else would, but a damn sure wouldn't be me. Okay. And that weekend, about the weekend of her death? That's correct. Okay. That, that weekend, no one in our in my neighborhood saw that, that saw anything other than a bunch of traffic at our house for that funeral, for that wake her, for that whatever. But it was my birthday weekend. Okay. So naturally, you already know you know this, other than the, the damage part. So I went to my birthday party. What day was that? I don't know the exact one now. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, do you Friday, know Friday, Thursday, Friday, Friday. Okay. Friday. All right. I mean, I don't know the exact date. That, no, that, and I'm not suggesting that you know the date. You know what the day is. Yeah, it, it was a Friday. Friday, okay. You said you went to your birthday party. Correct. With all my family members, correct. And she went to the, uh, 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 something dealing with a, uh, play. Then she's hanging out with the folks for the week because the week was the next day. Okay, so she, we're talking about the same night as the birthday party. She went to where now? Something dealing with a play. Okay. And, uh. I mean, we're on good terms. Listen, if we're on, we have two vehicles. We had two vehicles. 
You and who? Passion now. Okay. She asked me at one point to get a van because of daycare. So I went down and helped her get a van. And I was making a note on that van. And I, that was my primary mode of transportation was the van. And she had the Impala, which was a slight better vehicle than the van. If we were in any type of spat, she would not have let me. I used the Impala for my birthday. She said, baby, use the Impala okay. for my birthday. And I did. And what she said, I may or may not make it, but I'll see you when you get home. All right. Okay. There was no beef there. All right. The, the beef came apparently with someone from out of town or or maybe not. There's, and I don't, you got to understand, I mean, I could flood you with possibilities that I, I'm going to have to tell my lawyer, but I can flood you with these things. Okay. But it, at this point, it makes no sense because I have on a leg irons and you're sitting there. So well, I'd like to know what you basically, basically what I'd, I'd like to know what you feel or how you feel or what you think. Basically, if, if that was the case, you'd contact. Me. Okay, not the case. You'd contact me. Not the case. What do you mean? Do you remember the first night that you were down here when she when she was found? Correct. I who did you? Lawyer. There right. you go. So from that point on, you can't talk. To me. There you go. Unless I reach out to you. There you go. Gotcha. So, See, so so this mindset of yours that, boy, if you wanted to talk to me, you reach out no, to no, me. You answer the question. Sir, I'm following the rules that you, I'm supposed to follow. You answer the question. You answer the question. You, once I signed that piece of paper, you, I was hands off. There you yeah. go. So, that, that so was, see, now today, you reached out to us. Yeah. So, so I'm interested, obviously, to know how you feel. I mean, if you want to flood me with possibilities, I'm good with that. Flood me with possibilities. I'm no. interested to know how you feel. One thing is, okay, look. one thing is, I'm interested in is about. Do you know how long you know knew her? Yes. How long did you know her? Most of my life. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I went to school with her, so I mean that's that's not where I'm going with. The, most of my life. The where did you guys go to school with? Her? Well, she went to. I didn't go to school. I mean, high school in the same city. High school in the same. I didn't city. go to the same school with her. Did you, like, was your family friends or something? Is that how you became friends? Or? Omaha is just a small city. Okay. Yeah, Omaha is just a small city. How did you meet her, do you remember? No. I mean, that's many, 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 many ninth grade, 10th grade. Who knows how, you know, what happens during high school years. How old are you right now? I'm 45. Okay. And obviously she died three years ago. Mm -hmm. How old was she when she died? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? About she was a year younger than me, so 40. Around, somewhere around, around there. Right. Okay. So if you look at her being 40 in 2006, and if you're looking at maybe ninth grade, I'm just going to put an approximate age here, maybe 13 or 14 years old. So you may have known her since you were 13 or 14, or she was 13 or 14? No, not. I've seen her in the city. I mean, not. I'm always a small city. Right. And guys look at cute girls mm -hmm. and, and there's a lot of cute girls when I was growing up. Okay. I didn't know her because you know she was her 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 she was at one school without a next and I didn't have a vehicle. So if you see them you see them if you don't you don't. But I know we did, we were not high school nothing. Okay. Ever. She was doing her thing in high school, I was doing mine. Okay. I didn't finally hook up with her until later on in life. But how old do you think you would have been then? Just about. Really don't know, because I was in... Really don't know. Okay. I'm getting well, possibilities, because right now you're, you're, you're doing what I don't want to happen. What's that? And that's to, to do your job in a way that I don't know you're doing your job, which is fine. That, that's your job. Well, well, here, My, here, here's the thing. I okay, is that you, you are her boyfriend at the time that this happened. Okay? Correct. Already, I'm correct. trying to get as much information as possible from everybody relating to this investigation. It's got to be obvious to you that I'm not scared to reach out to people because I'm reaching out to your family, too. So it's no different. I'm asking you the same questions that I asked them. I'm asking you the same questions that I asked her side. Okay. I'm asking you the same questions that I asked the people that she knew, whether it be at the play, People uh -huh. relating to the daycare, whatever it may we be. We never, ever, 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 ever had a had a uh, knockdown fight. 
I pushed her off of me a few times. Never hit Passionella. Never did nothing. Okay. Her cousins next door are gang members, and 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 well, I take that back. That's they're just different characters next door. Okay. I'd be a fool to start something with that type of people next door. Okay. I never put my hands on her, and all this all this nonsense I've heard. I'm pretty sure you've heard that we fought. I was this. That's not. That's so far from the truth. That last weekend when she was alive, we were in good spirits. And we had broken up a hundred times and got back together. That was no different than any other time. Okay. She gave me the, the best car and said, baby, enjoy yourself. I may make it, I may not. That's no need for no one to get upset. That's no need for nothing. And, okay. and wherever she went and whoever she, you know, was associating with that particular weekend, mm -hmm. God, happened, God, she was with the wrong people. Okay. Apparently. Do you know who that was? I, 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 I didn't put my hands together a thousand times. And I knew this day would come only because, and this is no plight on the Omaha Police Department. It's because when I came down here and knocked on this door, and when I not knock, I say knock because it's just a, t a term. Okay. When I came down here and let you guys know, here I am, talk to me that first night. The first night, okay. And I let you know where I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't have nothing to hide. You took pictures of me. You took my DNA. You took everything. Okay. That night. And I know her. She's a feisty lady. Okay. And if something were to happen to her, she'd put up a fight. Okay. And then and the only DNA in that house is in the in where it's supposed to be with me. Okay. I never harmed her. Never. Okay. Even when she harmed me, I never harmed her. She had put us this scar on my head is from her. Which one? See that little line right there? Mm-hmm. We left a club one night, and she, I guess I said something uh, 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 to a female, and I was walking in the kitchen, and she pushed me, and I hit this. Oh, hit my, the table? Hit, oh, the, the, the counter in that kitchen is like a round. Oh, okay. Counter. I hit the counter, and I, hey, go on, go on, pushed her away, and exited out the door real quick. I didn't leave to go start some nonsense. I went down to my family's house and made up an excuse. I didn't let them know because I didn't want no fights in the family. Mm -hmm. I told him something else happened to me. What did you tell him? That uh, I got into a, a fight or some non—I don't—I don't remember some nonsense. I didn't tell him that we was fighting because I, you know, had I had some hothead people that was over there. Okay. But I didn't tell him that. Right. But I never put my anything close to fighting her. Okay. And I'm 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 baffled. That three years later, when you guys had me in your custody, what has transpired? Okay. You're baffled by that? Yes. Right. Other than uh, uh, conversations with people. I mean, I'm, I'm hearing you asking about watches and, 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 and uh, uh, damn businesses of, of this nature, of that nature. Okay. Which, that rings bells to me. It wouldn't ring bells in my family, but if you ask me uh, what a watch like that looked like, I can tell you. It looked like one of them uh, idiots that she let spend the night on a regular basis. Who, was the, who would that be? Uh, that she let uh, Marvell's, uh, 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 he's a gang member. That's just, he used to walk around the house in a, uh, in a damn bulletproof vest. Who's that? Marvell, that's okay. Marvin's son, right. Marvell. She would let his little uh, buddies spend the night while he wasn't there. He'd leave and they'd just be running in and out. And they wear crap like that. And she would buy uh, 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 booster clothes for them late at night. The phone rang at 1130. I'm like, baby, what you doing? She'd get up, go downstairs and start trying on clothes with two or three strangers. Well, one person she know, but everybody don't got to come in the damn house. Okay. Then I leave. I, I don't. I can't have myself. And I was working at, at, at ConAgra at the time. Mm -hmm. I can't have myself trying to work, trying to help you with the daycare, and got to stay up all night with this nonsense. How long did you work for ConAgra? Do you remember? Man. 
I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you. Okay. All right, Why'd you leave there? Somewhere around there. There's a uh, discrepancy on my uh, the uh, application. I put something. Uh, my wording was one way, and they wanted it another way, and that was that. And they found this a year later. Correct. Well, actually, that that's not why. That's another thing. They found it because I got a promotion from. Uh, 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 since you brought up I-20, I got a promotion. I was a uh, quality assurance supervisor. Okay. Then I was promoted to uh, uh, the microbiology lab. I was running the microbiology lab. And the, the, the line supervisors care more about production than food safety. Okay. So the, the, the books they gave me to read, I said, I can't release this food or that food until the samples come back. And then I kept bumping heads, this, and kept, no, I can't do this, can't do that. Then they eventually came up with that. So that wasn't why they fired me. They fired me because I wasn't releasing food like they wanted. You're bumping heads with the management about food release. Correct. Okay. You remember when you lost your job? No. I don't know that exactly. No. Well, was it, a, do you remember it being, I mean, I'm just wondering, do you remember it being around the time of her death? or do you Oh, know it being no, before? no, no, that was well before. Well before? Well before, because after okay. that, I started working, uh, I got a, uh, another job. And then that was, to her that was a plus because she was having some uh, financial problems. So okay. then I could help her out. Do you remember where you were working at the time of her death? I just left uh, 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 West Telemarketing. Okay. Just left there because I uh, just got some good information about some other jobs. There are some conflicts and schedules in West. I was working with Earthlink and Earthlink Line Group okay. closed down. So I was a uh, what, what they call a, a master technician there. Okay. You know how long you had that job? No, it wasn't too long. It was just two months, six, four to six months. Now, is that the job you had that you, did you have that? Okay, wait a minute, if you lost the job. Did you lose that job before or after her death? Or do you remember? I believe that was before. Yeah. Do you know how long before? Mm, no. But again, that that all was a a plus because I was wherever I worked, I ran the daycare, and I don't I don't any anybody. Well, with my, my name's I'm throwing to my lawyer, but my name's so all everybody coming that door at the daycare met me ninety eight percent of the time. I don't care if I worked in Conagra. Wherever, wherever, wherever. That's the type of guy I am. Let her sleep. Let her, she was going through some stuff. I always had something going on. Okay. So sleep in. I'll take care of this as long as I give me a couple hours of sleep before I go to work. Okay. So you were doing a favor, obviously, doing that. I wouldn't consider it a favor. I was, I was staying there. Okay. You know, I was in a relationship. I wouldn't consider that a favor. Do you know how long you were staying there? How long you did stay there? Off and on for... I don't know exactly. I say off and on for about a year, year and a half. Okay. Do you know how long you guys dated? I mean, if she was found deceased February of '06, right? Do you so know how long you dated before that? About about. I mean, we, we had our spat, so I mean, it, it's not a direct line. I mean, we, we would break up for a couple months, mm -hmm. get back together, okay. break up for two or three months, get back, you know, it, okay. it was. So how long did that go then? I mean, when you, it was my understanding that you lived in Washington at one point, mm -hmm. okay? Then you left the military, is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right. I stayed in Washington. I'm sorry, you stayed in Washington. I stayed in Washington after I got to the military for quite a while. Okay. Then you came back to Omaha. Correct. Do you know when you came back to Omaha? Not the exact date, no. Just ar around general time period. No, I'm I'm, f I'm flustered right now. I, I mean, this is not a time for my brain to be okay picking up dates. When you came back to Omaha, did you start seeing her then? Mm, yes and no, because I had the other interests. So, I mean, we we bumped into each other with 
yes and no, not directly. When do you think you started dating her then after you moved to Omaha? Just approximately, how many months later? Just the best of your ability. I mean, dating her seriously about yeah. six, eight, six, about, about four to six. Four to six months, okay. So after moving to Omaha, maybe, and again, we're just putting maybe here, four to six months later, you start dating her seriously, okay? Well, we decided it was, you know, we decided that we were going to try something. That was a meaning you start a relationship. Right. Me and her okay. decided that. Correct. Well, yeah, I'm guessing that it wouldn't right. be one right. or the other. Right. I'm I mean, guessing that if you guys right. are going to date and start living with each other, that you're both going to have to probably agree to that. Right. But I'm just putting that out there because, right. you know, sometimes some relationships are one sided and mm -hmm. uh, other folks are in there for the wrong reason or, or feel that they, like they have to be for whatever reason. Okay. But I'm just putting that out there. That was a, a mutual thing. After you started dating her seriously, did you start living with her then? No. How, how long do you think it was before you started living with her? No. Because you, you said that you may have lived there on and off between a year and a year and a half. So I guess that would be about right. I, I think, would say I, we thought about it, but I, there were some things that I, you know, we had to talk about, like her, uh, her, oh boy, wearing the, Who's old boy? But Marvin. Oh, is Marvin's son. Right, okay. I can't be in a house with someone walking around with a bulletproof vest on. And people laid up. One morning I woke up, he had left one of his friends and a couple other people sleep on the floor and blocked her in with some vehicle and left. Mm -hmm. And she has to open up a daycare. At the time, she has a daycare on 45th and Bedford, the Omaha School for the Deaf, okay. in that area, okay. which it was not too far from Lake Street. Okay. So I had to run because the parents dropped their kids off at 7. Okay. And I had to run from there while she waited to hash it out with Marvell and put these people out the house. Okay. And then when I get back, the uh, some little dude sitting outside uh, drives a white, well, I don't know what he's, I'm sure he still don't have it, uh, a white, like an Impala, mm -hmm. the souped up, not souped up, but loud, okay. with the, with the uh, two pipes in the back, sitting out there looking kind of angry, mm -hmm. because I guess he put them out, you know, and she's kind of feisty, you know, she put, she got, you know, a mouth, so okay. she, she put them out in, in a way that probably pissed them off, mm -hmm. and then I'm not, but the vehicle that needed to be moved was still there. What kind of vehicle was that? Yeah, it was that white one. White. Impala. That white Impala was still okay. there blocking both the vehicles in. Mm -hmm. We couldn't pick the kids up. We couldn't do anything okay. until uh, 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 Marvell was finally found. Okay. And then they hashed it out in private. You know, she didn't want me to uh, uh, get in, involved in that. Because my, my words with him would have been totally different. That's disrespectful. I don't, okay. I'm not sure exactly what she said. All right. To him, in reference to that. Okay. Why? Why was? Uh, do you have any idea why? Was he staying there then? Yeah. Why? He had. He had. That's a good question. Well, I. She. I mean, she has a kind heart. She. She looked at him as her son, and raised him up. Okay. But he was old enough to be out on his own. But he. he Did had, you ever know them to have problems? I mean, serious problems. Not. Not problems, problems, okay. but I was about to come into some money because of uh, um, Marvin, his social security or whatever kicked in. So they, uh, he was about to come into like a hundred and some thousand dollars. Okay. And she had talked him in to putting some uh, money in a bank, but okay. we all got incarcerated again for felon in possession of a weapon. They okay. raided the house, and I knew I had to go. When I'm I'm holding kids in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and 30 officers- They raided, weapons, they raided her house. Like 30 officers around the house, and we had to, get, that's when we had to daycare at the house. Okay. With, it was remnants, because it, it was late that afternoon, about sixes. And I'm trying to go out the back door, and, I, and officers out there with automatic weapons. Okay. So that, that was a problem. Uh -huh. and. The money that she had 
stash. She, she had told me she had put, she just kept saying a, a lump sum, she called it locked up, okay. You know, okay. was placed in this bank account. And they would always hash that out here and there in reference to that. So okay. I don't know where that went while he was incarcerated. Okay. Because the guy that used to live in his apartment, who was that? Uh, the guy lives next door to her. Okay. He has, I gotta get his name, it's a street name. He has a light skinned guy with braid, uh, twisted hair, very, very long hair. Okay. He used to be Margot's roommate? Roommate. Okay. At the uh, Benson Garden, where I stay. Okay. They had an apartment out there, and uh, apparently they placed uh, a year or so worth of rent which I don't know if that's true or not, mm -hmm. but that's what the conversation I overheard in passing. Okay. Because whenever I came around, the conversation shifted. Okay. There was uh, a conversation shift at all times, and that's something, again, that troubled me, and that's when we would separate. Now, when you get this together, mm -hmm. you give me a call. Okay. Then she give me a call. Like I, I like women. Mm -hmm. I like uh, to be around women. It's you know I don't have any ill for women. Okay. I have no need to be jealous of a woman. Okay. So I can get any woman. Not get, I, I'm not like I'm a superstar, but I'm just a, a, a nice guy. It don't have to be the finest woman, mm -hmm. but just good company. I don't need to, nonsense. I exit away from nonsense. Okay. And I would leave for two or three months, two or three months, get that shit together. I don't need to come home from work at 11 o'clock at night and you have a party going on on a Wednesday mm -hmm. or a Thursday or a Tuesday. You know, every now and then that's fine, but it always would end up me getting up in the morning. Okay. Even though I work, the, I work second shift at Connect, mm -hmm. and I got off at one ish sometime. So look, I might want to sleep in, right. but if you up party and can't get up, mm -hmm. and then when you get up again, you want to party. Well, I'm out. Hey, you run your daycare. I'll mm -hmm. talk to you later. Okay. You know, when you settle this shit down, call me, okay. and that's what she would do. Okay. I don't have a problem with leaving her. All right. I, I would I would recommend sometime let, let's separate and till you do this you know where I'm at mm -hmm. and then she would come down to my sister's house Michelle's house for for barbecues I would barbecue for her what's Michelle's last name okay I would I would barbecue for her down at that house I I, I didn't have a problem leaving her All right. and leaving her knowing that she was gonna date other guys once we broke up a guy was in her house you know who that was yeah I uh, I know this guy uh. uh don't know his name. He's the one of the taller guys from the play. Uh, he, he remembered. He, but he, he moved over to it. I know this because she wanted to go to one of his plays. I didn't want to go. His name will come to me. Did he actually? I believe, go ahead. I believe he worked at uh, uh, Union Pacific because okay. the that day I came in. He stood up. Big guy. He about taller than you. Type guy, like how tall is your partner that came down there to pick me up? He's a big guy, six three maybe. He's a little bit taller than him, you know. Okay. He's a big guy, a little, little, little wider. Okay. And he stood up, shook my hand. Okay. I said, it was, you know, we introduced ourselves cordially, and I went upstairs. I said I had to get something from upstairs. Excuse me for one second. And he said, not a problem, you know. Went on upstairs. She was getting dressed, putting on a, 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 a I believe a black dress or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, because it was right near her birthday or, or whatever. And she said, oh, he's about to take me out to dinner. I said, that's cool, I just want to take this, you know. And I just gave her a look like, you know where I'm going, you know. So, she was, Now, were you staying there at that time? We had, that, that was during one of those couple of months off type periods. Okay. But I still had stuff there. Yeah, you know, I never, we never say, okay, it's over. We just say we're going to take a break okay. type deal. All right. I left. They went out to dinner. And she, she called my cell phone and said, uh, uh, I guess to sort of clear the air to tell me that how'd you put it oh we just went out to eat he's gone i'm gonna spend the night with i don't care that's your business you know i guess he wanted to to, to see where my head would see if i see if i was at the club or whatever the the jealousy was on her part because possibly what she was doing behind my back but it didn't bother me. you think she was seeing people behind your back i have my suspicions but i mean it wasn't it was a we're not behind my back when we were together, but when we separate, it's really none of my business. Okay, so when you were together, you don't think she was seeing anyone? No. Okay. If so, she was good at you know keeping the secret because we knew where we 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 were at all times. Okay. 
were you seeing anyone when you were together? When we separated a couple times. When you separated, right? right. When you were together? No. No. Okay. Not when we were together? No. When we okay. separated? Yes. Okay. And it was not, there was only one person. For who? For me. Who was that? A uh, girl by the name. Yes. Well, what, do you know her last name? Is she here in Omaha? No. I believe she went back to Hawaii. Um, give me a second. Is she from Omaha? No, she's from Bellevue. Bellevue, Nebraska. Correct. Okay. That's right. How about how old is she? Now. Now? I'm going to be in her late 30s. 30, 35, 36 or something. Somewhere there. And I dated her when we had, we was having problems. She was, you know, we knew that we was about to separate. And we did separate for a moment. Okay. And it wasn't me and Maria didn't date, it was just a flink, like a week or two mm -hmm. flink. Okay. That did you then start living in the house? No, 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 okay. no, 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 But Maria is Bellevue. Right. And she, is she a Hispanic female or is she yes. a Hispanic female? No, no, not. She's. I'm only basing that on right. the last name I was. Right. Say. I don't know. I wouldn't say. I would say more of Asian descent. Asian. Okay. But her, her, her people was in the military over in Hawaii. Okay. And because I've seen her around uh, here and there with, with, with people who spoke Spanish and there was never any connection. Okay. On that. Now, is that, is that her first name? Yes, it is. Female, maybe late 30s right now. Mm -hmm. And you think she went back to Hawaii now? Well, that's... When I when we that was back contact, then. okay, that that was her plans to go to Hawaii and go back to Japan and come back and then go from there. Okay, you know I mean? she she likes to travel. Did she work? Yeah, where did she work? Conagra with me. Oh, she worked at Conagra too. Right. Okay, what did right. she do there? Do you she know? was a uh, trainer. She was a quality assistant. Before I moved into the lab, I was training someone to fill in some slots. Okay. So you dated her when you and Passion would be on the outs. Correct. Well. I don't want those splits. I don't want those splits. Right. Okay. Did you date anyone else? No. Okay. And you think that Passion dated this guy from Union Pacific? Well, I don't know if they dated. Okay. I don't know if they dated. I know that, you know, because shortly after that, we start hanging out again. And then I've seen I've seen him, and her words to me, I could have had him if I wanted him and all this other, you know, I'm like, hey, that's, that's, all, that's your business. Right. That's not for me. I mean, right. the jealousy is not something... Contrary to what you've heard, now I've heard all this on the street that I'm I'm this. No, I'm not. Well, what have you heard on the street? That I'm jealous. I, I beat her. I uh, 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 was overly possessive. I was this. I was that. No. When, when we were together, we, we shared a mutual uh, 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 deal that maybe let me know you had for your safety. I'll let you know where I'm at. So we don't have to worry about each other. And that's that. Never uh, don't go here, don't call me. She was always gone. So there, I, I accepted that when I started to date her. Okay. She was always, she, she's a, a busy body. All right. Always got something going on. So I was the, there for her to pick her son up, cart her son from boys club to soccer game to his friend's house, picking his, uh, uh, all his friends up, taking them places while she's doing her thing. Okay. There was nothing uh, that would upset me about her. I knew that, look, if I was going to be upset, it would have happened that day when I walked in the house and she had a guy in the house. And this was in July. She had a guy in there. And you know who that was? That's that tall guy. Oh, that's the, that's the guy from UP. That's the guy. That was, that was in, okay, that would have been in July because you said it was right, right around her birthday. Right around her birthday. Correct, because she, she had just left. That would, that, would that be the July then before her death? Yes. I guess. So if, yes. she, if it was 06 that she died, it'd be 05. Yeah. Okay. That, that summer prior. Okay. It was then, and because like five hours. This is this is this is how I got up to to stop by the house. I, I, you know, when we're out, I just don't stop by the house. She had just left Michelle's house. Okay. okay. She had just left Michelle's house 
that day. And were they friends? Yeah. They were friends, okay. I mean, she, she watched Michelle's kids. Okay. Um, she had just left her house that day. We had a cookout. I had um, cooked you something after church, come on up, because the church is right down the street. So she came up after church. I had the barbecue going, grilled some stuff. We had some laughs. And she said that her cell phone rang. She said, well, I have to go in about half hour, 45 minutes. And I told her, well, I need, to, I have my computer stuff over there. I said, I need some stuff. Over her passion. Correct. Okay. I said, I need some stuff, X, Y, and Z. And she said, either come get it today or tomorrow, whenever. You know, she said, and pass, you know, just laughing with, with uh, Michelle. And I was doing something, uh, I don't know what I was doing, but I said, I'm going to stop by, you know, probably sometime this weekend. Or maybe today, if you're going home, let me get, get out the way, because I don't want to, I'm not the type that have you strung out waiting, I mean, uh, me waiting to get in your house to get something. Mm -hmm. You know, because I gave her the keys. I don't have keys to your house, I'm going to have to knock. Okay. Now I don't want to be knocking on your door. All right. And I, I don't know if she knew the guy was going to be there or what. I don't know what that was. But I knocked on the door. He answered. Right. Shook hands, went on upstairs. There was no anger. Okay. How do you think she knew this guy again? At the play. At the play. Okay. He was he was in the... What's the name of that play? I, I can tell you exactly how we can get a picture of him. He was in the... Uh, if you go to the website, okay. there's a couple plays that she's in. And there's a big guy. Kind yeah. of why talk, mm -hmm. and he met me, and I was cordial, and I left. And even he, she told me uh, three, four days. Ago, I don't know why she brought it up, but she said something along the lines. See, my mind is coming back now, but I, I prefer to be sitting in front of my lawyer, writing this all off. But I don't have nothing to hide from you. Well, it's up to you. You, you, you. Uh, right, I'm here. I, I'm here. Well, you, you mentioned that, so I mean, I got to cover that. Is you're saying that you? No, know that? I said I prefer, but I'm gonna finish the statement. Okay, I'm gonna finish the statement. All right. He, she said. That he told her that that guy that came over, she said, oh, that's Patrick. She said, I, I recognize him. He said, as, as, that's good. He's not, he wasn't confrontational. Because I guess he'd been in situations where a, a, a guy that's dating someone comes over and the guy's there. Mm -hmm. That's an issue. Right. Well, no issue to me. Because okay. we're not together. And we're not married. Okay. You know, if, if she want to cheat, and I did the world for her. There's no need. Look, if you want to lose that, someone else will pick it up. Okay. That's how I live. I don't get upset about females enough, especially enough to be sitting here in some shackles. Okay. And I don't mind talking to you. I'm gonna let my lawyer know I, I had this conversation with you. Well, again, you're mentioning that again. I mean, before I start asking any more questions, do you want to continue talking to me without a lawyer? No. I mean, I'm not. Is that a yes or no? Yes. I don't, I'm not saying anything that I'm concerned with. No, but you got to understand something is that the law requires me to cover those things and what have you, because if you mention that, I just need to be clear about mm -hmm. that. So, okay. If you want to continue talking, I'm good with that. You know, you, you've mentioned several times through this interview about the last days of her life. You use terminology about the last few days of her life and what have you. Right. So, well, the last. What, 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 what do you remember? If you look at that Friday, we were talking we about this party that you. I'm, I'm going to take you through it. Friday. Okay. The, the daycare. Can you take me slowly through yep. it? Friday the daycare. Okay. Are we talking about daytime now or where? Daytime. Uh, 4 o'clock. P.M. Friday. Okay. So we'll start at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Friday. Uh, before that, really makes, you know, that weekend. No, that. You, got, you need to go to Thursday. Because Thursday, when all them folks start coming in. Okay. Thursday at. I think I got back to the, I don't know where I was. I got there at about 9-ish, 9 p.m. You got work. Back to the house at about 9 p.m. on Thursday. So where were you at before then? Do you remember? I was dealing with something with the, uh, uh, something she had me doing. I did something, then I stopped Okay. I don't remember, but I stopped at uh, families and came back, and there was a party going on. Okay, so Thursday night, you got back to the house, and when we say house, whose house are we talking about? Passionetta's house. And Do you know the address there? 41, 41 Lake Street. Okay. And then basically, you were, you, were, you thought you were dealing with something she wanted you to do, then you stopped at some family's house, and you returned at 9, you said there was a party going on. Well, well, there was people from that, uh, she started introducing me to people she said, this is uh, 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 Marvin's, one of Marvin's best friends. This is one of Marvin's so-and-so, one of, you know, just introducing me to people that I've never seen before. 
I couldn't get in the driveway because those cars I had to park around the corner. All right, so she was introducing you to people. Correct. And then I proceeded on in the kitchen and, and got some food. Okay, can I ask you a couple questions, sir? Mm -hmm. You said she was introducing you to these people, and you think that these people are, you, you had stated earlier, that they're connected to this thing on Ames, is that right? Yes, they were in town for that, uh, 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 I don't know, was that, yeah, that wait funeral that we, that, that was going on that weekend. Okay. And we're, when we're, we're talking about the guy who was killed up off Ames. That's correct. Okay, because you mentioned that earlier in the interview. I just want to make sure I got that. Right, right. Okay, so basically, they're the, when you get back on Thursday night around 9, just approximately, how many think, people do you think are there at the house? Eight, nine. Okay. Did you know any of them? No. Were there any females mixed in that group? One or two, but I didn't know them either. Okay, so one they Because they came with one female was with one, one of the guys as a couple. Okay. And there was a, a female that was just okay. mingling. Okay, so I, don't, I don't believe I was introduced to her. No, that's fine. So two females, and that's not including passion. Correct. Obviously. And then the rest were males. Correct. And she's introducing you, and basically, she was introducing me to people saying, basically, this is Marvin's best friend. Marvin's then, she just starts saying, these are Marvin's peoples. These, these go. These are Marvin's peoples and stuff like They that. know they're here for the. The, the, the situation and then they proceeded to go outside they, they smoked a lot of weed and they would, the people did yeah the passion did the passion did as well okay that night they did yes okay. and I you walk in the house it's you can tell that's they, that they've been doing for quite a while and you said passion did this too yes okay was that common for her to smoke weed? Yes, the, 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 the weed guy was right next door. That's how I, I that's how I met the guy next door. I didn't know those people from County Paint. Did you smoke weed at that no, time? No, no, I don't smoke weed. It's not. She would have me go over there and get and get her weed at all hours of the night. That's how I know that there's some 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 characters over there because they'd have weapons and, and and. But you would go over there and get her weed for her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would now, you ever would, pay for it? No. Okay. She would give me the money. Well, that's what I'm saying. Right. She would, she would pay for it. Right. She would give me the money and okay. I would give it, he would meet me right outside. You know who was selling you weed? No, I'm not getting into that. You're not going to get into it? No, I'm not going to. You just don't gonna, want to? Well, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, one of her neighbors. Yeah, but you're talking about these characters next door. I mean, did you ever suspect these characters next door could have anything to do with this? No. Why is that? Well, this is why. Okay. The people next door. Okay. Because one is uh, a, a, a guy and his mom. And the the guy and her never had other than just a business so-and-so relationship. Meaning a drug business. Right. Let's be real here. Drug okay? business. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. Drug yeah. business. If drug you're going to say business, just put it out there. It drug business it relationship and him and his mama. And there Did was, you ever know Passion had problems with the guy? I mean... I mean, the, I mean, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't, the, the conversations on her phone, mm -hmm. when she got loud or whatnot, she'd leave and mm -hmm. go stand on the porch and finish the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, but sometimes the phone would ring and it would be after, uh, for example, when she got, she had, she loves clothes. She would buy her clothes from boosters and sometimes she would get weed from them boosters and they would come by at all hours of the night. I know a couple of times when she got like had to be nine or ten outfits mm -hmm. from someone, okay. and I'm I'm concerned like we're in a financial crunch, mm -hmm. and you're doing this, you know. Come on now, and then again, that's all right. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna jump through hoops if you're doing this. Okay. So then I would exit. All right. But at least the people next door. I mean, you you had a cordial relationship with them. Yes. And it seemed like. They, she had more. Direct. She did too, right? Yeah. I mean, it is right. what it. I mean, we've we've heard all that. I can tell you that right, right. now. We have won't. never been told one time in no. this entire thing that Passion ever had any problems with the people next door. No, people that down. No, that's they seem like friends or if not right. family, right. very close. Right. Okay. That. No, that oh, okay. All right. That's that's a good relationship. All right. So nine o'clock, you're there, and there's a bunch of people there, obviously smoking weed and whatever. And we kind of went into the little weed stuff. Did you stay home the rest of the night? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, well. 
this is what I did when she had stuff like that. And I had something. This is Thursday night we're talking about again. Correct. And okay. I'm like, pull off the side, baby. You know, you know, we got to get up early. You know, so let's bring this to a close. You pull her aside and told her that. Always. I would always do that. Let's bring this to a close. You know, for one, you don't, you don't like getting up in the morning on a regular morning, let alone after you've been up all night. Okay. Party. How did she react to that? She kissed me and said, all right, like she normally would. And then she would go back in and talk a couple seconds and say, all right, I'm about to shut it down or say something like that all kind of so-and-so and make a, 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 a sexual gesture. Out. You know, she, she, she would say things. To, to get people to leave. I'm about to go upstairs and get my freak on so y'all got to go. Shit like that. Get busy. Right. Okay. Shit like that. And okay. I'm talking to her like, well, you know, you you got folks, now we got people. I always go back to that shit with Marvell. When you let strangers live in your house that you don't know. Okay. You definitely don't just bring, let this part, I told her they had the parties at somebody else's house. They don't, the party don't always got to be here. That's what I was explaining to her. Okay. You don't always have to have a party in your house. There's other folks that have a house. Okay. Go over to their house and ha- let them folks come over to their house. Don't uh-huh. all, especially now that you have a daycare in this house. Okay. Don't. Right. Keep and, doing this. And so you had conversations with her about that. Mm-hmm. Just not letting people come in whenever they want and stuff. Like right. That. And only, well, this, this, your name is on this lease. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I can go back down to Michelle's house. Okay. Do you have any idea what Mel was during this time period? Well, she had mentioned at one point that he, when he got out, I don't know if he was incarcerated or, or whatever, but they've got to have a conversation about some money that she had locked up for him. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if he was out at the time because I hadn't, I hadn't seen him, but I'd seen his, uh, his mama mom I don't know her name she came by and had a conversation with passion what was her name I don't know she had a conversation with passion and I'm sure it was about the money because they got heated okay. and, and and it was saying that uh, passion didn't have a right to hold on to that type of his money and X Y Z he she's the biological mom Mm-hmm. Because Marvel is no no blood to pass. So Marvel's mom was not happy about her having this money, or at least putting it away. Put it away, right? Okay, right. But she actually didn't have it. She put it away from Marvel. She had access. to she it. She had access to she, it, right. right? She put it there and had access. Do you know what bank she did this at, or do you have any clue? Mm-hmm. They did come to me. Let me think about that. I should have mentioned it. But that conversation went on for a couple of days. Okay. And then, I don't know if I was still incarcerated or, or whatever. Okay. But I seen him okay. at the mall. Okay. And he said, what's going on? And shook my hand and kept, you know, just gave me a look. How long, how long was this before her death? This was after. This was after her death. After okay. her death. So at the time of her death, or at least... If you look at that between that Thursday you're talking about right. and Sunday when right. she's found, right. do you have any idea where he's at at that point? No. I don't. Do you even know if no, he's I in custody or not in custody? I don't have a, a. I know he's not. I've just seen him, but I don't know if he was in custody then. I've just seen him. I'm sure you can. You know if he's in custody. No, that's why I'm asking you. Though, I don't right? know. You don't know. Okay. No. So between Thursday, and, between Thursday and Sunday, you have no idea where he well is. You don't know if he's in custody or not. No. Okay. Well, let, let, and let, me, let me give you a scenario. Let me ask you a question. Let's say he's out. Let's say he's not in custody. Do you think he would have any motive to want to hurt her? In your opinion? I don't have any motive. But if... if I'm not, if, I didn't if, ask if, about if you. That, that I asked about him. If that conversation that they kept talking about with that 50... I think like, it's like between thirty dollars and $50,000 that they argued about for some time. I don't know what money would drive somebody to do. Okay. That's not for me to say. But okay. I know that they had conversation in reference to right. that. Okay. And, and, and it, it, well, if there was, if that was a motive relating to him, was that the only one you can think of relating to him? I mean, I've, I've seen some things that 
that that that, that was uncomfortable with them. And for example, uh, uh, at uh, uh, right one of, one of the times I'm like, y'all, that ain't that ain't cool. Let him get one of them little girls. When he take a shower and come out in his boxers and walk right past his, uh, I don't think he knew I was home. Walk right past uh, whatever them little. Uh, they had little girls spend the night two on the floor. Mm-hmm. Walk right past him and ask Passion to put lotion on his back. Mm-hmm. And I'm in the kitchen, and I don't. He, he kind of looks. Oh, I got it. I, I get old girl to do it. Mm-hmm. But I, you know that that to me kind of, you, you know, you, and he's a a grown man, right? And you you, you know blood. Sure. So when I ask her, she said, "Oh, I, you know, I just rage." I'm like, "Well, you need to get you know, that, that's kind of hot, you know, you know." Okay. You know. I mean, you really didn't. I, you really didn't approve. Of- Right when it comes to the shit he was doing, I mean, oh, I am staying the way he was using her house look, or what have you. Look, or, my my approval was uh, neither here nor there because okay. I was I was just trying to put in her ear. Okay, that you have a son now, okay. uh, a younger son that you don't want. And we're this type of Cameron, Cameron. Okay, we don't want. And okay, let him look real from a distance. Okay, so it's my approval of him is 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 nothing. I, there's a lot of guys on the street I don't approve of. But I don't have to live with. Right. So if, if you're gonna have this around, that's not good for Cameron. All right. Especially when you, you got to come downstairs and see him walking around in bulletproof vest in the middle of August. But there were some 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 conversations, arguments about the money when he got his money. He had wrecked her car, mm-hmm. uh, tore the the side view mirror off, mm-hmm. and this was two weeks or so. Before uh, he got his money, mm-hmm. so I guess when he turned a certain age, okay. they they gave him his money, okay. and she she had just become just letting him do stuff that was out of the norm. All right, uh, like use the Impala. Mm-hmm. Like, why would you let him call you at ten thirty when we're asleep, eleven o'clock, and ask her to use the Impala, and you let it? Sure. And she did, and he wrecked it. Okay. And. They had, some, they had some words about that. And he said, I'm going to take care of it, I'm going to take care of it, I'm going to take care of it, I'm going to take care of it. And we got his money. Not only did he not take care of it, he didn't really do nothing for uh, or her. And that kind of threw her for a loop. Right. And that'd be back to my conversations. Because I, I bring the conversation right back to it, our initial conversation. All right. You should have nipped it in the bud a long time ago. Because okay. right now, he he his little gang member friend uh uh he's another big guy was uh, was bragging that he walking around with twelve thousand dollars in his pocket and a pistol mm-hmm. and again that's in front of right and I'm so the influence Cameron's probably not the best no and I was just in her ear and out of anyone's shop like when we're sleeping or whatever or having a beer mm-hmm. you need to do something about it. sure. Okay. Continue with the timeline then. So we left off around nine o'clock in the evening on Thursday where you're there and you said you did spend the rest of the night there. She, you said that you basically pulled her aside saying, let's end the party and what have you. We got to get up early tomorrow. And then she, she, she does that. She does it. Then okay. We, we get up Friday. Okay. We get up Friday, do the daycare. Uh, I, do, I do the daycare. We get up seven at six thirty. That's that's normal. No, six thirty. Okay. And again, here, here's what here's what I want to make sure you understand. If you don't remember something, I don't want you to make it up. I, I'm not I, suggesting you will. Look, look. So there's there's, there's people who do do that. Though, well, I just want to make sure. Well, you let's understand. be let's be clear on this. There's no there's no need for me to make it up because this is this this has been in the back of my mind trying to play what the hell happened. Okay. What the hell happened? So Friday maybe six to seven is when you wake up. That's every day. Correct. Okay. I start the daycare. People come in with the kids. How many people does she have for the daycare? At the end, it was nothing but four or five. But at the beginning, it was 25 or so. But maybe four to five kids now Correct. coming to our house. Okay. Correct. Well, let me let me go back to something I I've, 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 I've was told. It, you you asked my sister and, and whatnot. Let me clear it up. Go, go back to... to what, I don't know when you've heard, because you brought, or maybe you didn't, correct me if I'm wrong, okay. that you asked my, my, my family Which, something about, I believe it was Michelle. Sister, okay. You my call, sister. You call Michelle your sister. Correct. Okay. Because uh, she uh, uh, ra- was raised with us. Okay. So that's family. You know? But she's not blood, though. No, she's not. Okay. She's she's on my my step de- my stepfather's family side. Okay. But she was with us since she was two, and I was a few years older. Okay. I mean, so that that's family. 
Okay. That's, that's all that is. So I asked her what? You ask her um, about a, 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 a something at the daycare. Well, I, I suppose he chased fashion out with a hammer. And I didn't some, ask her that. Okay, well, maybe that because was... Because I, I, I haven't heard that story. No, well, it, it was nonsense. Fashion that came, woke me up when I was sleeping at... Uh, Getting ready, I believe I was working somewhere, but I was taking my little uh, siesta, and she said one of her clients, I have her name written down it somewhere, just in case this ever comes up, one of her clients uh, left her car running okay. with the keys in, and they had tried, but it was the Was lock. this on that Friday? No. Oh, no, 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 this is something else. Okay, I just want to make sure that we're no, not. Well, on a different date. Okay. One of the clients left, left that in there, okay. and the car was running, and she came upstairs and said, well, can you get in this car? I'm like, ah, oh, let me go look. I got a wire hanger. I'm thinking there's an older car I could do something for. Mm -hmm. I'll get outside, well, we throw this wire hanger away because you can't, you got to call uh, locksmith that you can get in this vehicle. Okay. And the lady was like, no, I got to go. It's, you know, I'm going to get fired. I'm going to X, Y, and Z. And okay, but did you say that I, did you say that I asked her about you chasing her with a hammer? Maybe it was just she, a hammer, hammer. right? H A M M E R. I just right. want to make sure I'm right. Okay. Right, because the daycare kids, because Michelle said, that you, I'm pretty sure it was Michelle said someone asked her this nonsense. But I came downstairs. I okay. said, "Well, the only way we can get it is we break this window." Okay. And the girls started laughing and because the wire like, hanger wouldn't work, not, nothing would work. I, okay. You know, and I also went next door with the the people. Y'all okay. got anything that get in this car? Right. They did. I said, "Well, the only option is to break this back window." Okay. And then I can have you on your way. You can get the window repaired or put some plastic on it. All right. She said, "Okay, do what you got to do." So I went in the kitchen. Or wherever the, the tubes is, but we had the little secure locks on the uh, on, on the cabinet, mm -hmm. and got a hammer and a, a towel, and proceeded right outside. And, and that's why I, all the kids love me. Everybody playing, Miss Bowen, or now they call me Mr. Patrick. Mr. Mr. Patrick, Mr. Patrick, what you doing with the hammer? Okay. So I'm about to get in this vehicle. Then the little boys looking out the window, you know, okay. trying to see how I'm gonna do it. And I put the thing there, broke the window, reached in, unlocked, unlocked the the door. Mm -hmm. Wrapped the hammer back up, threw it back in the toolbox. Okay. And that was the end of that. But the story I've heard, I'm telling you, I've heard some wild stories that I've chased her with a damn hammer. I don't think I've heard that story. I can tell you this right now is that uh, I talked to Michelle, and I don't ever remember that conversation coming up about me asking her about some hammer. And some someone story. told me that, and 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 they they also, who, who mentioned, well, someone mentioned that to me. Or maybe I'm just street gossip. Was, was this months and months before her death, or was this weeks, or do you have that any was, idea? And that was a uh, months. Months of okay, all right. Okay, so getting back to the daycare then on, on Friday, 6 to 7 o'clock, you, you normally wake up anyway and get the daycare started. And you said you thought that maybe four or five kids. Yeah, the daycare was getting started. And I the daycare was getting started. You said usually four or five kids or what have you come during right. that time period. Okay, the, the late, the, the later that that we went up four to four to maybe eight, eight maybe possible. Kids. Okay, sorry, let me shut this off so no, you're bothered by this. Four to eight possible. Okay, and I start the daycare. I, I get up, do the do the Purex, do the do the bleach, do the get everything clean. Okay. Clean again, even though it was sitting there all night and clean it that one time, it's just best to do it once over. And I do it once over and start the daycare. And okay. that was just that day, a normal day. Okay. And we ended that day with uh, uh, a water fight. In the morning, you mean? No, we ended the day. The day was just normal. Nothing happened that day. Okay, that so was a normal there, day. Any, any problems at all on that particular day at all no. that you remember? No, I mean, we, we had discussed separating again. Okay. But that was not that day. We had discussed... Okay, I'm talking about this day. On Friday right. in the morning during the daycare, did you have any problems with it? No. Okay. No, we, we played and, and... and Look, if I had problems with her on Friday, she definitely would not have given me the Impala to go to my birthday party. Right, but I, that's not... I just want to make sure... I want to go chronological here okay. to make sure that it's in line here. So It's in line. No, okay, no, no. Problems with, no problems with her during the daycare. No. Okay. So everything seemed to be normal throughout the day. Okay, did you, were you home the entire day then with her? Do you remember? As long as I didn't have to take nobody to go uh, uh, to school, I'm trying to think who was there. Because I did the transport okay. for the school. If I had, yes, I did, 
the, the, the entire day we were there. Okay. You were there? Yes. Okay. So it's my recollection on that. I'm pretty sure. Right. Yes, because we ended up, yes, at uh, when Steve pulled up to pick up uh, okay. dad, when he pulled up to pick up, we were in the, in the driveway having a, a water fight. And that was near the end of the, that day, was the end of the day. day. Right. What what would be the end to you about what time? Well, that time okay. was four to between four and six when, see, the end is like a two hour span when That's parents fine. start picking up kids. Okay. When parents start picking up kids, you guys are having a water fight. Right. Or you know, just outside having a good time. Okay. Laughing and talking. Then I asked Steve about the uh, birthday party, but he had told me Michelle had already mentioned. It. And what was Steve's name again? Steve. Do you remember his name? Steve. Steve. I don't know his last name. His son's name is. That's Michelle's son. So my sister's son. His father. Oh, okay. Steve and Michelle had a son together. I got you. Okay. And sometimes Michelle would pick him up, sometimes Steve would. But I guess Steve had him that weekend. Okay, so Justin is his son Correct. with Michelle. Correct. Okay, I got you. I'm sorry. All right, I'm following here. But basically, you asked Steve about your party, meaning the birthday party on that night, and he said Michelle already told him. Right, something, something along that line. But, you know, we laughing and joking, and he, I believe he paid for his week, or I don't know, but it was a, a we, we laughing in the, in the driveway, I believe, yeah. did something, and we continued on with that. Okay. No issues at all? No. We have no water fight outside. Again, if there's issues, I would have been gone, and would have had to find my own way to the party, because even though I was paying for the van, it was in her name. Okay. And when the van got repossessed, I got it out. Okay. Now, around that time period, uh, you said you had access to the van, right? Yes. On the, on that day. Is that on correct? Friday? Yeah. Yes. You, you, okay. Right, that was my mode of transportation. Okay. That was your main mode, meaning that she took usually the Impala and you usually had the van. Right. Okay. Then we sw we, we would swap. It depends on the, the, the business needs of the day. Okay. Now... It was my understanding through people that her van was having some problems around that time period. Can you tell me about that? Uh, basic maintenance problems, nothing. You know, it was an old van. Anyway. Okay. Do you remember? No, I don't remember. Did she have to, did, do you remember her having to take it anywhere to get it fixed? She would take it to a, oh, uh, a friend, a guy. He did all her uh, automotive work. Um, what was wrong with the van? It was the, it, it, the Impala just got fixed. The van... Okay, the Impala, where did the Impala get fixed from? Uh, 50 or 70 something. Okay. It was towed up there months and months prior but that it had oh, that major did, problems. That was months though. Yeah, right, months. Okay, but when it, when it came around this time period... I don't remember the van. Because that night, when I said, uh, uh, we was in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and I was talking about to go to parties, and she told me what her plans were, and I said, well, you know, which vehicle? And I smiled, like, right. you know, you mm -hmm. know, like, yeah, the pallet. Right. And she kissed me on the cheek, said, threw the keys on the table, on, on a, the counter, okay. and said, take, take the pallet, let me out. Okay. Because the van was behind the pallet. But you don't remember around this time period again, I'm looking at, and again, we can go days before, Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday of that week. Do you remember her taking the van anywhere to get it fixed? And for what reason? Now, that's not on my memory right now. Okay. But it was over the vehicle, so it's possible. Where would she normally get it to take it fixed, other than this guy? If she were to take it to a mechanical shop, where would she normally take it? Do you have any idea? Yeah, down on, uh, 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 I think it's Firestone on Farnham. Firestone on Farnham? No, I think it's Firestone. Is it Firestone? Talking about right down here? Right, is that Firestone? Yeah, it's right down the street here. Right. You're talking about... 
You're talking about downtown here, Firestone. Okay. And I don't. Re that's not on my brain. But if, it, if it's so, it is possible. But that's not something that. Okay. You know. You don't remember because because what I can tell you is I know for sure that she took the van in to get it fixed. That Firestone. No. Nope. At another location around, it was around Wednesday or Thursday that week. If it wasn't Firestone, is on. Uh, uh, well, I didn't have nothing to do with it. I had them pallet that time. If you know, it's it's well, not the whole week. You have I'm access saying, to the van. I do have access to the van, but right. if she if she was driving the van, she's very impulsive. If she's driving the van and notice something, okay. I never know something with the van as okay. far as brakes or uh, squealing noise or something that, uh, along that line. If she noticed something, she's impulsive. She'll stop and get it done. Okay. It's either there or six different names. Six different names. Okay, what, what's at 60th and Ames? I don't know the name of that shop in that right behind Pizza Hut. Right behind Pizza Hut? So she has taken it there before? And that's a couple places I know that she go. Other than that, I don't know. Okay. Do you remember her taking her van up to 60th and Ames during that week? No. Wait, 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 wait. Before I say, that's, I mean, that's not in my brain. I mean, I'm, I'm stuck on other okay. stuff. But if that happened, and, you know, again, it's three years ago. I don't. That's not popping out to me. And I'm just, I'm just right here. Do you remember taking the van? You said it's not in my brain. Right. It's not. Okay. That's not standing out. Well, let me ask you this: Do you remember going up there and picking up her vehicle from 60th and Ames that week? possible it's possible it's possible I mean I've, I've I'm just shocked that I don't I don't remember the, the van maintenance because again I'm, I'm again I'm, this is not a normal situation for me, but no that's okay if the van I might get stuck on the van if no, the van was in the shop it was in the shop I don't remember okay do you remember picking it up I don't remember that either okay you said it's possible then I don't remember okay no, I, I, I'm. Well, at first, at first you said it's possible. Now you're saying I don't remember. Right, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it was an older van. Van. Okay. Write that down. The older van is possible. It had some 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 troubles during that time. Okay. It had a couple issues, but normally she would have somebody come by and do it. Okay. But if it, that happened during that time, it did. But that's not something that's sticking out in my brain. Okay. But there's a reason why you asked me. I'm sure. Well, what reason do you think I'm asking? I don't know. If, if, if the van went to shop on Wednesday, that week, I don't know. I don't have a clue. And I, we move on from that. I don't have a clue. Okay. That's fine. Because that's not, again, that's not sticking out to me. Okay. And there is, and we can go over that later. Okay. So basically, going back to Friday now, everything seems to be going good, it sounds like, between... Uh, six, seven o'clock, getting the daycare ready all the way through, again, four to six o'clock when people start picking people up, kids up. Am I correct on that? Right. Okay. Four to six. You four guys are having some water fight outside and what yeah, everything we're playing with, you know, just the, the kids towards outside. We're throwing things around, balls, and, you know, we have a normal afternoon. Okay. Normal afternoon on Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we get in the house, and I took a shower first. After all the kids are gone? Yes. This okay. Is, this is when the house is empty. Okay. Now, where's Keith at this point? Do you have any ideas? Do you have oh, him at all? Uh, he was with one of his buddies. Okay. If Cam is not uh, uh, in school, when he gets out of school, if there's, he had a whole list of buddies that as soon as he get home, he's gone. Okay. Especially on the weekend. Okay. So, basically, after kids leave on Friday, you both come back in, right? Correct. And you said you take a shower first? But, I mean, that's not the norm I did that day. That's not the norm. That's right. And are you taking the shower because you're going to get ready for your party? Correct. Okay. Well, not only that, no, I'm taking the shower because I'm getting kids off of me. Okay. I've been dealing with kids all day. Right. That's just getting the germs off. Sure. Me. Getting kids, germs off me. Okay. And then also, I got a party that night. It is what it is. You're going to take a shower right. for your party. I mean, who's not right. going to do that? I would do that too. Right. So, uh, okay. Okay. Then what do you remember next about that night? You you had made mention, let me, let me explain to you, you had made mention something about being in the kitchen with her at that point, 
ask about the vehicles. This this how it normally happens with her. Okay. When I'm in the shower, she goes on the porch, have a drink, smokes a weed. Okay. That's that's every day. Okay. Every single day and every night. That's that's a that's a norm. She goes go sit on the porch because it's an enclosed porch and smoke the weed and have a drink. Okay. I'm in the shower. When I get out, she says something to me, but uh, I, I believe. What do you remember her make, saying? Did I make a call? Nothing. Uh, I something about somebody's TV or just nothing. It's not just general conversation. Okay. It's a general conversation. And she came in and I went, Upstairs, I'm gonna iron something. Need anything iron? And she said no. Something, like, something like that. I left. Went on upstairs. So I get my stuff together. So you went upstairs and mm-hmm. get your stuff together. Okay. To iron a shirt. To iron a shirt. And you had asked her whether she needs something iron. She said no. Right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. And that was that. Then I next uh, I've seen her. She uh, went in. I went and cleaned the tub out. After you ironed your shirt then? No, that was prior. Like, this is before I ironed my shirt. Cleaned the tub out, then yeah. that, that came out. I am just getting the whole thing up. I know she had mentioned something about the bathroom. And I said, I got it. Don't worry about it. I'll hook it up. And I cleaned the tub out. Meaning she mentioned what? That need to be cleaned or what? No. Uh, uh, no, I, I I do all the cleaning. Okay. I, I, the, the bathroom was me. The kitchen. I did everything around the house. That's why I didn't mind. If you go, if you want to lose me, okay. that is nonsense. We, that can happen. No, that's whatever. I'm just trying to figure out what she's saying to then, you, what you're saying. It was her. something in general. I okay. said, then I'm like, I got it. Then she took a bath or a shower. I, no, she took a shower because she wasn't in there long. She took a shower and she came out and came upstairs and we were having a conversation. She was standing over at, at, at the deal and she had, you know, how did that happen? She came, she was getting dressed and I was leaving and I said, I'll meet you downstairs. All right, and she came downstairs. Right, that was the last com- real conversation we had that evening. Other than you know, that kiss on the cheek. She went outside. And I said, "I'm gonna take a shower real quick because I'm brushing." So we was like two ships, you know, laughing mm-hmm. and joking. But it was good because right. she walking around naked right. and flirting and you know just doing what she normally do. Things seem good. Walking around just. I'm like, I'll see you later if I don't see you at the party. Just right. happy. Okay. Because I, you know, that's what she told you. Yeah, no, I, that's what I said. I said, I'll see you later. You can't make it to the party. Because in my mind, even though we, we, we were uh, uh, separating, it's no different than, the, than, than before. I'm going to come home, make love, and everything going to be okay. And if not, I'll separate, and we're going to still make love. I mean, it's no, okay. it, it's, it's a cycle. Okay. And if we happen to separate forever, I don't consider it being my loss because I was doing everything. Okay. And if, again, that conversation we had is up to you. If you want to keep me, because right now I'm gonna leave until you get this shit together. Okay. And I've told her that a thousand times. You had too many, too much nonsense going on in your life. And I would leave. Oh, excuse me. Get, get back to this. Um, I'm getting sidetracked. Too. No, that's fine. Because I, I was, I was gonna go back to the, 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 the countless times when it always came to drama in the house. For if it's not boosters waking her up. Waking for the clothes. Or or, or or Marvel waking her up, or or the, 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 just nonsense, mm-hmm. constantly. Mm-hmm. And now like, you got to draw the line somewhere. Okay. You know, I I can't draw the line because that's not my. We're not married. That's not my point. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what this boy got on him. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna grow up him the wrong way. All right. I'm like, let you y'all do your thing. All right. And they'd have conversations. They'd always have it off, on their own. Okay. Somewhere, but that get back to that day, in the kitchen. Uh, this is after you guys had your shower right. and stuff. We were both okay. dressed, and she had a, uh, I forget what she had on, but she looked nice. I looked nice. I had my little suit on with my hat. We both complimented each other. And you remember what you were wearing that night? Yeah, I had on a blue suit. Blue. One of my, it, it was a a suit and a top hat and a shirt that was open. You know, just, that was looking yeah. decent. She complimented that. I complimented her, you know, then I, uh, Looked at her. She knew exactly what I was asking. I smiled at her and said, uh, "So, what kind? What car are you uh, taking?" And then she kind of gave me those eyes and looked over at me and came back around. I was on the other side of the counter. I was both ready to leave. She came over, kissed me, and slid me the keys to the end house. She said, "Happy birthday! I'll see you uh, later on tonight." So said, okay, so she kissed me, slid me the keys, and said, 
happy birthday. Have a, you know, I'll see if I if I can make it. If not, I'll see you when, you, when we get to the house. Okay. That's what she said. Based, I'm sorry. She said, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. Say that one more time. Happy birthday. I'll see you. See you tonight. Yes. See you tonight. Some, I don't know the exact verbiage, but it was something like, I will see you if I can make it. Right. I'll, okay. I'll see if I can make it. But if not, you know, this is a rough time. Okay. You know, my, and my, my people is in town and they're only going to be here a couple of days. And I haven't seen some of these in 10 years. That's what she was saying. And now like, that's when we're going out to the car. Yeah. And she asked me for uh, something out of the uh, car. What'd she ask you for? You remember? I don't remember what it was. She got something out of the car. And then she said, all right, have fun. Hope I see you somewhere along that line. I left. And she left. Okay. Then I went to a party. And she went wherever. I, I, I believe, because I know it was something going on with the play. But then she mentioned after the deal, she's going to go see the people that was in town. X, Y, and Z. Okay. So and, you, you think she went to something with the play, right? Right. Do you know where that would have been? Yeah, the uh, 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 the theater, um, 30th and Q, 30 something Q. Okay, the theater, 30th and Q. And then she said she may go out and see people. But she said she was, because there were okay. some folks. After, I got the impression that Thursday that, and look, I, I'm, I'm telling you this because I, you know, I know if I turn this over to lawyers, they can't find out who did this. They can't find the truth. And if you're diligent about doing your job, you don't want an innocent man to go to jail. So okay. if, if if that Thursday... So you got the impression on Thursday... That these people that was in town were were really close to, to, to Mark. And some of them you, they weren't... They weren't wearing business suits. I put it like that. They were dressed kind of thuggish. Okay. And, you know, just street names, slurring, and, and, and I'm like, hey, now, come on. You don't need to have this here. And then I asked her, I'm like, well, do you think it's, you know, cool that you don't, you don't, you don't know? You ain't seen these people in almost a decade. Right. And now you opening your door to them. You know, because when they left, uh, they was uh, here, take this number, call this, you know, call this, call that. There was a, because I'm outside with her. I don't just let people leave. And we outside as a couple. Okay. And. They're shaking my hand, but still here, call me, you know, giving hugs and kiss on the cheeks and, and whatnot. And then I'm like, who's, who's all, you know, these folks? And then she said, these are these people. I'm like, all right, well, you know, that's your life before me. Mm -hmm. You know, like sure. not to bring this crap up because I heard this crap too, that I was upset about that picture in Operation Go Ahead magazine, lingerie. It wasn't even lingerie. It was just a shirt. That guy called her, the guy that got shot. Yeah. Called her at about 11 o'clock at night. We in the bed sleep. Before, I don't know, you can get the operation, go ahead. That, whenever that date is on that paper, the phone rang at about 11 o'clock at night. And the guy said, uh, uh, something, she got the phone laughing, said, I hope that picture's not ugly. I'm like, what picture? She said, uh, she called him by his name, I don't know his name. Said, uh, he gonna put some of those, one picture in, operation, go ahead that I used to uh, model for him when I was married to. Okay. I mean, again, that's before my time. Right. So I just, I'm not, again, I'm not a jealous person. Definitely I'm going to be jealous of that because I've seen some pictures of some women that are less dressed than that. And she, she just had on a, 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 a sexy low lingerie. This is a, a family magazine that just sits in the grocery store. So, okay. I mean, it's, it's a decent picture. Okay. And I got the magazine. I mean, I got the, when it came, I got it, brought it to her. And we was laughing about it. She said, oh, my God, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I guess you didn't like the picture. Sure. And then, but, uh, there's story, but there's rumors out there that you didn't you didn't like that at all. That's what you're telling me? Correct. And okay. the, the, the picture was classy. And for me not to like that picture, I would have to be involved in her life when she took that picture. Right. That was when she dated, excuse me, was married to Marvin. If your husband let you take that picture 10 years ago, that has nothing to do with me. Okay, so that photo was taken when she was married to Marvin. To Marvin, correct. And that those individuals, some of those same individuals that came for that wake, uh -huh. was some of the people. Well, they they she asked me that Thursday. Okay, that's why I'm bringing this stuff. She asked me that I have that. Did she? Did she have that? Did magazine? I have that? Still had Operation Go Ahead. Okay. Because one of the persons, I guess, the uh, had something to do with that lingerie shop with old boy okay. was in town, and I like I don't have. I remember that. Because I searched for it. I thought it was in the closet. I'm like, nope, don't have it. 
And what it's a magazine or a paper? What it's is a it? paper. Okay. It's a black and white paper that serves I don't know what purpose. Actually, uh, it pretty much serves the purpose for car dealers. Okay. Because when you open it up, it's just basically car dealers and a few advertisements, and that it's no bigger than two sheets of paper. Okay. And she asked me to have it, and I because she wanted to show it to one of the. Friends, I guess. Right. Because that friend was somehow connected to that. Back in the day. Back in the, the day. town. Okay. When the old boy had a uh, uh, lingerie shop. Okay. That the old boy we're talking about is the, the one who was killed? Correct. Okay. Do no. you know his name? No. I didn't know him. Did you ever know her to ever have a relationship with him or anything no. like that? No. Did well, you ever hear that rumor? Yeah, I heard that rumor. Okay. Then, and I, 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 I uh, uh, squashed it because that's... When she got the phone call, there was a late at night, and the conversation was of laughter, and she said, sure, go ahead. I read it somewhere along that line, but she laughed. That's the only time I ever heard of his name, ever even knew that he existed, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Okay. And as far as a relationship with him, I mean, I, I don't, if, if, if so, she was a, uh, a, a, a genie. She could pull off magic acts, because that was completely by me that's something I didn't know right okay you never knew this guy never knew them to have a relationship never know. I only know okay. him other that that one phone call then a couple of days not not a couple not not too long later we were at the daycare and she was taking her siesta which she hope we don't a break at the daycare okay. and I was helping her uh, she wasn't uh, versed on a computer or the, the uh, modem or something which I was sitting there I know I was in the room with her and the kids were having a nap. So that's how we both can be away okay. at the same time. Okay. And the modem or something was uh, following up and her phone rang. Mm -hmm. And somebody called her and told her that that um, old boy got shot. Mm -hmm. And then two days later, I don't know you know, if you, you ever heard this, that the guy that uh, runs the bank on uh, 30 names, first national, I believe it's first national. Mm -hmm. What is his name? He's a short guy. He's a manager of the bank. He uh, called, and I guess Michelle and him was discussing this because he knew the guy as well, mm -hmm. and he was asking Michelle how could Passion call him, mm -hmm. and because they had a, 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 a relationship on the phone and a business or whatever case. And Passion and him did correct. Do, who was that? The Do bank know? owner. Do you know who the bank owner is? Do you know his name? Not owner. Excuse me, manager. Okay. What is it? But they had a relationship at one time. No, know? not a relationship. Oh, okay. No, I'm no. sorry. Just a business. Well, business, right? Okay. They would, they would, they would uh, talk, and I don't know what happened prior to me. You know, mm -hmm. I don't get into all of that. But before me is before me, and he he asked Michelle, how did she know before the police knew mm -hmm. that he got shot? Right. I mean, that's that that ties into how the passion know that. Correct. How did she make that phone call right. to him, the, right. the, the bank owner, mm -hmm. before you guys knew, mm -hmm. and things of that nature, and then. When I get over to the house, and I that Thursday, these uh, individuals that are, you know, I, I don't I don't stereotype. I don't like stereotyping, but right now I might be the time to stereotype because these are, these are not people that I would have in my house. Right. I just put it like that. Right. Yeah, not but on that Thursday, did you see any problems between Passion and any of these individuals? Well, I, I saw, I saw the uh, uh, when I'm a man. When you introduce somebody as your boyfriend, and Someone gives you eye contact and someone don't. There was one that just didn't, you know, want to give me eye contact. Okay. And then one that would shoo away. And then, and, you know, when the the, 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 the day in okay. and time for everybody to go, there's always somebody that want to get that extra hug and kiss. Mm -hmm. That was that guy that didn't want to give me eye contact. But I couldn't tell you his. I don't remember these, whatever. But I know they was in town for that. Wait. Okay, but the guy didn't give you eye contact. I guess the question is, did you see any problems between these people? And it sounds like no. No. Okay. I, I saw, I saw. I mean, not, I mean, because if there were problems and you were there, you were her boyfriend, down. you would have shut, shut it, it down. down. Right. So there's obviously no problems going on between these individuals. I mean, it sounds like to me, she's telling you, these are Marvin's friends. These are people that I knew. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, right. that's, that's what and she was obviously, seem, and again, let me catch you off for a second, but. On Friday night, she's telling you, I'm going to go to my play practice. I'll see if I see you. But I'm also going to go see Marvin's friends. And I said, and she kissed me and gave me the keys to an Impala. We were okay. on good terms. All right. That is correct. All right. But 
uh, again, I'm, I'm stuck on Marvish Friends because these characters, I don't know if you, they're only in town a couple of days. Yeah, but what, and again, I'm okay with that. I mean, I see your mindset here as the boyfriend, but let me ask you this. What possible motive would any of these individuals have along this line? I don't know what happened 10 years ago. Right. Mar well, Marvin, was in, Marvin was into drugs. Okay. And he got killed because of that. Okay. Allegedly. This is her story she told me that you guys murdered her husband. Okay. She said that the police department. The police department. The right? police department right. She told me the police department murdered her husband. And the reason yeah. she didn't sue you guys is because Mar Marvell's mama, her name's coming to me, Marvell's mother took on a lawsuit. And they was bickering back and forth about that. About who was going to sue and who was going to get the money, who was going to, and which direction the lawsuit was going to go. And at that time, there was uh, also a conversation about missing money and missing this and missing on on the on uh, uh, Marvell's people coming over asking passion, even though he got killed in a police car. Where's the? He should have stuff in the house. He should have, you know, trying to get to her. Marvin. 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 Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure we were. Marvin right. trying to get to her before the. This is the story she told. Okay. Trying to get to her before you guys get to the house. Okay. And things of that nature. And the argument continued, allegedly. I'm getting out, this is what she told. Okay. But continued with that is her name. Okay. Marvin's mother's Marvell's mother's name. Okay. When her argue. Oh, that's her name. When her argue in reference to that. And then the lawsuit fizzled out. Yeah, but that's a, that's an issue between you and her. Correct. I guess the question I go back to is these friends on a Thursday. Okay. What what type of issue would she have where one of them would want to kill her? You have to ask one of them because I'm. But thinking, you don't know that. Though. I, I'm thinking. Well, again, that's why I'm talking to you. Okay. Well, hopefully, you can dig some stuff up, or you're just gonna take this to try to screw me with. That's on you. Okay. That what 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 I, what I, I guess I guess I'm just not following. I mean, you got to understand something, sir. Is that. We're talking about a 10-year time frame between approximately, and I don't know because I wasn't even here when Marvin Ammons died, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, it was a while. Okay, but let's just say it's 10 Maybe years. Maybe there was a love interest that rekindled that weekend. Okay. That, I don't know. All right. That, I'm just telling you, that it wasn't me. I'm sitting here for no reason with these shackles on. Okay. So, and I'm, I may regret this, I may not. Who knows? Okay. But I'm, I'm stepping out on faith because I'm, I'm telling you the facts that I, as I know them. Okay. And is 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 nothing that the whole time I was with her was was just me doing. Mm -hmm. so so not, not money, right. not money. Okay. When 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 passionate mama met my fiance, when people was all she's there, okay. and she was oh wait a minute now did you wait? So did I'm you like do this. I'm like in that mindset. Okay. And and, and and we talked, and she asked me what went on. I told her, you know what I'm telling you that hey I, she was alive when I left. Okay. And X, Y, and Z. And then her mama, I said, well, go talk to her mom. Go. Okay. Make up your make up your mind. I, and she's a beautiful woman. Okay. If you don't want to be with me, we'll kiss and say goodbye. Okay. Because we're not going to keep talking about this. Right. You're going to accept one way or another. Right. And that's me. I like, let's discuss this. There's no need to, which, what you going to do? Okay. And she went and talked to Pastor as a mama. Pastor as a mama told her, not, and now this is, this is the forum to tell somebody, he whooped my scared scared a mess out of this girl because he killed my daughter. She said to her, "Not he whooped her ass. He did X, Y, and Z. He ain't no good. He ain't this." She said, "Well, she didn't say anything like that. Nothing. All she said was, uh, as of late, Patrick, you know, been telling Pastorella he lost his chick. He lost, and I, I, I start telling her that. I'm gonna tell you why I start telling her that. Sure. And and uh." uh she didn't say he blacked her this, he beat he, nothing, no beat, no nothing. And this is a woman that's telling y'all something totally different. And, and this is a woman we're talking about passionate. Passion mama. mama telling y'all something totally different about me. But when right. she got a chance, mm -hmm. she had called this girl's mama mm -hmm. who just passed, okay. telling her non lies about me. And all I did was paint their house, cut their grass, show where they walk. Mm -hmm. Just when I get done shoving ours mm -hmm. at three in the morning or whatever, okay. I go do theirs. Okay. Shovel. Because right. Sam is an elderly man and he's ailing. Okay. That's the type of guy I am. Right. No, nothing violent. Mm -hmm. Come home, but this woman did not say okay. Okay. that I whooped her ass. I did not because I never did. Do you know whether or not 
we're talking about family, right? Right. Do you know, do you have any idea you ever told me that you believe that you killed her daughter? No, she never did. Well, they told uh, 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 a couple folk that nonsense. Okay. But do you know if she ever told you that? Didn't mention that directly to me. She was... So the story you're getting, obviously, is directly from... Okay. I never right. talked to Beverly. And, and his comment with, with residents, with everybody, mm-hmm. because right back then, we, we were talking about this. I mean, this woman, if she wanted to scare this child... She had her chance. She wouldn't She wouldn't be concentrating on the money. And we can talk about Beverly for a minute. Even though Passion and was talking about moving in... What, okay. That... Passion was talking about that? Well, that that's the story I got. Okay. But Passion told me, okay. uh, 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 from one of my family members, told me that that came up with somebody. But okay. Passion told me that when we, when, when, when I, I move out, that, again, we're going to see what we can do about the finances okay. and, and whatnot. So I'm like, she, well, you need some space. Again, but it wasn't a, Patrick, you got to go. Mm-hmm. It was always a way, you know, I can't run your daycare mm-hmm. and not get paid. Right. She didn't want to pay it. So I said, Passion didn't want to pay you. No, she said, right. we run out of money. I said, well, that's fine. If you right. run out of money, All right. I'm going to get another job. Okay. And you can run your daycare, or you can get your niece or somebody to come by. Okay. But I, as a man, I can't just sit around and change diapers while you smoke weed. Right. And then you leave, go to the play for free. Mm-hmm. And that's another issue I had with her. Right. Running, uh, uh, I'm jumping all over the map. I hope you follow it. With John well, I'm B. trying. Took her to... This is before me, because she showed me some pictures. Took her out of state somewhere, okay. and showed me some pictures of them in a, a, a jacuzzi. And, and and well, she was in a cute. I'm like, where is he at? Yeah, well, you know, he's, that's cuz, that's cuz. I'm like, but is a who? How is he related to you? You know, I used to always ask her that. How is he related? You know, better watch out for you know, mm-hmm. watch out for him because he sold her a dream. Mm-hmm. He sold her a pipe dream. I call it a pipe dream. When you when when you want to have her. You know she's working all day. Okay. You want to have her uh, come to all these rehearsals, and you say she's talented, and you charge her money, pay her. I make passion, get some money. Mm-hmm. Don't just do this crap for free. And, and and after every little event, he would want her by himself. Her her response to me would I want the girls. I want the girls. Well, you really need to be careful. Mm-hmm. Oh, if that's cool. If that's I'm, hey, that's your, that's another part of your job. Mm-hmm. If you if you think you're gonna make this some money eventually, you do that. Okay. But did you know? I met him. Okay. I mean, he would always he, he would always want her to himself. Okay. He would come by, smoke weed with her, and want to have her rehearse a part. Okay. Which did you did you ever know them to have problems? I mean, again, they if someone goes to another part of a house and asks for privacy, okay, they gonna get it from me. Right. I'm gonna find something else to do. I most likely will leave, or you know, I'm I'm not gonna be lurking in the kitchen trying yeah. to see what the hell's going on. All right. So if something happened, but I know she was upset a few times that he'd have her uh, drive somewhere okay. and do a, 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 a commercial okay. and never get the check. Okay. The checks never uh, uh, come within the allotted time that she thought. So I'm sure they had conversation because she fights him, mm-hmm. and he would constantly tell her to well. She would say, I'm tired. I ain't being in play after play after play after play after play. Because that's, again, I, they, I know I'm your man, but I'm raising your son. Come on now. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm there for you, but he missed you. Right. You know, I just got here. Mm-hmm. I can I can pick him up and drop him off and have casual conversation. But you as his mother could have better conversations. Okay. That's how I'm talking to her. And she said, well, I'm not going to be in the next play. Right. Because the play took, the rehearsals were from... If you close the daycare down at 6, the rehearsal started 6 to 6.30. So she would have to hurry up, do what she got to do, and shoot to the the play and be there until 10 o'clock. Right, 10:30. so come that night, if you go back to Friday night, then if she's going to do this rehearsal for the play or something with the play, mm-hmm. it was normal for those rehearsals to be from what time? From 6 just until late. Okay, maybe 6 p.m. to Ten-ish. late, 10-ish. Or late. 9 Nine is, is the norm, but nine meaning let's do one more tennish. All right, so we'll just put a couple times I'll pick her up. Okay, so that was normal play rehearsal. 
Is that where you think when you when you make the comment earlier about okay that Friday night when I went to my party she was going to do something with the play is that what you mean was right. she going to a rehearsal going to a rehearsal Correct. going to a rehearsal okay going well that's what she mentioned to me right. she was doing something with with the she just, that's how she was going to do something with the play okay but you knew that to be rehearsal right okay rehearsal or a play there was no play going on okay she was not in you know she was not in a, a production okay but I know over that particular time I don't okay that's fine. So getting back to that Friday, then, if you look at that Friday, you you take off, obviously. I mean, because between 4 and 6, these kids are being picked up. She's now having to hurry between 6 and whatever to get, obviously, done to get out of the house. Right, that's, that's the norm. When and that's the norm, right. That's the norm. When and then, obviously, you left. That's why we are like that sometimes. If I'm going somewhere, she's going somewhere. We, But, I mean, she's walking around, flirting, naked. We're happy. I mean, there's right. nothing going on there. Off no on that night. Anymore. On, on Friday, oh, there, Friday night. Uh, that whole weekend. Well, okay. till I the last I saw her, and she uh, 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 again. If that story resonates, uh, that that's out there. I don't know if you, you may or may not. What that, story is this? That we were breaking up, and she was moving in with her mom. Okay. That is so far from the truth. And I'm okay. gonna tell you. Her, uh, what just just even up until the point she was 19. Her, she moved out of mama's house. Her brother Anthony, if he's uh, man enough, he'll tell you that he moved out of the house because Beverly used to. Uh, an hour later. How did you know this? She uh, uh, would cry and tell me. Okay. And and she told me her mama. She just said just recently, just as of recent, repaired her relationship with her mama. Okay. Because sometimes the phone would ring when I first started seeing passion. She wouldn't even answer the phone. Okay. I don't feel like talking to her. I don't, you know. Okay. And when Pastor moved out when she was 19 and moved to wherever, she said, I didn't know. I'm just hearing this from her. That her mama came to her apartment and her, and her, her mama's mama, I don't know if she's still alive at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there was some, 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 some things going on in Pastor's mind late at night when she get up, whether that she should repair this relationship. Okay. But I know as well as I'm sitting here that her plans was not to move in with her. Okay. We, we, we have discussed that, and she's like, I couldn't. She, for one, she didn't want her to be subject, possibly, to that nonsense. But basically, the, the, the rumor was you guys were breaking up, and she was thinking of moving in with you. You're saying that is not true. That is not. Well, okay. the, 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 the breakup, again, was suspect to me because that... Thursday and Friday, I'm in what I normally get in. All right, let's see if we can, you know, we come listen and fix what's, you know, broken. But if not, I'll go my way, she go hers. But she's walking around naked. Mm -hmm. I'm knowing that we're going to have relations that day. Did you? Yes. When? When, when she got home. That, that, when she got home that Friday night. Oh, that'd be Friday night. Okay, yeah. Friday, I'm going to talk about that. Okay, I was going to talk to you about that in a second. So you go to this party. Let's go back to Friday. You go to this party, right? Your party. Mm -hmm. Do you go anywhere other than your party that no. night? Where was the party at? At club. Okay. Who do you all remember being there when it comes to no. your family? Or, I mean, the people you... Know. I mean, just Frank, Keith, some of my nieces, a lot of Michelle's family. Some nieces? Right. Okay. Yeah, it's of... just family. Yeah, right. Just it, whoever we invited showed up. Do you know who your nieces are? Shonda. Who? What's her last name? Baldwin. Shonda Baldwin. Okay. All right. She was there. Does she? Does she always go by Baldwin? Mm -hmm. She has any other last name yeah, or just she's Shonda? Young, right. Okay. I, I, she was there. What? No, just Shonda. Okay. And Michelle and just Frank Keith. You said a lot of Michelle. Oh, a lot of Michelle's family. Yeah, so. Michelle and oh, she, Steve and some of his people and. And that's going to be Michelle's ex. Right. Steve and his people, okay. Right, another, uh, it was just a party. I don't remember everybody. Do you know Steve's last name? No. Steve. Mm. No, but he works at uh, 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 Stan Olson. Stan Olson. Right by the West Okay. Big, big. 
And yeah. he saw us that that he saw us that weekend. Okay. So on Friday night when you go to this party, does it how long does that party last till? Do you have any clue? I mean you're there for a few hours at least, I'm guessing. Yeah. I mean it lasts Do you know how you how you got there? Sure. You got okay, what did you do with the car? You said you drove the car. In a in her garage. In whose garage? Michelle's. Okay, so I so you took Passion's car, hmm? which is that um, Burgundy Impala. Burgundy Impala. Parked it in Michelle's garage. All right. Because I know I was gonna be drinking. And she said she Is that why you park it in the garage? No. I mean what's the purpose of because it's on 24th Street. Right, I mean, if I, right, and that's what I was just, I wasn't going to ask that, but I guess what I was going to ask was, right. usually when I go over to people's houses, no. I'm not parking in the garage. No, it's on 24th Street. It's and, on 24th Street. Well, it's off of 20, it's, it's not the best neighborhood. Okay. Even though the houses, that's a new, fairly new house. Okay. The garage is your best bet down there, especially if it's a, a halfway decent looking vehicle. The garages are the best bet for a vehicle to be To be safe. To be safe, correct. Okay, so that's why you park in her garage. Mm -hmm. Okay, to be safe, I parked it in the garage. Okay, and then you went to the party with Michelle. Mm -hmm. Who else? Was anyone else with no, you? No, I don't believe it. Just me. We got there early, so we can get things set up. Okay, and what kind of car does she have? Uh, Ford Focus. What color was that? Green. Okay, and then you you got to the club early to set stuff up. Okay. When you say early, you I have any time. clue. Okay. Okay. I mean, what, what a time club open, but it was barely three or four people in there. Okay. Three or four people in there at the time. Okay. And then obviously you have your party there. Right. Do you ever leave the party that you remember? No. Okay. And then did you get drunk that night? No, not, no, not totally drunk. I had a couple of drinks. I mean, I was laughing and I was more in a, in a festive mode. I was laughing and joking and we was, we had a, a, a little joke fest going on. Okay. And before we know it, the time slipped by, we had to go. Okay. Do you, uh, do you ever remember trying to call passion that night from the bar? I have a phone. You didn't have a phone. Okay. Well, I mean, did you use someone else's phone? I call her. Mm, I don't know. I don't. I didn't have a phone. Okay. So you're not sure if you called her or not. I I, or, I would remember if I called her. Because, okay. You know I I know it, it was at that point it was a moot subject. She said that I was I was comfortable with being there with a lot of a lot of attention all on me. Okay. I was comfortable with that. I mean it wasn't. Did you want her to be there with you? Not. It wasn't. A, I knew she had something to do, so it okay. wasn't a. Me wanting her, it wasn't, no, it wasn't. I wanted the night to go smoothly. So if her absence meant the night was smooth, that's fine. Okay. You know, I didn't I didn't want her to come there and feel, that, feel like she had to come. Mm -hmm. So as long as the night went smooth, it was my birthday. It was full of women. Okay. The bar was, you mean? The bar was full of women. Okay. And I was having a good time. Okay. All right. And then, do you have any clue when you left the bar? Did you guys close the bar down? I mean, most yeah, bars, we, most bars yeah. close what? Probably around one. No, we got some right midnight to one. Right, about okay. one is that's when, that's when we left because my niece took me back to the vehicle. Okay, so you you remember leaving at one? Right, right somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Okay, right. It was my birthday, so we're celebrating, and the guy brought some uh, more food up there. So we finished the food. He okay. gave us some complimentary food because they had cooked too much. Okay. Then we made sure that the uh, uh, Michelle got her cake, but uh, she left with I forget who she left with. And me, Sean, and some more of her friends, and uh, just just a bunch of mainly females and a couple more guys. We finished the food. Okay. And then who took you back to the car? Shonda. Shonda Baldwin, Baldwin. my niece. Okay. okay. And whose who's daughter is she then? Vincent. How old would Shonda be now? How about? 25. No. Yeah, 20, 20, between 25 and 27. 
Did no. You, when you say she took you back to get the car, whose house did she take you back to? My house. Okay. To get the car? Right. Okay. And it was just you and Shonda at that point? Right. Okay. And when we, when we said earlier that you left sometime around 1, again, we're not putting that right at 1, but sometime around 1, we're talking about now Saturday. Right. Friday going into Saturday, obviously. Right, and we got back, when I got back to the house, we're well, I went over to Hales, and uh, uh, she had left the garage up, then I pulled the car out, and I knocked her, told her to come hit the button. Oh, okay, so Michelle was there and left the garage Right, Michelle okay. left the garage up, our, the garage was already up, and I told her to, you know, secure the garage, and I left. I tell her about that, she, she does that. All right, so you pulled the car out, obviously. And I went back ten, at that time home. Okay, so you pulled the car out and then basically pulled the car out and then uh, had Michelle close the door, obviously, mm -hmm. and then you went back home. Right. And that's to Passion's house. Right. Right. And at that point, I mean, it's, it, it, it's and I'm good with that. It's your house, too. You're living right. together. That, I mean, I understand yeah, I, what I we're talking about. I can at home because even though we're right. separating, I'm, I'm going. You're going home. Right. right. All right. So you had Michelle's car. I'm sorry. You had Michelle shut the door. And I left. Went home. And then I went home. Okay. When you get home, she was there. Who was there? Passion was there. When you got home, Passion was there. Oh, we came in about the same time because we, wait, it was like this. When I got home, correct. When I was coming in the kitchen, she was coming in. So when I'm, you first got home, she wasn't home. She wasn't home yet. Okay, when I first got home. She wasn't, right, she wasn't home. I take that back because the impala was in the front. Okay, so. Pam was in the back. All right, so let me ask you this then. And again, just approximating the times here. And again, I, I'm not holding your feet. The fire has been two thirty or so. It was late. You may have been gotten home around two thirty. Right. It was late. Okay. Correct. Because I, if I left the club at that time, two is you know, two is somewhere around in there. I don't know exactly, but it was late. Okay. May have gotten home two to two thirty. Right. And again. When I say that, you correct me if I'm wrong. If you say, no, Todd, that's not it. This is it. You make sure I mean, that I'm, I, I, I just want to make sure I got it right. And again, I know it's three years ago, so we're just estimating the times. But if you close the bar out at one or at least around there, and then you went back home, it makes sense that it may be 2 to 2.30. But I just want to. But so, back, to, back to your statement. When you okay. say close the bar out, that, well, that gives the impression. That, no, let, me, let me finish this. That yeah, gives the impression no. that we was drinking all the time. No, 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 that's not what I mean. When we closed the bar out, we were eating. That's not what I mean. What I mean is that normally bars close around one. Okay, gotcha. That's okay. what I mean by that. that if, if normally bars close around one and you were still there, that's what I mean is that you were leaving around the same time it's closing. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, we were leaving when the bar closed. But okay, we, we that's, were, last okay. thing we were doing was eating up a whole bunch of food. And yeah, that's stomachs. fine. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying anything about the drinking. What have you? you already told me you didn't get drunk. You had a few drinks or what have you. Right. I was. It was my birthday. Feeling good. Right. Okay. All right. So basically, you got to your house possibly around 2 to 2.30, and at that point, she is not home. Right. She came in shortly after me. Within? I say the restroom and back not long. I mean, within minutes, because I went to the restroom. I know I went to the restroom. Okay. So you got home, went to the restroom. And then basically within minutes, right. she's coming back. Mm -hmm. So obviously, then if you got home first, the Impala is going to be in the front. The van's going to be behind. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. When. So given those circumstances right there, do you ever remember for any reason whatsoever? Okay. Let me stop there just for a second before I ask you that question. When you get home and she's not home, and I understand it's within minutes, is there anyone else at the house? No. Okay. Where's Cameron at? Still with his buddies. Okay. And the first thing I do when I get home is the norm. You know, if I've been eating, I'm going to take a dump and get ready for bed. Okay. But and no I've one been... else was there at that point? No. Okay. I've... All right. And then basically within minutes, she's coming back. Do you ever remember calling her cell phone from the house? When I got home? Yeah, would there be any reason for you to do that? Oh. 
maybe if, if she didn't come back within minutes, I'm like, are you safe for somewhere along that line? You know, just possible. Right. Possible. Because I'm, okay. I'm thinking out that if I came out to the bathroom and my car had to be checked and I called. Okay. So then that would be one call, maybe two at the most if you didn't. If, if I was, to, you know, uh, 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 a little, uh, you, you must have some phone records. But if I was. Uh, well, I'm just asking if, if you remember was, using the phone. Yes. Call. If, if I was thinking about. Uh, uh, her, I'm like, all right, where are you at? Where you safe? And I've made a couple calls, but there is nothing on her phone crazy, nothing on her phone. Maybe where you at? So, you know, are you safe? Again, she's with some okay. people I know nothing about. All right. And when you say, when you make the statement, I just want to know what you mean by this. When you right. say the statement, there's nothing on her phone crazy, what do you mean by that? Because, again, this is, this is again, the, the rumors okay. that I, 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 I'm referring to. Okay. The rumors that I've uh, left numerous messages, some cr uh, crazy messages, threatening her, uh, just that type of stuff. Okay. I'm okay. like, no. Not true, obviously. No. Okay. All right. So basically, in, in reference to any type of phone records we may have, if there are calls from the house to the cell phone, it would be basically, I'm thinking about her in a sense. I just want to make sure she's okay. Right. Okay. If I was thinking about her slash, and I remember you said something about safety or what have you, may have called. And I, okay. And I'm good with that. Okay. And then when she gets home, is she alone? Does she have anyone with her? She's back. She's by herself. Okay. She come in. She said she had a uh, slight uh, headache or whatever. Is that thunder? Yeah. That's not good. For six she had a slight headache. Right. Okay. How you doing so far? You need any more water or anything? I'm fine. You need to use the restroom at all. You sure? Just want to make sure. Okay. Okay. And then basically she said she had a slight headache. Anything else out of yeah. the norm? She seemed okay that night? Well, hi. She seemed like she'd had a few drinks. Had a few drinks, maybe. Okay. Right. And went upstairs. She or both? Both. 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 Okay. Both. And what happened? No, we talked for a second. She told me about our evening. Asked me about the party and was it crowded? And, uh, did I flirt? And just joking about, you know, this, that, and the other. And she did a little, her little whatever dance she told me to do and we went to bed. Okay. Did you have sex with her that night? Yes. Okay. She asked me to undress her. She said, you know, do I remember? You know, she, she was a flirtatious type of person. Okay, so. So I undressed her. She was flirtatious? Very. Okay. And then you had sex with her on your, your guys' bed? Night. Yeah, on, okay. on your guys' bed? Okay. Right, that's the only <laughs> place we do it. Well, I, I was just wondering, because oh, you said you're out in the bedroom. Right, I just want to make sure, because there's a couple bedrooms right. up there. So. Oh, right, right. No, no, we don't go on camera, so. Well, isn't there three, but maybe there's only two. Okay. okay. In her or her bedroom, okay? That night. Okay. Do you ever remember having any issues with her that night at all when she got no, home? No, I mean, it was, once once we got home, it was done. That night was over. Okay. And we, she, has, she asked me uh, uh, to cut a, uh, she always asked me to cut a switzer for her and leave it on the table. Oh, uh, like a cigar type deal? Correct, so she can roll her weed, so she don't have for, to get up one. to go get a knife. Right. So I would do that and put it on the table okay. for her, and then we went to went to sleep and did, had normal relations. Had normal relations. Woke okay. up at about... Now we're going, obviously, in the, we're still in the Saturday morning here. Right, we're Saturday now, morning. Let me ask you one more thing about about that time period. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember if I asked Do you remember anyone coming over the house during that time period? No, not it. Uh, uh, when she got home, you remember anyone coming over the house after that or during that time period when she got home? 
No, that we got home and went upstairs. Oh no, 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 no! Someone came by, in a uh, what's that? If someone called, came by in a white car. See, I, I just stopped by to check. I'm like, who is that? Right. And someone came by. Mm-hmm. Someone came by in a white car? I believe it was, I looked out. I believe it was a white car. I'm not sure. Yes. Well, well, who was that? Do you I, have an idea? I don't have a clue. A male or female? Male. Yeah. I saw the, 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 the physique go up. Okay. Black male? Yeah. Okay. And what, what was he there for? I don't know. I didn't go outside. She okay. went to the door. I was going way upstairs, and I didn't even know he really knocked me. I'm like, what is that? What door was this? No. Side. Side door? Okay. You didn't go outside? I believe it was side. Yes, I didn't go out. Okay. Along the side door. Mm-hmm. Okay. And basically, what did she tell you about that and guy? He came because he was been drinking and wanted to make sure she made home safe. She had been drinking. Right. Okay. So basically, she said that guy came by. To basically, che- and you correct me if I'm wrong, to check on her because she'd been drinking. To, right, to make sure she made it home safe. Make sure, okay. To make sure she made it home safe. Correct. I don't think he knew if I was there or not, to be honest. I'm being a man, I'm thinking he's hoping I wasn't there, that he could get invited in. That's the... That's what your thought process is? That's what the... Well, in, in retrospect, not that... Not you don't that think... It, and, and, and be honest with me. Uh, may I call you Patrick, mm-hmm. if you don't mind? Because I, I don't even remember if I mentioned anybody your first name mm-hmm. for a while. Patrick, be honest with me here. I mean, this guy's coming by. Can she not have a friend that finds out whether she makes it? Or do you think it is an actual thing of, well, there's a reason why he's coming by? No, it. I mean, because that, that happens. People have stopped by it. His passion, she okay? She was drinking. She, I mean, that's that's that has happened before. So that's normal. I didn't think nothing of that. Okay, you didn't think. Anything, I didn't think. Did uh, you think anything of this visit whatsoever by this guy? No. Did it bother you? No. Okay. I, look, I knew I was about to go upstairs and make love to her. All right. So it should bother him that the door is getting shut in his face. It didn't bother me whatsoever. Did you ever talk to the guy that night? No. Okay. And if he says it differently, uh, if he ever speak to him, he's not telling the truth. I didn't go outside. Okay. And he's the one. Again, that's my theory. As long as I'm on the inside of the door, I have no need to get mad because I'm still in the game. Right. This guy right. outside has a reason to be mad, not me. Because he's not going to be in the game. With her, you mean? Correct. Okay. All right. I love women. And that shouldn't have me here in shadows. Okay. Okay. So then you go make love with her and what have you. So let's go now to Saturday. You wake up. Right. About just approximately. That you, from what you can remember. Not early. We slept in ten ish. Okay, maybe ten. So you slept in. That would be sleeping into you, obviously. Because, On the weekend, right? Right, no, sure. No, because normally six, you're, right. you're you're up six to seven. Okay. So we slept in. Okay. And what do you remember that about that morning? Nothing unusual other than okay. she, when we rolled over, she said she had a headache, uh, apparently from drinking. So I got, you know, what you need, you need some aspirins. But she said she had, was uh, developing a migraine. Okay. She thought she had migraines that made her throw up. So I said, what do you need? So you, wanna, you know, she had some pills, uh, what was it called? She had pills for a migraine though? Over the counter, uh, but she would take them like Skittles. Okay. And I'm like, don't do that. Just you know, just put a rag there and whatnot. And I told her, and we sat up in the bed, and she, the migraine or not, she took that blunt and rolled a blunt. Okay. And we sat up in the bed, watching something on TV. She's smoking a blunt. She asked me what I was doing today, and she said she's doing that Freno thing. 
All right, so she's smoking a blunt. Right. Okay, in bed, mm -hmm. obviously, watching TV. And she said she was going to do that funeral thing? Well, I called her. Uh, you go on with, that was his funeral was that day, I believe. Okay. But she said, when I say funeral thing, because she said she had, she's going to do some things prior with some of those folks. Prior, prior to, day. prior to, right. That's okay. why I say funeral thing. All right, so basically... It, it, let me make sure. I think, and, and when we say the funeral, I'm just putting here the Ames guy, guy off Ames who was killed. Is that right? Six different Ames. Right, and I'm, and that's for my terminology. The guy off of sixty of the names, though. Okay, uh, I think the funeral was was that day, but she said she was going to do some stuff with those people before that. Right. Okay. All right. Then she wasn't feeling well. She asked me to run her some bath water. She said a hot, you know, that's what, when she had migraine, she like sitting in the dark in the bathtub. Okay. So I went, hooked her up, uh, hot, 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 hot as can be, bath. And she came down, I turned the light off, and she sat in the tub for about, hmm, Forty-five minutes. So you turned down the light in the bathroom, mm -hmm. sat in tub for about forty-five minutes. Not about a half okay. hour or so. Somewhere there. Okay, so thirty to forty-five minutes. Okay. And I kept going in, checking on her. Because she's obviously trying to get rid of her migraine. Correct. Okay. All right. Or hangover. I, I'm like, which one is it? Babe? We joked about. it. I'm like, which one is it? She said, No, I think it's a migraine coming on. I said, Well, relax. Okay. And I sat there with her for about fifteen or twenty, but I was like, I'm gonna fix something. Here. Okay, so you sat in there 15 to 20 minutes with her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you went to go fix something to eat? I sure did. Okay. Then what? Then she, she uh, was coming out of the, uh, the bathtub, and I helped her over to the, we had a, a couch in the living room. She sat on the couch. Now I put her feet up on a uh, on the, on something. I she had on her little robe. I put her feet up on that, and she asked me for something to drink. And I got her seven up or or whatever. And what couch she, are we talking about? In the living room to the right. Okay. It's a long couch facing the television. Couch in the living room to the There's right. Only one in there because the daycare was there. Okay. So there's only one couch in there. Only one couch in there. Okay. Then what what happened now? You asked her if she needed something. I'm sorry. Right. I'm like, you want something to drink? I got her something to drink. Okay. And then she sat there for a while. And I, when she have a, uh, going through something like this, uh, I mean, I've been with her for, for a while. When she had these episodes, it's best not to really compensate. You remember what she was wearing? At the time, she had on uh, 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 silk uh, nighty. Uh, uh, it's like a uh, kimono type bathrobe. Okay. A kimono type bathrobe. And she, I mean, she just sat down. You can what tell color her. is that? Do you remember? It, 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 it gives you the appearance of a, a, a Japanese type robe. I mean, it has different okay. designs in it. Like a Japanese type robe. Okay. Does she have anything on underneath it? No. Nothing on underneath? Okay. Nope. Then we sat there for a good, well, she sat there for a good. I shaved while she was sitting there. I shaved and did my morning stuff while she stayed right on the couch. When I came back, she was laying back on the couch. Was that the only thing she had on? Was she covered up on anything or on the no, couch? No, just, you know, just, just, just in the robe. Okay. Just in the robe with, yeah. the, with a towel across her eyes with her feet yeah. up on the couch. Cross eyes, not wrapped up in anything? No, like, just other than the robe. The robe, right. The robe with her legs, you know. Kind of, kind of cross, and okay. with the towel right. across her face, and I came out and said, "All right." Then I sat on the other end. And I grabbed her feet or something along that line. I'm like, "Okay, but you know," she said, "I'll just give me a minute. I'm getting better." And you know, she said it was not as bad as it normally is. But basically, I came back out. You sat with her, mm -hmm. grabbed her feet. Well, I just moved it because I, you know, was sitting on the other end of the couch, so I just, you know, touched it. I remember, you know, that's something I used to do. 
Okay, so you move them to sit down, okay? And then basically- so move them into my lap when I sit down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move them to sit down onto your lap, that's right. Okay. And then basically she says it's getting better. Right. The migraine is getting better. Correct. I'm feeling better, migraine. Or whatever, the headache is, um, she's not going into, cause normally when she gets a migraine, she's going into a throw up mode. And she throws up for a good 15, 20 minutes. Okay, all right, so the migraine's getting better. What do you remember next? This obviously we're still in the morning, right? If you woke up around ten, right? This is about noon. Now, now we're around noon. Okay. About noon. All right. And I'm asking her if she wants something to eat, and she said, uh, "You remember her talking to anybody other than you? Phones, phone calls, or anything like that that st stands out to you?" If I was in the bathroom, you know, no, I don't. When I came out the bathroom, no. Okay. I'm just gonna put it here. I asked the question about the phones. Maybe if I was in the bathroom when I was outside. Well, now, if when I came out the bathroom, we was talking. I don't. I wasn't really thinking about. Okay. Oh, anything stand out to you though? No. That, okay. All right. I'll just put that. Nothing stands out like this. Okay. All right. All right. And then, what do you remember then? If we're around noon now. What do you remember after that? You guys were sitting on the couch, you got right. her feet. Then she says she's getting better. We talked about, uh, again, when she, when she started talking again, she said she wanted to, I, I believe she did get on the phone once. She said she's going to she talk to someone about, that's when I uh, found out about the funeral thing. And she's going to do, I said, well, you know, uh, going out to the hotel. She knew about the hotel stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you think she did get on the phone maybe to talk to somebody about this funeral stuff? Well, there wasn't nothing going on other than me helping her with a migraine. Okay. Then right. she and I wrote here, so Sarah, I mentioned to her that I was going to go out to the hotel. Oh yeah, she knew. She knew about. She knew the, about this. The, she knew about the party. She knew about. And uh, who? What party was this? Let this me know. My nephew's okay. uh, birthday party, but we we did a, a the continuation on because it's connected to a Perkins. We we're going to end a swimming pool. She's just going to continue with my birthday, Michelle's birthday, and the kids' birthday. Okay. All in one. Okay, but then continue with all of our birthday parties. Right. With basically celebrating all of our birthday parties. Right. What you're doing mm -hmm. at the hotel. Right. Hotel where at? 108th and 108th and something. I L. Okay. Do you remember the name of the? No, I think I forget the name. Okay. All right. So you guys are now still laying on the couch. She may have gotten on the phone again. I'm not going to hold that to you. She may have gotten on the phone. You're not sure about that. You remember mentioning to her basically going out to the hotel. She knew about this nephew's birthday party that you're going to go to this hotel. What do you remember next? I remember her finally getting up, moving around. Okay. You know, and us talking. And I, I remember she finished that uh, blunt she started. I was now she's down in the kitchen with me. Okay. And we're talking. She finished the blunt. Okay. Anything else? You're talking in the kitchen now? Right, and it's just a, a cordial conversation. I guess, I think she told me something about what had happened. I don't remember exactly, but it was just a, a general conversation. Well, it's, did something happen to her or something? Or? No, so, oh. I mean, some, just things that transpired while we were apart. Okay. Just general conversation. Okay, general. No issues with the conversation, what have you, no problems? Not. Nothing that stands out to me. Okay. Because again, when something about passion that kept us apart at times is that she wanted to uh, keep things secret. How can I explain this? She wanted her privacy a little bit too much at times. That's what what draws apart. 
you shouldn't always have to go outside to talk on the phone. You shouldn't always have to act like uh, uh, it's always an issue when it's not. You shouldn't always want to be have drama when it's not. Did you feel like she was that way? She was a drama queen at times. She liked attention, and she, I, I don't know if that came from what happened with her in the I don't, I don't know, but she liked uh, to draw in attention. But she would go with her phone. So when you ask me, she would go with her phone. So if I'm coming in saying something, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have a clue because normally she was off by herself talking on the phone. Okay. And if she told, I don't know if this is true or not. If she told folk that I was abusive. And then she was moving in with her mama because of me, because I didn't, I wasn't doing nothing wrong. That, that means she had something going on in her life that I knew nothing about. Okay. Because that's so far from the truth. I used to leave our house to go to her mama's house to do the same thing. And then when Sam got sick, I did things inside the house. Okay. Stop Sam from painting the house. So. You helped her family? Helped her family hands down. And it did, it, it's just the type of guy I am. So again, if she messed that up, someone else will pick that up. I don't. I don't have a problem leaving a female. Right. So if this is all about, I know you want to get back to. No, you're fine. Trying to no, tie no, me no, in. No, 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 no. You're, you're fine. You're fine. I, I don't. I don't. I mean, we'll get back to it. So. I don't. I don't see a, a. I just want to make sure. I just want to know if there was any problems with any of the conversations that you had on Saturday, that you know of, that you can remember. Then, I, I mean, what I'm saying is, is that. I mean, come on, we're not, you're not stupid here, I'm not stupid here. I'm asking you, did you argue with her on Saturday? When when me and Passion and I woke up, we were cool. Okay. When we, uh, uh, when I ran our bath, we was cool. Okay. Then when uh, 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 she came back from her, not ran her bath, excuse me. Yeah, for a migraine. When she came, came from that so-called migraine, we was cool. Okay. I mean, we just had a nice night. Okay, so ran bath, cool, came back from migraine, meaning feeling better. Feeling better. Yep. Might not have been a migraine, might have That's just right. been too much liquor. Feeling better, we was cool. We were cool, okay. In the kitchen, talking about the uh, hotel, cool. Okay. When I went outside, because uh, 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 she had, when she came home, she went back outside and put the Impala in the garage. Okay. And the, the garage falls off. The hinges. Okay. And she had mentioned. Uh, now wait a minute. She. I'm sorry. Let me go back there again. I, I apologize. You went outside to do what? No, no, no. She I'm went sorry. outside. She went outside. And I think I didn't know. I didn't know she did it. I guess the uh, uh, to, when she talked to that gentleman, she moved the car. Okay. Into the into the. That's when I'm, I'm like, what is that? And I come down. That's why I see the the figure. I didn't even hear or, or know none of that. She moved the car into the garage. And shut the garage. And I didn't know that there was an issue with the garage until after her migraine, because that was like that's our conversation right there. Okay. So then, so then during the during while you guys were in the kitchen, she mentioned something about the garage. She mentioned that it came off the hinges or the the, the door itself. Yeah, the door itself. When you it's it's a <laughs> older, older garage, right, right? And it came the one of the little big balls came off. Came off the track. Track. Okay. Correct. All right. So the garage was stuck. She, she told you that. Correct me, the car is stuck in the garage. So I said, okay, well, let me see what I can do. And I went out, to, and she was in the window. I went out to uh, try to get it, but I, I couldn't get it. My neighbor, white guy, okay. came out and said, uh, what you doing? I'm trying to get in here. She, you know, she needs to go. But then she uh, hollered What neighbor out, is this, do you know? The white guy on the left, Todd. Okay, so then if I'm facing her house, it's this neighbor here? No, if you're facing her house, it's one on the... Facing, facing the front door of his house, we're talking about the one on the right or the one on the left? If you're facing the house on the left. Okay, it's house to the left. My neighbor, white guy? White guy. House to the left? Right, big gray house. He came out and asked me, and I was I was talking to her in the, in the, in the damn uh, uh, window. Okay. And she said, never mind, never mind, I, I, I'll get somebody to get it. Because she was pissed off that that keeps happening. Okay. So she said, don't worry about it, because I hurt my hand doing it. She said, don't worry about it. Okay. You know, I'm trying to, you know. How did you hurt your hand doing it? Because it slipped. When I was doing it, it kind of. Okay. 
kind of what is an old garage, so a piece of metal or something hurt me, and I slipped down. What hand was that? The right hand. Okay. And I slipped down in the garage. I had it on my leg, and the my neighbor came out and okay. helped me. Okay. He, he put something. I said, "Well, uh, well, she don't, she says she gonna get somebody to come out here." And now I'm sure he heard her say that. Okay. And, and then he came over when you got it on your leg. Right. He came okay. over when I was struggling. Okay. He came out because I was struggling. And I said, "Let me grab," because I I had the Impala last that particular evening. So I want to get something out of there. Okay. So I grabbed something. What'd you get out of there? Uh, CD or, okay. you know, music, I don't know, something. Okay. Music related, nothing made. I, I slammed it and I think I had a, a jacket or a shirt or something in there that I, I, I grabbed. Okay. And that was at the shed. And I talked to him for about. Hmm. So he helped you with the door, basically. Right. Okay. All right. Then she said, don't worry about it because she's tired of this effing so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. And I'm thinking, I'm laughing with him that she ain't, or migraine gone now. I'm laughing with him right. that now she's back to, you know, passing up. Yeah. Fight. She's back cursing and, okay. and, and, and whatnot. So okay. she, that's when she picked the phone up. I know she's on the phone because I could hear, she left the window because I could hear her talking. And she's being passing up. Do you know who she was talking to? No, no. She just okay. said, she, don't worry about it. I'll have somebody because I'm tired of this so-and-so, so-and-so. I'm going to have them come fix this shit. I'm tired of the, you're talking about tired of the door. The door always, yeah, always, being always getting stuck in the garage. Going back, you, you said you got hit with a piece of metal on your hand. Is that right? Or well, you're going when I'm pushing up, okay. it's it just stuck, just, I got jammed. Oh, you got jammed. Okay. Jammed. And okay. it kind of. Okay. Did you injure yourself at all or it just got? It, it. I mean, I was sore because it hit sore. me. Bang! Okay. It said real hard. Okay. And at the the I'm held holding this up, and I let it go, and I have my leg there. Okay, so we're talking right wrist, right, right hand, right wrist, right sore. Okay. Right. All this okay. up in here was just you know. Okay. Bloody? No, no, no cuts or anything like that. Okay. Just a sore hand. Okay. I know it's a little. Then it right. fell on my leg. I had a little little. Uh, uh, a little tear in my jeans because it slammed down on my leg. What 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 part of your jeans? What are you talking about? Right up in somewhere in here. I, I remember because he said you effed up your pants or do you want a beard? And then we started laughing and talking. So then he he noticed. Well, he you messed up your pants. I, I think he said that. I, I'm not sure. I'm not certain about that. But we started laughing about. How the garage just fucked me up. So that, you know, how the garage just won. And then he talked about how he had a a, a garage like that. If okay. I believe, I don't know exactly. How you say you had a rip, and then the way you were pointing it to me was up in here somewhere in your pants. Well, but that's the way. You, I mean, I'm just called by what you did. But right, I had a rip. Had a rip. Do you remember what side it was, or? I don't. I know I had it. I know it was this hand because I'm right-handed. Okay. I wouldn't grab it with my left. Okay. So, no, I don't. I don't. I'm okay. Fan. All right, that's what we'll just put. Not sure what leg. Okay. And all over the pants had to go well. Huh? All my, I gave uh, a bag of clothes to the uh, Goodwill. So that did that pair of pants go to the Goodwill then? Yeah. I mean, I don't. It, that, or it's no. I, those pants are was still at a uh, uh, Passionettas. Okay. Because I went in and changed. What'd you do with those pants? I left them in the house. Do you remember where? I don't, in the bedroom, I believe, or I, I changed up. They're in the house because I, I put on clothes for the party, not the party, for the, you know, to continue on when I put on them. Remember what kind of pants those were? Jeans or like regular a, slacks? Like or a black what? pair of, uh, no, not that. I came outside, hold on a second. I came outside. They were jeans, okay. because my black pants, I, I, I wore wore not too long ago, and I ripped. Okay. Jeans? Yeah. What, what type of jeans? Blue color? jeans. Blue. blue jeans? Like a very dark, like a little bit darker than that type of Well, okay, so pr pretty dark then. Right. Okay. With pockets on both sides, because I kept my stuff in the pockets. Okay. 
with pockets on both sides. Mm -hmm. And then that happened, and she said, I'm tired of this so and so, so and so. Now, do you remember wearing the, those particular jeans that you're talking about? Do you remember wearing those any other time during that week? The jeans? The jeans that got ripped? No, because. Uh, okay. And I'm talking about even before the ripping. I'm talking about day or two, three, or do you even know? Wearing the jeans? Yeah. It's possible I wore them at the daycare because I, I wear uh, grimy clothes at the daycare. So it's possible I play with the kids outside. So it could have got, got ripped outside with the kids and me not knowing it because I played uh, the, the, the football with them. I played okay. the, uh, I mean, it, okay. it's possible because I don't, I don't wear new clothes when I go to the daycare. Okay. When the garage door comes down on you and it causes the rip of the jeans, um, did you, did you sustain any injuries at that point? Other than you said you had a sore wrist. When it, when when that happened, mm -hmm. uh, he he came out after you know I, I couldn't hold it because I was trying to jam it. Mm -hmm. Just bam, okay. bam, okay. bam, and it, right. it was making a loud noise. Okay. And then I got tired. I don't know. I said, well, let me just let it sit down. I didn't know it was going to come down like that. I thought it was just going to. Mm -hmm. But it, okay. and it slammed on my leg. Okay. And then he came out. Right. And you got the rip at that point. Is if, that correct? On if I'm not mistaken, I'm not going. That's fine. I'm not going. Well, let me ask you this: Do you remember getting any injuries to your legs because of that garage? Um, I'm sure I did. Okay. I'm sure I did because I about a, a, a had to be. After, after this incident, actually, I was just distraught for a minute, but when I took a shower, I noticed... Uh, you were talking about after her death? Yes, after okay. her death, okay. I took a shower, and after coming here and sit, things settled down a day or so later, I, you know, I didn't take one for a day or two, and um, this knee was fucked up. That garage beat me up. But I, I, that wasn't when you say this knee was fucked up. What do you mean by that? Your your looks like you're pointing at your left knee. Correct. Okay. What was I, fucked up? I, I went down. I was out there for about 15 minutes trying to get this garage. Okay. And there's a couple of times it threw me for a loop. Okay. You know, and she finally said, "Forget it. I'll have somebody do it." Okay. So it, my knee, my leg, my hand, my uh, this wrist was sore for I'm, I'm old for a day. Okay. Your knee, leg, hand, meaning the wrist being sore. Right. Wrist okay. and. I had a, a pushed it up hard. Okay. I mean, right, right hand. Yeah, but I got that right there, right wrist, because you keep right. on grabbing your right wrist. Right. So. Okay, I pushed it up hard. Okay. And then basically, you were taking a shower later, and you had noticed how your knee was fucked up. When you say fucked up, are we talking sore inside? S sore inside, and a like a, uh, you know, how you have a. Yeah, sore inside, like a like a dislocation. Yeah. So I had to. I was I was so I was sore for a minute. All right. But that's that's not. I didn't. No, I was just wondering. I mean, I was just wondering if you remember, you know, how you got injured. Okay. Yeah, the, the garage door and me right. fighting with it okay. for about fifteen minutes. Right, and then uh, and then you said you obviously your neighbor came over and you think he may mention you guys were laughing about how the door fucked you up right. or, or what have you. Right. So, all right, and then and he helped me with it, and we still two men. Couldn't get it. And I just got what I needed. Okay. And she was saying she's gonna have somebody look at it. She's gonna have somebody look at it. Okay. And then, um, and then these pair of pants that you had on. You remember going inside? You changed. You're not sure where you put these at, or are you, I mean, you just know they're in the house somewhere. Right. Okay. I mean, if I went in, I washed my hands in the kitchen. I know I I, I did that. To get that grime out, cause she was still on the phone in the kitchen. And I was, you no, know, well, let him have this, you know, raggedy, you know. I was vo vocal and saying some things okay. that, you know, you you shouldn't. If you got to pay six hundred some change, right. you shouldn't have to put up with this. After, you know, I was right. going off myself. You sure. know, and we both going off. She on the phone. I'm telling her that, well, handle it. She, I'm a handle it. I'm a handle it. I'm a handle it. And she uh, hold on a second. And she clicked over, and I'm still talking to her. Okay, you know about. The effing garage and mm -hmm. this that and other. She clicked over, said something, to somebody, and then then I exited. It. But I, I was still talking shit because I, I just got you know beat up by the garage. Got your ass kicked. And then I'm right. ready to uh, continue on. 
And we talked about, are you coming to, to, the, to the party? Okay. And she said, uh, again, those people are going, some people are leaving that night and some people are going to stay this Sunday. But she said, the, 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 where she called them to by the name that was good friends with Marvin back in his days. She called him by name and said that. Do you she, know their name? Do you remember her? Name? Yeah, I'm okay. on, it's going to come to me. Okay. She called him by name and said that they were leaving that day. So she wanted to, you know, spend as much time with them as possible. And it was two guys. I know it was two guys. So I'm like, well, what happened to uh, uh, the, 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 his wife? Or what she said, that's not his wife. That's his, his she called it a uh, name. That boots, she boots clothes in whatever state they was in. Okay. And she bought some stuff here for her. So I'm like, come on now. We make enough money to go to the mall. And that's, let me get back to this check thing. I never, I never finished that. When her mama told that I lost my check, remember I mentioned that to you? Okay. That instead of telling me that I, I was a bad person, I was a this, I was a that, all she pretty much was uh, on is you better watch yourself. Cause all he, when he's with my baby, he, he, he lost his check all the time. He lost his check. And the reason I lost my check with Passion Out is because when it came to paying bills, when I, you know, was giving her uh, my portion of the bill, okay. never nothing extra, just my portion of the bill. Okay. Things weren't getting paid. The, the 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 van got repossessed during one of our split ups. The uh, the lights were were uh, on and off, getting this that and the other. The uh, loaning people money and the, the always got to have a big old bag of weed. So where I was working. I wouldn't say I lost my check. I would know when her clientele, mm -hmm. the daycare people, because I ran a daycare. Sure. I would know when the her so-called friends that uh, know that she watched uh, her their kids supposed to pay on Friday, mm -hmm. they would never pay on time, mm -hmm. and I got their BS down pat. So I knew that as long as I can hold off on my money, she eventually have her money mm -hmm. and things. Uh, Smooth out. Mm -hmm. So I would tell her that my check is. I'm not sure what corporate did mm -hmm. with my check, All right. but I'm I'm investigating. Right. And then it but would be, basically, you're trying to hold back your money because hold back, shit wasn't being paid. Hold back my money because she was not doing the right thing. And if and if we're paying bills and we get a knock at the door, a phone ring at 11:30, right. right? And it's boosters, mm -hmm. and you come upstairs with uh, and then she started telling me that she wasn't paying. She wasn't paying. Well, they they just gonna front me these until I get some money. Right. Well, that's that's not good either. Right. Either either side of that coin mm -hmm. is not good, especially when we're in a, a financial crunch. Mm -hmm. So you know, then that's again we had that conversation. Well, I, well, you guys had that conversation on Saturday about your no, check? no 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 okay. No, no. This is well before. Why did why did you go back into this this story about the check at this? Because point? I never I never finished. Oh, you never finished that part. Finished. Okay. And then when I'm I'm talking about this, I'm like no. Folk think that it, it was about money. It was mm -hmm. a no. With her, her that that secret. She, I'm fucked up now because that secret life that I should have just backed out on completely mm -hmm. got me here in shackles. Okay. Because I couldn't walk away from. It. Sure. I, I felt that okay, I'm gonna help you out, but we gonna do it my way. And my help out was to try to put something in her ears about what's going on in her life. Okay. Which wasn't always the best. Okay. And you're not getting my money. To spend it on clothes, weed, boosters, and all that, all that crap. And she understood. Okay. Then she got mad when I put a, a fucking sign on the door that told all her patrons that there is new rules. There is no longer. Uh, I did a military deal on. Mm -hmm. There is no longer uh, late. I mean, excuse me. If you're late, we're going to charge you for the first fifteen minutes. Is this? Mm -hmm. If, you, if they're here a half hours, this is something that, that will get their attention right. to make them pick the child up. Right. And because I put that up on the wall, mm -hmm. there was all just off tops. I was like, I, 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 I can't tell Passion how to run a business. I can't this, I can't that, like whatever is business. But, you know, she would want to talk to them alone. Okay. Say, well, since you want to talk to them alone, I'll find a job. Okay. And you run your business. I'll help you on the computer as much as I can. But... You're not getting out of my pocket to foot the bill for nonsense. Right. And that's what it was coming to. Okay. So when we separate, it was a, a breath of fresh air for me. Okay. 
even though we argued and spat and that that's normal uh, uh, deal, if we were separating, we argued. But to me, it's a breath of fresh air at the end of the day mm -hmm. because I don't have to deal with lemma clock, boosters, this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. And I got some free space. Right. Because as sure as I'm sitting here right now, if something hadn't happened to her, we'd have got back together. Right. Okay. As sure as I'm sitting here right now. Let me take a break for a second. I need to use the restroom, okay? Can I get some water? Absolutely. All right. Sorry. Okay. So, you good with your water? Okay. You don't need to use the restroom or anything like that? Or do you? I do not. You do not? Okay. Just telling you, just showing that I asked you to, if you need to use the restroom. So, okay. Uh, going back to Saturday now, uh, basically, we were, we were, because we got in this conversation about the, let me ask you one more thing about the if, if, jeans, if you don't mind. You said you were wearing these jeans and what have you, and you ended up putting them somewhere in the house because you changed to go to your party. Well, I don't know if I actually changed because. When I went in the house, okay. Michelle, I know Michelle wanted me to, because Michelle mentioned to me that I was looking not top notch. So I don't know if I changed. When, when you say Michelle mentioned to you that you cause it, cause I was when, I, it, when is this? This is at the at the hotel later on. Okay, all right. Later on, because you know I'm pretty sure I just. Went in the house, washed my hands, and bounced. Because I knew Michelle had a whole list of stuff for me to do. And I'm pretty sure I changed at Michelle's. Because Michelle had a whole list of stuff that I knew that I'm thinking now. On, on, on When I left there, I went to help her move tons of shit. Okay. So I wouldn't put on nothing decent. And I don't have a whole bunch of clothes. Right. I mean, a whole bunch of... Uh, Casual shit. All my clothes is business. Clothes. Ratty clothes, basically. Clothes, ratty clothes type. To, when I say ratty clothes for me, it'd be like jeans and shit that I'm going to go out right. and do. I don't, have, I don't have much of that. I don't have the same right? pair, same one or two pair. Okay. That, and I'm pretty sure I, I, I had that on when I... And again, here's the thing that I want you to remember, okay? If you don't remember, you don't remember. I don't have a problem. Right, I don't. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure I kept that because Michelle had a bunch of stuff for me. Okay. And but you do remember her making it some mention, you're not looking your best, or I can't remember no, exactly how you it was, raised that. I, it, she didn't say it. Her, her, uh, her, uh, uh, her aunt, which was, who lives in Marston, D.C., okay. said, uh, you're not, because uh, I was sitting back on the bed, kind of tired. Right. We had been partying all day and all night. Then I get home, right. kick it with a passion. I got to take care of her in, in the morning. Then by the time I get there, I'm, I'm zonked. Plus, by the time you get to Michelle's. Prior to, right. Yeah, prior to getting there. I mean, prior to getting there, that was all that. But when I got there, I, I'm still working. Okay. Because I set the whole party up. Okay. And let me go back real quick. And I guess let's, let's stay with the timeline. I was going to just ask you about the jeans, but... Uh, you described it as blue jeans, but very dark, a little bit darker probably than my pants right here, okay? And uh, and we've already talked to rip, about the rips and what have you, or the tear that you had in your leg. And do you remember anything more about the jeans? Do you even know the brand of the jeans or anything like that? And again, I... Well, I'm not, I'm not sure that there's a, you know, a tear. I just know I, I got fucked up. You and, got fucked up. Okay. And that, that's not something that I, I think of when you, in something that you cut grass in. Right. You don't notice, oh, shit, there's a tear. Right. There's... You know, you just keep the jeans on and right. you just continue doing what you're doing. Right. So I'm not saying that there was a, a tear in the jeans. I just know that the garage beat me up. Okay. Well, and you said earlier, let me go back to what you said earlier. You said, I tore my jeans, that you had a tear. Okay. And what you said was you kept on, that's why I asked you about the thigh, because you kept on doing this. I had a tear in my jeans and you were pointing. Okay, well, that's where the garage hit me then. Right. And, and again, it, it is what it is. If that's what right. happened, that's what happened. I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, do you remember anything more about the jeans that's distinctive other than dark blue colored jeans? No. Okay. I mean, I don't, it's just young crap. Okay. But not.
yeah, they. I think those are the pair. It's like less than clothes, mm -hmm. and he he only wore because uh, he had you know different type of income. He only wore uh, uh, designer mm -hmm. stuff, and I took a couple pair of his jeans okay. and a couple pair of his shorts, and they were all Jabos. Jabos, right? Okay, all right. That, that that's a brand name. That's a brand name. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, and I'm thinking now because the jeans that I start cutting the grass in were some of the clothes I, that uh, when we cleaned out the basement okay. after he got incarcerated, right? Clean out the basement, mm -hmm. and I took a couple of you know so he's about to throw them away. I said I'll, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. You know I can use that. Sure. Outside. Okay. And that's what I did. Okay. And then getting back, then going in, washing your hands and what have you after this, because uh, I'm trying to get back to the timeline here on Saturday. I'm back in it. You're, you're back in, you wash your hands and what have you. And we were talking about the garage and how effed up it was. And okay. we were kind of vocal. Okay. She was vocal. And she get, when she say gets vocal, she starts saying F this shit. And I'm not going to, you know, he ain't getting all this rent this time. And he ain't getting, he ain't getting, he ain't getting. Who's he? The landlord. Do you know who he is? You know his name? What is his name? That's on the tip of my tongue. I get to come. I know All him. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm cordial with him. He's, he's been our landlord for quite a while. You like him? Yeah. Okay. He, I'm not sure if he liked me. Okay. Because uh, uh, when I first started dating her, well, not dating, I'm just coming around trying to, you know, we're trying to fill it out. Mm hmm. He was out in the in the uh, driveway a couple of times. I'm like, who was that? And then she's like, that's my landlord. And she took him a, a birthday card. Okay. Or a birthday, whatever. And before we got the van, I was driving in Pallet and she was in it. And we saw him over at QT. Okay. And she brought it to my attention about a week later or so that now he's mad at her because he saw me driving her car. Okay. And... You know, like, well, you need to, you know, stay professional. Mm -hmm. With Don't give the landlord a birthday card. Right. Don't, you know, just keep it's business. It, strictly keep, business. Keep it, keep it this way, and you won't have people getting the wrong idea. Sure. If, even if there's nothing there, sure. you won't have that happen. Okay. And she took that for what it's worth, and then he started doing business. But then he also stopped doing what would needs to be done, like for example, the garage. Meaning at the house. At the house. Right, okay. The, All right. The, 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 right, the, right. The house. And she said, that when I came to the house, she was very vocal about this, and I'm tired of this, so and so, so and so. I can't do what I want to do if I come home. The, then the, uh, I'm not sure if she ever even told him because she had this, uh, she, she, she walked a thin line with folk because she had a guy that, neighborhood guy come over and fix the garage before. Mm -hmm. and who, was, put, who was that? Do you know who that was? No. There's somebody that she got on the phone and he walked down the street. Okay. Yeah. Somebody don't know him from a can of paint, but I know he just looked, he looked like he worked on stuff. Okay. He just, you know, a dirty guy. All right. And he put one of those, I don't know how he did it, but he put a new spring on it, on the door. Okay. And he was out there for a good hour, hour and a half. Then, she asked me for some, for some money. We paid him a couple times to do that. So, when I in retrospect now, I don't even think the she landlord knew even knew about the garage thing because, because she had this other guy doing stuff. And 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 because she was late on rent. Okay. Because I'd have to go over to I, I can tell you what this place is. It's right next to the cricket place on Ames. Okay. His place is His being place the, landlord. the landlord. Right. Because okay. I'd have to go over there. She didn't want to go in. I get you know I'm. Uh, I can I can pretty much talk to anybody and explain to them about rent okay. for her three or four or five times. That's okay. when I'm like I'm not gonna give you money if we can't pay the rent. Where the, where the money going? Right. And so I go over there and talk to them and explain her situation. Then I now I'm in retrospect like that's probably why she never told him about the garage okay. and had alley boys so to speak sure. come over right. and because she's went on rent and what happened. Yeah. Attempt to fix the garage, but the garage really never got fixed because I didn't. Getting back to the landlord real quick, did you ever have any problems with him? No. Did she? Again, that those conversations with her. Well, I, I, one, I say, let me ask you I this. Say did this. she ever mention having any yeah, serious I, problems with him? I, I say the, that the uh, uh, problems came 
when I saw a definite attitude change when his name when uh, was going to pick Victor and she kept saying I'll on Victor. Then she'd have me go over there and talk to the lady and make a partial payment or make a whatever the payment. And then her and uh, the, the conversation with her, I'll ask her, have you talked to him? She'd always say, yeah. So I never heard the, okay. and came by the house. Okay. After, he used to always come by the house when I first started kicking it with her. Mm -hmm. He would pop up. Okay. And I'm thinking, why is he? Who is this guy? Right. I'm, yeah, that's why I'm asking. I'm I mean, like, are you Nancy, thinking who is this guy? Yeah, Nancy said it's a landlord. I'm okay. like, well, you, damn, better you know check him or you know, okay. get it in check. You know, right. but this is before we start dating. Okay. And then when we start dating, he saw us over at uh, the gas station, and he never came back by. Okay. So that you know, she shut that down, or the presence of me, I don't know, but that there was. No, not, then me and Greg became, you know, whenever he came by, we shake hands, talk about business deals, and, you know, okay. uh, 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 my, my sister was trying to get her uh, realty license. Okay. And we discussed that because, I'm, you know, I'm like, look, I'm always looking to try to make an extra buck. Right. You know, how can you help? Right. And, we, you know, we, we had good conversations. Right. And then he, you know, whenever he came by, but it wasn't like before. Okay. Because I would come by and he'd just pop up. Okay. It wasn't nothing like that. All right, so getting back now, you guys are in the kitchen. You guys are having this discussion. She's obviously pissed off about the garage. Uh, she, he's not going to get his rent and stuff like that. Right. She's, she's throwing the F-bombs around because now she's getting the attitude. Right. What happens uh, on Saturday? Oh, that, oh, oh, that, that, and the kitchen. Right, and the last time, just so you know, the last time that we talked, we were we were looking at around just after noon. Right, it's, right, noonish. Noonish, okay. It's, it's, it's noonish. Okay. And she... Went, I don't know what she was doing, but she clicked over, uh, and then she went back to whoever she was talking, and she said she's gonna have somebody come. I guess whoever normally do it, okay. come and put another whatever on it. So All she's right. on the phone at some point. She's on the phone talking. And actually, she stayed on the phone for a minute. That's when I. That's how the only time I remember she's on the phone was when I came back in. Okay. And she was bickering and whatnot. Okay. All right. What do you remember then? Then, we talked again about, well, once she got, got, got done, we talked again about uh, uh, what I was doing and what she was doing. And you know, she asked if I had any uh, 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 cash, which I said just, you know, a couple of dollars. But if she needs some, I, you know, let her have that. And she said fine because she needed uh, uh, some more switches. Okay. Did you give her some money? Yeah. That's what I had. And I'm like, it was like eight or nine bucks. Okay. What do you remember next? Then we went back in the house and she sat back down for a minute. We, we well, where were you at at that point? Because obviously you we, were already we, in the we kitchen. Moved, we moved towards the... We moved towards the living room the because room. that's that's where the TV was. Okay, right. okay. And we just chatted for a while. She smoked. She, she made a couple calls. We smoked, and uh, uh, you know who she called? No. Okay. She was uh, uh, a couple times venting about the garage. Then she vented about uh, uh, not having. She vented about a couple things: the garage and money. That came up. I know that for a fact. Okay. Then time elapsed, we're just sitting in there, relaxing, time lapse, time lapse, time lapse. Okay. Nothing major going on. She asked me, uh, just the general conversation. I'm not, I'm not gonna try to pin down yeah. what she asked me, but it was nothing going on because I'm still, we still on the couch in a relationship type of deal. Okay. No one mad, no one upset. And I'm just trying to think of whose new name she called for the garage because she called the, the, the person's name. Meaning on the phone, she's actually calling the guy. Right. And or, or, or she's talking to the, to the person about okay. the garage. But then when she, I don't know if she talked to that person or talking to someone in, that knew that person and said, he going, 
uh, fix this so and so, so and so. I'm tired of this crap. Okay. And then, this is, when she got off, I'm, I'm like, well, who gone? You know, do you, you sure you don't want us to put a, you know, because I wanted to just snatch the, the, the top pieces. You can snatch it mm -hmm. and just let it up and hold it up, and you can move the car out sure. and just let it down. And, right. you know, she said, no, I'm cool. Okay. He's on the way. Okay. Well, he'll be here, you know, shortly. And that this okay. is about two ish. So this is around 2 o'clock now? Right. 2, 2.30s. And she kicking it. Then I called, uh, I know I called my sister right before I left. Who did, who, what phone did you use to do that? The house. And the sister again is? Michelle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, from the house phone to Michelle's phone? Ooh, yeah. Well, I don't know if I called her seller to her house. Okay, but you talked to her. I contacted her. To either house. And we'll just put to either house or... Yeah, she told me she mentioned this to you guys. Okay. Or so. Okay. And because she, she reminded me, because I think once I got the news, I, my mind went blank. But she reminded me. And I, yeah, we, we were sitting there talking about the, the reason I couldn't use the cell phone. Whose cell phone? Passions, because that was our only phone. Because right. she was on it. Well, it wasn't sure. your only phone. You had a home right. phone. Right, we had a home phone, but right. I, w I was in and out, you know, because normally I grab the phone and go outside. Okay. Well, she's already outside. So I'm like, well, I got to go back in the house use the phone. But you said the reason why you couldn't use Passion's phone. I'm thinking phone. she was still on it, right. Okay. I'm thinking she was still on it. She wasn't in my presence, but I'm thinking okay. she was, you know, because she had already, once she go off, she goes off. All right, thinking she was still on it. Right. So I called my sister. You have any clue about what time that may have been? No. Just surprised. Okay. But I so, called my sister. I mean, you can put down the phone records. I no, called, that's fine. I called my sister. Okay. And she said, "What'd you call her for?" To ask her uh, what time were we hooking up for the party? What did she need me to do? That type of. And okay. she said, "I'm at the house. I'm getting ready to load up." I said, I'll, "I'm on the way." And then okay. I get there. Wait a minute. Okay. Well, actually, before, basically, what did she need you to do? The, the no, no, no. What I'm asking, what I'm saying is, is that you're on the phone with her. You're calling her from Passion's house, asking, "What do you need me to do about this part?" Well, no, I, I, I not what do you need me to do. I knew what she wanted me to do. I'm okay. asking, "What time are you leaving?" What time are you leaving? Okay. Now I already knew she had a, a laundry list of stuff for me to do. I already knew I was about to be worked. Okay. So then, at that point, you leave the house. I take the van. Okay. Right. Do you have any idea about what time that may be? Just approximately. Came in the house, we were just sitting there chilling. Because the last timeline, right. the t last timeline that we have yeah, between two and three. Yeah, because last time we have is that between around two, two to two thirty. You said right. she was on the phone talking to somebody. Right. So we about to go right. So it's between two and three, somewhere out of you know, somewhere in there, somewhere in there. And that's fine. Again, like I said, I know it's been three years, so I'm not gonna hold Some, your feet to the fire on that. But I'm just trying to get it better. Somewhere in there, maybe two to three. Okay. Then I left. Okay, you left in the van, right? Because the car was in the garage, stuck. Okay, took Passion's van. Maybe two to three p.m. Right, car stuck in garage, so that's why you didn't take that. Right now, I was outside. Okay, here we go. I was outside. Passion said uh, uh, something. This this is what happened. She came back out. There we go. She came back outside, and uh, I guess the guy never. It was, that's it. Might have been a little later than two or two or or something because she got in the van and we were going to go to. Uh, uh, like 40th and Cummins or something to meet somebody. Okay. But that never happened. She, you said she got in the van? Yeah, she got in the van and then she said, because she looked at, you know, I guess the time or, or whatever, and then she jumped out the van. Then she jumped out the van? Right. Because she was going to call the, uh, the dude, say, we'll, get, we'll grab you. Because he's coming from four different comments. But then she's like, no, forget, I'm not pressed for time. And she's going to have somebody come pick her up and he's going to do the garage. And she'll come back and get her car. So basically, she said, no, I'm pressed for time. Right. So she gets out of the van, and is that when you leave then? Yes, yeah, shortly after. Okay. Shortly after. I tried the garage one more time, and I'm like, 
So I don't want to leave her stranded. Right, okay. All right, I, I tried it, and she went on and she said, you know, cussing again and went on in the house. And then I said, all right, and I left. Now, at that point, um, kind of go back. Remember, do you remember what you told me that she was wearing when the bathtub stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. Was she wearing the same stuff at that point, or do you even recall? No, she she changed because she stepped out the door. She put on uh, it's a pair of uh, jeans that my niece gave her that looked like uh, I can't describe them, but it was a pair of jeans, and she kept her this on the kimono. She kept the kimono on and put some jeans on. Kept the kimono on, right? Okay. All right, so then now you're now you're leaving her house, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and where do you go? To Michelle's. Alone? Yes. Okay. What do you do? Uh, okay, but let's get back to the because I had mentioned to her. You mentioned to who? Passion. Okay. Because when she came outside and said, let's go, this is when I was leaving. She said, let's go to 40th. Gotcha. And, and I'm like, you know, what are you doing? You know, then she sat in the van for a minute. And said, you know, like, are you, I'm still thinking migraine or, or something. Okay. I remember this because I'm like, what, what, you just got the tub and you out here, you know. Okay. She said, I'm fine. She had on a little, uh, 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 like a scarf type deal that was tucked down okay. to the side uh, with her hair wrapped with the kimono okay. and some jeans. Okay. And I'm like, it's not, no, it's nice, but it's not that nice. Okay. You just got out the bath. So I'm like, what's up? She said, yeah, you're right. F it. You know, she said, yeah, you're right. F it. I'm kind of pressed for time. Okay. And she jumps off the van okay. and goes back in the house. But okay. when I, when she's going back in, then I'm, I'm pretty sure, oh boy, uh, somebody's seen her because, you know, if a, a sexy woman got on something to look halfway mm -hmm. revealing, somebody gonna notice. Okay. And she went back in the house. And okay. I'm like, all right, I'll check with you later. You know where I'm gonna be. Okay. But I told her to uh, call uh, Michelle's phone if she needs to get in contact with me. If she, cause I didn't know the exact room number where we were going. Right. So basically I told her to call Michelle's phone if you need to contact me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you leave her house in the van. All right. Alone, we've already established that, and you go to Michelle's. All right. And okay, when you get, when you, go ahead. I'm going back to her first because I going think back to who? passionate. I think this is okay. important. Because this is one of my theories that I threw around, I should, you know, threw around earlier. But when she was saying someone is coming to fix the garage, and it was because I was, okay, knock yourself out. I just gave her that much freedom. Okay, I, I trust that you're going to get it done. You know, and whoever was coming at that time to fix the garage and do some phone dumps, whatever, just uh, whoever this guy was, you know, that that's, you know, an angle for you. And I'm not just throwing it at that because like I'm in shackles. I wish I had talk to you two or four months ago. I mean, there, there's there's a lot of things here that don't add up. I agree with that. That don't add up at all. And and, and with me, I mean, I, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here in a minute because I, I'm not gonna give you the, the trump card. There, there's a there's a trump card here. There's there's obvious that it ain't me. And I would hope that you'd want to say that. Well, if it's not you. But I don't understand you're not going to want to arrest me, though. Well, yeah, but I, can't, I don't have the power to do that. But if there's some type of a major trump card that you think right. you have out there, well, say it. I, that, Feel free to say it. It's, it, it's, it's coming. There, okay. With, with, with this, um, uh, uh, that incident, well, not at that. I'm going to leave all that stuff out. There's more to that. But that day when I left, she came out. Okay, back what in. Is, what is, wait a minute, let's go back up. Here, here's the thing, Patrick, is that I want you to tell me, I want you to feel comfortable talking to me, okay? You want to give your story, right? It sounds like you want to tell your story, and I'm good with that. And I'm here to listen to your story, okay? I have been sitting here writing and listening to your story, barely saying anything to you throughout this entire process. I repeat some of the things you've said and what have you, ask you a few questions, but feel free to talk. Well, I, 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 the thing know, is that, I know what this, this is, though. I mean, I this is to, to be right. used against me, eventually. Okay. Even though I'm giving you 
the the facts, All right. and I'm not saying anything. I'm not making up shit because this, this is just some of the things is some of the things just fly from me, like the van and the. the that's not important, but the important the important things. Okay. About how she was acting that weekend, kind of standoffish and talking to folk that, again, you asking uh, what, what would someone ten years ago a motive be? Well, I don't have a clue because I don't know what their relationship was. 10 years ago okay. and what happened that weekend. Okay. I don't have a clue about that. All, right. All I know is that them folk that were there mm -hmm. were some folk uh, uh, of, a, uh, of a kind of strange background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was, was a dope dealer and right. a thug. And I absolutely get where you're coming from. I mean, you've already told me this several times, but there's one thing you definitely told me about in your, it's not in your own words, but it's basically I'm having a hard time getting these people out of my mind. That's what you were talking about earlier. You kept on going back to Thursday. You kept on going back to the correct people at the because house. it, it kind of creeped me out. I but understand that it creeped me out because you know I'm an eye contact type of guy, and if you okay. introduce me to somebody, that's the thing to do. Okay, eye contact. Right. Let's, let's talk about you know. Let's change the subject. Talk about basketball. Or, right. You know, let's shoot the shit just since you're in, in, in the home. Okay. Shoot the shit, but you know there's a couple that were just kind of creepy. I didn't think nothing of it at right. that time though, because there was a bunch of folk there. I'm thinking maybe they're grieving, right. maybe it's a rut, maybe. But in retrospect, I'm wishing I would have right. said something about it. Okay. So going back, you're you're on Saturday going to Michelle's house. Okay, you get to Michelle's house. What do you remember about that? No, um, she was putting stuff in the car. Okay. Michelle's putting stuff in her car? Right. Okay. I parked the van. Where do you park that at? In the garage, as usual. Okay. It's, it, we're about to be gone all weekend. Okay. So That's go to Michelle's house. Street. Right. And, and we kind of already established that earlier. Why park it in the thing? Because it's safer. Right. Why park it in the garage? It's safer. It's, okay. Um, correct. That's crack alley. Okay. Park van in garage. And we'll just put safe. Safer. Okay. And Michelle is packing stuff in the car. Right. And I helped her. Pack stuff in a car. Okay. And okay. once we got stuff in the car, we laughed about, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, the, the boys, because they were already uh, at the uh, hotel. And my family, some of my family was already there as well. About the boys, meaning her boys? Yeah, her boys. Okay. Her boys. And my boy, excuse me, her, her boys, they were already at the hotel. Okay. And what does she, you know, how she wants this to happen? Because I told you I'm, I'm kind of tired. I've been partying all weekend. You know, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of zonked. She said, oh, all I need you to do is, after I asked her, you ask some chicken. And she said, you know, of course. And we drove to the hotel. Okay. Uh, Nonstop. Who, who, who all was in the car? Just the back seat was full. Okay. So, so me was, and her. Okay. And you went in her car? Yes. And then she got out. And I Hold said, on real quick. Non-stop to the hotel. Right. We just took the interstate. I uh, okay. took the, I told her I'll, I'll get you, give me the key, just get on up and get things situated. Okay. Then I went and got the bellhop deal. Okay. And at the hotel? At the hotel. And okay. Loaded everything up completely. And I came in and went up to the room. Okay. Started loading stuff in the room. Right. Okay. All right. And that, the, I have a clue. Uh, what, what time that was, but okay. that's between four and six, four and six is somewhere in there. Okay, we'll just put that. Then eight. Maybe four to six. Okay. They uh, wanted me to do this, uh, what they call it, I forget what they call it, but I just did it my way. I just set up, because it was a theme party, okay. and okay. I wasn't trying to, you know, get into all that putting characters up and stuff like that. So I hooked the room up for the party. And we're talking about the... The, the, the hotel room. The actual hotel room. We're not talking about like down by the pool or stuff like no, that. They, right? were, they were down there though. Okay. They were already down by the pool. I'm okay. in the room. Okay. But basically you set up the room. Then I went down and told everybody the room was set up. And we... The people were kind of scattered out at that point. Because the adults were over by the bar area. The kids were in the pool. And some of the other ladies were just sitting over in the chairs. Okay, so do you recall who all was at the party? Uh, let's yeah, talk I about mean, number. Let's talk about number first. How many people do you think were at the party, including adults and kids? Approximately. 
20, 15, 20. Okay. Approximately 15 to 20 at the party. Okay. And of those people, we obviously know you. I mean, I'm not, I don't know all those names. Cause it was- You remember your family members there? Yeah, Frank. Okay. Kathy. Michelle. Her daughter. He, her two boys. Michelle's two boys. Okay. And uh, yeah, that was it. I forgot the name. Look around the room. That's all right. Yep. That's it. I mean, I was in my mind looking around. Okay. Hey, from, from, from what you believe, this is your family members yeah. who were there. Right? Okay. All right. So maybe I mean, people were coming, and once the party got started, it was it was a bigger suite. Some folk come in could only stand by the door because they started the kid festivities. So the grown-ups is on one side, the kids is on the other. Okay. But it was it was a packed room. All right. Up in the hotel room. Maybe. Right. Okay. All right. How'd the party go? The party, I mean, went like a kid's party. Okay. Was there any booze there? Um, I, I think there was uh, a little bit uh, remnants from the, the party earlier. Right. You know, someone brought a little sure. but nothing, nothing over the top because it's for kids. Okay. So uh, any booze that was there was like, for example, Michelle's uh, other son, okay. his grandfather brought a couple of beers, but that was for him to drink okay. while he was there. Right. So, I mean, it wasn't like folk was bringing in cases. And, right. Do you remember drinking that? Mm, I may have had a drink, but I, I was level headed because I had to work. Right. I wasn't trying to, this wasn't a party where you just sit around and drink at. Okay. So anyway, the party goes out on obviously throughout the day and night. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Am I right about that? The party goes, yeah. When do, when do you think it ends? Maybe. Mm, man. Just about. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I can tell you because they were going to see, uh, there was a movie out that Frank took my niece to see. Okay. And that was that was nine thirty. Okay. Ten ish. It was getting late. That was because they were trying to catch the nine o'clock movie. So okay. then I told Michelle I I took the trash and put it in a a, a deal, and she said, "Don't take it out. Just let the." room service people get it. So I put the boys, because one of her sons is autistic, okay. and he was off a of sugar high, but he listens to me, so I you know, put him down okay. and m removed, they gave him way too much, removed the toys off to the left or okay. whatever, and uh, he kept getting up, but I kept trying to move the trash and the cake mm -hmm. and the candy and the, I believe I threw away a whole bunch of candy, you okay. know, and put it all by the door. Okay. So we basically you cleaned up. Cleaned up okay. the room. All right. And that's about 10, 1030 ish. Okay. Give or take. And then uh, Michelle asked me about the, her uh, and her his daughter and some other folk wanted to have a uh, uh, breakfast okay. early. She said, okay. you, you're going to be up to it. So, you know, get some rest. Okay. And that's, again, about 10 or so. Okay. And then I, what did I do? I was Jahi, Jahi was up for a good little minute. She went and washed up. Who's that? She? Michelle. Michelle. Okay. Michelle went and washed up. Okay. And fell out. The, the younger one. He okay. fell out. So in the room at that point is obviously you, Michelle, and her kids? Right. Okay. How many kids? Three? Two? Two, two kids? The third one went with Frank. Frank, that's right. Okay. Okay. Who's the third one? Is that a female? Or? Yeah, Caleb. She's a teenager. Okay. So it's me, Michelle, and then her two boys. Right. Kayla's daughter went to movie with Frank. Went somewhere with Frank. Right. How? She's in 11th grade. 
So she's a. She was 10th grade then. All right, so she'd be a sophomore. Okay. Sophomore in high school, maybe? Now, this was three years ago. She she in 11th grade oh, now. Oh, no, excuse me, back then. All right. Right. That's okay. Yeah, three years ago, she was. Probably in eighth or. Right, middle school. If she's right. what? If she's in 11th grade now, she would have been probably. Yeah, right. Somewhere around eighth grade, okay. The dollar, eighth grader, went to movie with Frank. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Did you go to bed and, that night? And back to before we uh, uh, go forward. Okay. When I was, this is going to the hotel. Going to the hotel, leaving the house, wherever you got got that there. The neighbor saw her. Uh, the. I'm hoping. I mean, if you ask anybody to see her coming in with that. Uh, uh, silky, whatever kind of, you know, tied up with, with some jeans on. Okay. That they, they may say yeah, but right now, officer, where, where I'm where I'm going into, and I know I may have uh, 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 stuck a hole. But I know what the lawyer told me. There's because I explained this situation to the lawyer from A to Z. Okay. And he told me, that, you know, to, if I talk to you guys, you know, that what I'm telling you is, is nothing bad. All right. But dude, I don't care. Just so at, at that Saturday, okay. what I know that Saturday, I shouldn't be in the shackles if I had to talk to you uh, six, eight months ago. So we're going to have to end this interview to save save me. Okay. As I don't, I don't, I, I, I know that you, you're doing your job because even though I'm trying to throw you some, some, some curves, but it's not curves to, to take these off of me. This is a done deal. That would be hashed out court. I'm trying to throw some curves. If you do diligence, you, you would look into some of this shit. Okay. But I, I don't know to how many cops will will take the time to have someone indicted and look for another suspect. So personally, I did this so I can look you in your face finally and tell you I didn't do it. And whatever you got there that made circumstantial have me this way, it's not me. Okay. I should have broke up with her a long time ago instead of trying to help her. Because okay. all my conversations with her was to help her. Look, you shouldn't do this. Look, you shouldn't do that. And I'm looking you in your eye right now. And, and, and as a man, if you, you go and sleep at night, some cops can sleep at night. And if, if, and if you think that what you got on me, you can sleep at night, I didn't do this. I cared for her. I cared for her family. I cared for her child. I cared for her extended family. I even cared for Marvell's little dumb ass in, in the sense that I threw stuff in her ear to help him. I'm not going to tell him because he's a dangerous character. Okay. So I, I'm feeling it right now, but I, I'm also going to end it because I, I know now I'm in a fight life because of people saying things about me because when I came and gave my DNA and let you take pictures of me it wasn't because I was scared of anything it's because I had nothing to hide nothing whatsoever and I still don't I didn't leave I stayed in that same apartment and I, I, I'm, I'm baffled that three years can go by and all these interviews about shit that don't connect to me gets me sitting here. So this might be my only time talking to you okay. after after today. But what I told you there, those four or five pages, that's what happened. And and as far as uh, 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 but we didn't finish the rest of the weekend. Well, well, and there's a reason why, officer. Okay. And I'm I'm gonna tell you the the, the reason why we we're not gonna finish the rest of the weekend is this. What I tell you, it's like, let me get an analogy here. It's like me telling the other team my offense or me asking for my defense. You know, you know what I mean? It's like, if you're a basketball fan, it's like uh, Kobe Bryant going over there to tell so-and-so what they're going to do next game. Because right now I see you on the other side of the fence. But I, I want to talk to you, to look you in your eye. Because I'm not... A, I already told the lawyer if this came down to this, I was going to have a conversation with you. 
or with who? Ever. They know exactly what I'm saying. They have it all down except for the ending. But the ending had nothing to do with me. And there's some there's some also some pieces in there that's not there. So you didn't tell me the full truth. I, I told you the full truth. So don't 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 try to put words in my mouth. Well, wait a minute. I, I told you, I told you. See, you just told me that you left out pieces. So tell me if that's the full truth. You see, either the full truth is one hundred percent, or half the truth is fifty percent, or three quarters of the truth is seventy five percent. But okay. whatever percentage we're talking about, question. there's going to be a little bit that's left out. Let You're me telling me you left out. Let me ask this question. So you, this is clear. I'm asking. The reason that's left out okay. is because it's, it's, it's for my lawyer's ear. Because I don't care what I tell you, officer, okay. and how I tell you. Okay. This is going to be used against me if, if, if some things are brought to your attention. But not nothing bad on my part, but you'll twist it up. because Let me rephrase that because that, that, that's not a good statement. If I tell you everything, no matter how it, it comes out, me and her weren't fighting. That's 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 what you need to know. Me and her weren't fighting. We never were fighting. We had a relationship that that evening. She if she was mad at me, she'd have never gave me the impala. Because she done that. Look, y'all, look, you shouldn't have put that car in my name. When I broke up about six months prior before her passing. She told me I couldn't use neither car. Then we made up. I'm like, come on now, I paid for that car. You know, so if anything going to piss me off, that would have, I'm like, come on. You know, but I know I had other options. Michelle had a car. My family had a car. I'm going to get around. I'm a resourceful guy. Things like that is not going to throw me over the edge. Like she told me that her brother, when I saw him at, uh, uh, I see him at workforce. He said that you guys, so I know this, you know, it, unless he lied to me, which he didn't look like he was lying. He looked, you know, you know we had a long conversation for about, well, not long, 20 minutes in a, in a closed area okay. so we could uh, in, in, engage each other. He said that you told him that I, I was locked up all weekend. I didn't tell him anything. Uh, he said he called. Anyway, he, he called an officer by the name okay. and said I was locked up all weekend. And there's some other things he told me. And then I explained to him what where I was, what I was doing. and Actually, he said it the other way around to me, Patrick. He called me the first, the first time I ever talked to him was on the, di on the day that she was found. Now, this, this is, I'm talking about a couple weeks ago. Listen to me. Just hear me out. Mm -hmm. First time I talked to him was on the day that she was found. Between that particular day and about a week ago, I hadn't talked to him since. Never. He calls me out of the blue last week and tells me, hey, I need to talk to you. I said, why do you need to talk to me? He goes, well, obviously you know about my sister's case. I said, yeah. He said, I had a little run, with, run in with Patrick at the workforce center. That's the last time I talked to him. Mm -hmm. So this bullshit that you're throwing out there about that's me. What he said, that's what he said. Listen to me, dude. This bullshit you're throwing out there about me saying that uh, or whoever, that you were, whatever, all weekend at this hotel or what have you, never came out of this phone. No, not, not, no, not, never came out of my mouth. Not all weekend at the hotel. They said when I came down. No, Lo not, oh, not, locked up. Locked sorry. up. Yeah, that, no. that, that, that never came out of my mouth. Right. I, I, I That's never came, him, right, come right, out of so me. He said I was locked. But my, the reason yeah. I'm getting at that right. is because their, their family, and I bumped into all of them now, mm -hmm. except for a couple, have come up with whether they're telling you the truth or not they have their own theory mm -hmm. and it's not me whether that means anything to you or not but it's not me meaning their theory's not you or no, they're saying it's their, their theory about who did it don't point back to me but it can't point back to me i mean officer help me out here Patrick, and, they, they they believe her family believes you did this I mean, you're telling me that the well, statement. I guess, this, I guess they're they're, they're the, the pulling the wool over my eyes. Right, the, the statement right. that you just made to me is their family's theory does not point back to me. That's right, it's who I talk to. I only talk to two. Who's that? And uh, the character, but he don't count. I mean, just he, okay. He he was like, you know, just tell me what you think. Okay. But like, you know, 
crazy character. He want to hurt somebody. Okay. If he believed that, we'd have been fighting. All right. He asked me what was going on, and I explained it to him. Mm-hmm. And I also explained to him, and he 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 felt the same way uh, about this. If Pastor Nella was serious about leaving me, then not another one of our just let's break up for a couple months. I didn't have any concerns about her leaving me because I had the Impala. And when she broke up with me uh, over some nonsense about six, eight months before or so, it was because she, she thought I was flirting with somebody, whatever the case may be, uh, relationship nonsense. But then she broke up different. Mm-hmm. She said, you can't, you can't use your cars, you know, don't call me, don't. Right. So, all right, baby, you know, I'm hoping it blow up. Right. But I can't say give me the keys. Okay. Can, can I go back? Uh, can I go back to the hotel? Can I ask you a couple questions about the hotel? Well, and I mean, you've already talked about some of this, and that's why I just want to ask a couple questions look, to fill it in about when you were setting things up and what have you. When I, when I was setting things up at the hotel, mm-hmm. I was in the hotel. I mean, I didn't leave. Didn't leave. And then the party started. Okay. The kids got rambunctious, okay. and I was there to be the enforcer. Sure. The, the, the little autistic one, he, he, he's, he's rambunctious, but he listens to me. Okay. And I helped him out, you know, do some positive reinforcement, and I helped him out. Okay. And I, I kept him calm. Okay. During and the- then... Go ahead, I'm sorry. And then, again, and then the evening came to a close. Okay. And folks start doing it out. It was extremely late. Okay. And Michelle said something, I said something, and yeah. that ends. And again, I'm telling you right that now. That ends it, meaning that ends your story today. Yeah. Right. About the hotel. Well, about, th- that's it. I mean, I'm giving okay. you that because. Okay. And I want to ask you something before that ever happens. If you'd be willing to answer it. What is it? The, the, the question I have for you is, do you have a cell phone of your own? Do I? Okay. Not back then. You did you not you did not have a cell phone of your own back then? No. I had we 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 used we switched, we switched. When I you, paid the sale bill, we switched the same phone. We okay. used the same six one two number. I don't remember the number, but we we used the same phone. Okay. All right. So back then you didn't have your own cell. No, we. Did you ever have your own cell phone back then? Off and on. I off mean, we, on. we, we, uh, uh, actually, she had two. She had a throwaway and a cricket. Okay. And then we found out that the throwaway was a little more convenient. We call it a throwaway because you get done with it. Toss it. You don't need it, and because it it's a, a family dollar phone for eight, nine bucks. Okay. And you just buy the card and you put minutes on it. Okay. And she had one of those. I'm like, hey, then I got one. Right. And then we could. Keep tabs on each other. Okay. And then she had got me a. I had a, I had a cell phone at the beginning of our relationship because we had it on the same account. Okay. And then one of our breakups, she chopped that off. Okay. So then I didn't want another. You know, I'm like, we need one bill. Right. We got a house phone. Right. We can barely pay this bill. Right. So we okay. don't need another. All right. Do you remember using anyone's phone that night while you're at the hotel, or going to the hotel, or while you're at the hotel at all? You remember having one of your own that night? Yeah, I've had uh, 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 my nieces. Right. Okay. Now that's the niece. Okay. Okay. So that's gonna be Michelle's daughter. Correct. Because when when we separated a couple times in a hotel. Okay. And I when I went down to get them, I'm gonna tell you why. But when I went down to get them for the party, Mm -hmm. they're like, "Oh, we're not ready." I'm like, "I'm not gonna keep coming back down here." Okay. To get y'all, so she said here. I was like, "Well, I'm, I'm going over here then, hang out with some of the older, you know, the, the men, and talk some shit." She said, "Well, I'm gonna call you when we're ready. You can go up and do X, Y, and Z." Okay. But I had those little uh, uh, I forget. But it's also a uh, little family dollar mm-hmm. pay by whatever. What? Kind of I'm back. I'm what, back. what you described as a throwaway phone. Correct. Well, okay. It's not actually a throwaway. Okay. It's but basically that's what it is. You're using right. the minutes and what have you. Using the minute if you're okay. done, you don't actually physically throw it away. Right. You just put it in a drawer. Sure. Until another time. Right. So let's be clear. It's not just. No, I understand that. Did so, you do you ever remember having anyone else's phone something. or using anyone else's phone that night? I mean, it was a a busy afternoon, so it's possible. I mean, I don't. I mean, while I'm in a hotel, I don't see a a reason. Okay. Because we're once we got up to the room, that's where we all were. 
Okay. Because there was tons of gifts, okay. tons of food, okay. tons of cake, kids off the wall, mm -hmm. and I'm moving trash, and I'm busy. Okay. Now, I didn't really have a, a sit-down time. Okay. I'm just busy. All right. But again, officer, I'm going to have to end this because right. what you got there is plenty enough for you to either, A, use that against your notes and figure out, hey, this guy didn't do it. But again, I don't know too many cops before you leave. Can I have to make a statement? Well, I mean, you can talk as long as you want. I don't know too many cops that will go through this process and then find out it's somebody else and feel good about it. Okay. And I don't see you being one of those. So that when you made that statement, I want to be I want to clarify that statement. I didn't tell you no half truths today. You said that you left out things. Correct. Well that's then that's not the full truth. I said you didn't tell the full truth and you said I told the truth. I, and I said you said you left out things. Sir that's a play on words. No, it's it could, sure it is. It could be my boss. It could be me. It could be the person down the street. If someone was telling a story from A to Z mm -hmm. and they leave out M O P Q R S, oh, let's leave out G here and what have you, then the full truth is not there. The full truth is not there because you're leaving out parts of the truth. Because the, the, the conversation was, uh, uh, when I reached out to you guys, was just to tell you about my feelings okay. uh, of Amazon, but we got sidetracked. So I had no intentions on right. on on going from A to Z. Okay. My intentions, when I uh, mentioned to you earlier, you got that in your records. My intentions was to tell you, if you if you're an officer of the law right. and you have some integrity about yourself, was to go go and and you know what what I and, saw. And, and you're right. And then I asked you. I said, "Would you mind going over the weekend?" You said, "I'll tell you. But, I'll but, tell you." But so then see, in, the in, my, is, in my mind, but I, I, all right, my, let's don't my, put this on me. Right in my mind. I knew that I, I was not going to go go into what my lawyer needs to hear okay. with you. All right. I hear what you're saying. But it, it, it's, go am on. I going to be in here long? Hmm. I, I, I'm, what's your name again? Todd. Todd. Yep. I came here because everybody, you talk to Frank, you talk to, you talk to all my family. Some, and not all. Well, all that talk to you. And some of them haven't reached out to you yet. Okay, well, you just told me that, unfortunately, past and family believe I did this, and that's... Well, you told me, no. See, I was correcting you. You told me that their theory is you didn't do it. No, the, the, the one I was going to correct you... And saying, including the pastor of the church. There's... there's the what? The, the pastor of the church, they go to, we go to, me and Pastor went to, okay. is... Did you talk to them, Cleves Temple, any of them folk? Okay. They, the ones that know her and knew that they're, that double life, whatever, and possibly triple, knew that there was never any drama between us. So for the family to flip this on me is a bombshell to me because all I did was paint the house, cut the grass. Sounds like you treated their family well. Shovel their, their, their stuff and... Passionella never came to their house beat up. There was never a uh, police call, never domestic violence, never nothing. And the only thing this woman could say is I lost my check is because I was tired of losing money. Okay. So I'll get your attention by holding back money. But if I can't get your attention, we'll separate again. I didn't have a problem leaving her, officer. Okay. All right. So now you know. It's unfortunate I talked to you because now you know who I am. And, and, and again, I know once I leave here and it's up to the lawyers, it's now it's a, a game of, I don't know what they call it, but there's a, to me, this whole process is a month because I didn't do this. So now I'm sitting here in shackles and it's, uh, you must believe I did it because you wouldn't have signed the arrest warrant. You must believe something in that file, other than other than uh, evidence. You know, because you had my DNA that day, you had my uh, pictures that day, and that woman's feisty, so I know she fought somebody. But it wasn't me. 
So it don't matter to you about DNA and pictures. It, it matters about connect. Police work, now I know, is about you guys talking to people for years and years and years and years and years until you get the right judge to bring me in. Because that weekend, nothing has changed from that weekend until now. I have, I mean, nothing has come up. There is no smoking gun. There is no, I don't even know what, I just hear theories about what happened to her. I don't, I don't know. Don't want to, I just know the good times. But there's no smoking gun. I hear I put her in the, uh, in the garage. I, I mean, I'm like, I hear just nonsense. Then I stopped all of that. And I stopped Chrissy from even indulging. I guess it's just a hammer into you because I guess right now it don't matter. But hammer into you if you if, if you have that in you that sometime y'all get the wrong guy, it will come to fruition that this, this is gonna come out. Cause I, it's, it's there are things that will, will just flip a courtroom. I didn't do it. I had love for that young lady, even when we split up. There was no fights. I loved her. So when you go home tonight, and if you can sleep thinking you got the right guy, knock yourself out. But I didn't do it. Only thing I've done for her and her family, and extended family, it was right by her. And if the argument started, it started because I was saying something about her family about what she shouldn't do, about boosters, about company, about uh, people staying over until midnight. Especially if I go to sleep and come downstairs, it's just guys. Come on now. You, what, all I have is male friends. That's fine, but that, let them go home. I don't have a problem with that because all I got is female friends. But my female friends are not in the house at 11 o'clock. Well, I'd still like to talk to you about some stuff if you're, if you're willing. You know, officer, again, I didn't look you in your eye and told you that what's about to, what, what's going to come up will. And I just, uh, uh, I wish I'd have reached out, but I don't trust you guys. And you, you know why? Because you're on that side of the fence, I'm on this side of the fence. There's nothing that I say that's going to be kept in context. That's why I say certain things certain ways so you keep it in context. Don't try to twist my words up when I spoke to you to try to clear the air with you. Maybe give you something else to look at, which I doubt if you do. But if you're, if you're an officer that can go home and say, wait a minute, we ain't turned that leaf over. Maybe somebody's out there. If, if, if that badge is on you, knock yourself out. Because I'm, I'm telling you, Sitting here, my name is Patrick. When she gave me that car, and uh, uh, and then sex, and then bath, and then all this, and all that, I'm like, okay, this is not one of those crazy breakups. Because I know her, her breakups. She was going through night sweats, hair falling out. She had crazy mood swings. Crazy. So I don't know sometime where her head's at. So I'm like, okay, she cool. She cool. I don't have to really bend over backwards to try to, you know, get this thing going again. But if it do, it do. If it don't, it don't. Because you always end up down at Michelle's house with me trying to coerce this back together all the time. And this was nothing different. She didn't take both cars. She didn't lock me out. She didn't say, I'm going to burn your clothes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, because she's capable of that. That's the type of temper she had. She's capable of that. She didn't do none of that. I had no reason to harm her. None. Only thing I did was leave and take her for her word that whatever things prior to the funeral and then after the funeral she would this time she said I'd be you know I'd be out to just give me a minute. But that never came. We got the message on Sunday. When we all still together 
all still kicking it. Still with the same folks. You know. And I, I like integrity, so I understand your, your, your take on it, because I don't want you to think that you I came even, here. You don't even know my take on it. I I, I've never even told you my take on it. What's your take, Todd? It's up to you on whether you want to know. Earlier you said that you were through talking. Wait, and then I, I asked you, listen to me. I, I want to hear your you, take on, on this, but as far as... If, 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 if you want, want, want to share that with me, you just said I didn't have an issue. So that's well, you haven't asked me, and the thing is, earlier you said, well... That's implying I, I, I'm that... Gonna, I'm, I'm going to end talking and what have you, and I asked the question when I stood up, hey, I'd still like to talk to you, what do you think? And you went on this rigmarole about other stuff. So I guess I'm asking you again. I mean, if, right, if you, it wasn't if you, a rigmarole. No, you, well, and then when you say, well, I know your take, no, you don't, because you don't know anything about me. You don't, you don't nothing, you know nothing, because I've never said my take. If, 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 if you want, want, want to share that with me, you just said I didn't have an issue. So that's well, you haven't answer. asked me, and the thing is, earlier you said, well, that's implying. I, I, I'm that. going gonna, I'm gonna to end talking and what have you, and I asked the question when I stood up, hey, I'd still like to talk to you, what do you think? And you went on this rigmarole about other stuff. So I guess I'm asking you again. I mean, if, right, if you, it wasn't if you, a rigmarole. No, you, no I'm, I'm just saying that's a wording for me. But, uh, I mean, you, you went on what you wanted to say and what have you at that point, but you never answered the question on whether or not you want to continue talking to me. Well, and then when you say, "Well, I know your take," no, you don't, because you don't know anything about me. You don't. You know nothing. You know nothing, because I've never said my take. I've never said anything to you. I know about you think I'm guilty. You don't know anything. I wouldn't have been sitting in shackles, Todd. Right, but you don't know why. Well, I don't have to be a rocket scientist, Todd. I know that someone had a judge sign a, an arrest warrant for me for this crime. I know that, and I know that. You, being lead detective, did that paperwork and follow-up and convinced somebody to do this. And you would not go through that unless you believed it. So, thus, me sitting here is to look you in your eye and tell you. I didn't do it. And not only tell you that, give you some stuff on that paper to, to, to go through. Okay. Not that that's going to change this outcome right now. I know I'm in a fight for my life right now. And, and with that said, I'm not giving up my weapons. Because I know you get, you guys, that whoever's outside that door is prepared to throw everything at me, whether it's true or not. You guys are prepared to throw everything at me to, 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 to convict me of something that you already said that I'm guilty of. That's how it works. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that I ain't ever seen uh, 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 a turnaround like we made a mistake but that, that's good cop work and that's good integrity but that's highly unlikely for you to say look what? look at this but it's going to come up and it's then it'll be over but it's going to take a lot of my life for that to happen and I, I'm, I'm confident that if it comes to the point where the jury and my peers, I'm confident that nothing, nothing that's outside that door, that if I wasn't arrested them, them three days, that, that them three days, I'd have felt better. Like, okay, fuck, they just got me because I'm the boyfriend, and let's, let's get this over with. But to, don't take that back. I'd have never felt better being in shackles. But at least it had been like you guys I'm gonna sit down because right. I'm getting tired of standing up. Like you guys have 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 just picked me out because I'm a boyfriend and you, you got something to hold me on. And then I'd have got pissed off then too and tell you the same story. And then I'd be a free man by now. That's my take on it right then. But to wait until you hash up conversations with people and then get someone else to look at something, get someone else. If it's nothing under a rock, it's nothing under the rock. Just because a family believe I did it, look, I believe somebody that family may have had something to do with it. Because why on um, this earth would 
of a mama and and all of them have never ever ever seen me in passion to argue, be physical, be nothing other than a, a relationship. For them to flip like that and start lying on me and trying to convince you and they warn your ear, convince me, I mean convince you that is me, that's disconcerting. And that the light's going to be shined on them now. Because there's a lot of shit going on in that house, in that family, that may have played a part in this. Or they somebody know something and just don't, won't. So I do know your TikTok. I, I don't know it. The, you think you know it. Well, but you don't. Well, sure. The take is obviously you've been arrested, but you don't know what I'm thinking. And you don't know what I know. Well, look, Todd. Let's be clear on this. Because now I'm getting upset. Let's Wait, be clear on this. There's no reason to be upset. Yeah, it is. Okay. Switch seats with me. And you tell me that you wouldn't be upset. I think it'd be hard being in your position. So, I'm upset because now, during a uh, crucial time in, 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 in life, that and I'm a rock, I'm here. I'm upset about that. I'm upset that all, all our plans now on hold because it is nonsense. So I'm upset. And yet what happened three years ago was tragic. All the way around. My daughter damn near lost her baby because of this. She named her child after her. I mean, there was love for her in my family, including myself. I went through a, a long, dark period after this, after that situation. Angry, trying to figure out shit. Angry, trying to figure out shit. Hearing threats of my life and threats of my family's life. It was a, it was a dark time. Then I finally sat down and, and grieved. But I had to grieve with, with, with sense. Because I knew that, that you guys were trying to take my life like you just did. So it, it, it's, it's hard for me to sit here and not say your take is what it is. It is that. That whoever the powers that be decided that whatever evidence you guys have come up with in three years, which won't lead to me. I disagree with that. Whatever evidence you came up with in three years won't lead to me. If so, it took you three years to come to this conclusion? Because the, the, the key things, and my lawyer did, we can talk about this, the key things is your, your phone records, your uh, 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 whatever. I mean, where you can place me. I was, I was not around her. Nowhere near her when harm came to her. I mean, you can, see, I know your take now because you just, you just put it out. Your take is good police work can put the pieces together. And we'll make this work. But that's not good police work. Because you just ruined my life. I didn't take no ones. Your, your police work, circumstantial, may it, or, or just because you got... It, man, connect the dots, Todd. Connect the dots. I don't have a motive. Zero. I didn't have no means or opportunity, whatever the hell y'all call it. My sister can rattle that shit off. I don't have a motive. I loved her. We were on good terms. Loved. We were still having relations. So, whatever breakup you got, I was upset. I was, Anthony told me that it, it he heard I, I went off because I went, she didn't come to my party. I said, man, that was the case. I was, you know, I'm not sure I don't want to hear this, but I'm down around a lot of women. And I knew where she was. I knew, well, I thought I knew where she was. But it wasn't, look, I, I ain't going to your party because I'm going to dinner with Jilly Billy Bob. It wasn't nothing like that. It was a situation about a death 
that who am I to say, don't go that way. I'm not that selfish. If your friend died and that's your family, I mean your 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 ex husband's people, go. I'm going to this party. You know I'm gonna be. And she took her time to come around that counter, kiss me. Here, take this baby. Happy birthday. And I left. And we sort of left together. And we're talking outside. From a Friday night. Happy. And Saturday. Saturday was just a, I, I think through Saturday off was a garage. Otherwise, we was, when I woke up, she had the migraine, hooked her up, gave her a tub. Relationship stuff, nothing that would lead me to believe that this is it. Oh my God, we are finally, you know. And even if that's the case, I've had some fine women in my life, all who are still alive. Some that got things better off than her. Uh, actually, a couple of them got things better off. And when we broke up, there may be a little scuffle and, and, and this, that, and the other, but nothing that would put me in this situation. I would go down that road. I like my freedom. But I'm preaching to, the, to, to deaf ears. I don't know, because if you're preaching to deaf ears, I would have left the room. You just, you keep on talking. So, you know, I, I'd like to talk to you about that Friday a little bit, going into Saturday, if you'd be willing. And I'll give you my take on that. Well, I know what your take is. You don't know anything about my take on that. So. Your take is, well, well it's, it's the, as my grandma used to say, bless her soul, she's passed. Proof is in the pudding. And no matter how you spend it, that's your job to, 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 to spend things. But I've given you what I'm going to give you. Okay. No matter how you spend it. But it's kind of warm in here. Can you at least try to get me out of here as quickly as possible? Thank you. That's what we're going to go here. So, do you have anything more you want to talk about? No. I think. Um, here, give me. So, you about to leave me here for a while? No. No. Just want to know if there's anything more you want to talk about. Is there any questions that you have or if there's anything that you want me to tell you? Well, you're not going to tell me what I want to hear. Okay. It, so, See, when you when you when you make a statement like that, I'm just going to ask, what do you want to hear? Well, look, I, I read a lot, and I know for a fact that it don't take three years to piece together something like this. Okay, I disagree, I disagree with you on that because I'm in a cold case unit where it takes years and years to piece together some cases. Okay, well, see, I don't know. I mean, I mean, look at shows like, uh, and again, I'm just throwing out here, look at shows like Cold Case Files or, or shows like, uh, you know, uh, whatever. And, not, and I'm not talking about make-believe shows like CSI. I'm talking about real shows like Cold Case Files and what have you, where they work on these types of cases and all different types of homicide cases for years and years and years. There's time periods, Patrick, where they don't solve a case for 25 or 30 years. There's time periods where they can solve a case within days or within hours, right. depending on what type of evidence they have at that point, what types of things they got going and what have you. Well, most of that, most of that, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, most of that, if it's cold case, comes into play because science from the 60s or 70s or whatever, mm -hmm. is not as advanced as it is today. Some of that's true, but then the other part of that is people will sometimes come forward with new information or they'll want to finally talk after years because they don't feel fear. I don't know. There, there's a lot of different reasons. I, okay, I well, just get locked in, but right. I'm not saying that you are incorrect by any means. Some of that, a lot of that cold case stuff, and you're probably talking about DNA. You're probably talking about how science is different than it was a lot 40, different. 30 and years then, ago. Well, in my case, let's, let's stick to me. Okay. In my case, I know for a fact, when I came down here, after a long weekend of partying, you're talking about, what time period are we talking about? Here? That Sunday when I came in here and talked to, I don't know if it was you or I talked to someone. You didn't talk to me, I know. Okay, I talked to two people. Okay. One came in and one came out and one whatever. Okay. And 
they explained to them where I was and what I was doing. And then they wanted whatever, and they took whatever. At that point, the, the evidence from that house was taken from that house because you get, and, and again, I'm not saying that something was done wrong on, on, on this part, but something was done wrong by picking me. Mm -hmm. But you say that you guys will connect the dots. I, I, I beg to differ once things come out. Okay. You, you took that evidence from that house that weekend, mm -hmm. and you guys closed the crime scene, which I don't think you should have. But you closed the crime scene. You took whatever you took. Then you let... I'm just getting this all off television because I wasn't talking to none of our family. I, I reached out. They, they didn't. They didn't want to talk. They, you let go in there and give stuff away for free. I mean, which that's, is good. That's on Beverly, not on us. Donate. I'm not because about that. Yeah, the scene was released by then. Right. Exact. That's that's my point there. Why? What's 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 your point? I don't my understand point what is, you're getting at. What, because anything in that house, anything in that house that you guys took that weekend or that week or however long you guys are there. Mm -hmm. Anything that a house, if it pointed to me, that next week you'd have me. Not necessarily. Top. Not necessarily. Dependent. Let's be clear on this. You I think you make it sound as if is that we could we could take I can give you an example. We could take five pieces of evidence from a house. We could take twenty five pieces of evidence or a hundred pieces of mm -hmm. evidence. Okay? A lot of times not every piece of evidence is it, worth anything. Sometimes that's the case. Right. Sometimes there's a lot of evidence that's worth stuff. Right. Sometimes it takes time to determine whether a piece of evidence is going to be beneficial or not beneficial, if it's pertinent to an investigation or not pertinent to an investigation. Right. Okay. At the same time, that's that that that's going on, Patrick. The Passionate Prince's case is not the only case we're working. Okay. Right. So that. we're working case upon case upon case upon case upon case. Okay, so this is not a situation where you have one detective or a series of detectives that has worked on this case for a full, full three and a half years. There are time periods where the case has to be put aside because other cases are coming up, then we have to go back and try to work the case again and what have you. So I think you get I think you're I think you're too locked into if evidence was found there that relates to me, then you would have known it within week one. Not, not necessarily week one, at least one year one. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I mean, when you go back to ask my brother about a, a watch mm -hmm. that don't belong to me. I never said it belonged to you. The purpose of going back to your brother to ask about the watch is to determine who it belongs to. Right. I don't know who it belongs to. Well. But that, I don't know whether that watch has anything to do with anything relating to this incident. Well, because the, as the, you the, know, the as I know, right. the amount of shit <clears throat> that was in her basement from the floor all the way to the ceiling and I have pictures of all that will show you that there's crap all over there. So yeah. to say that that has anything to do with anything, I'm not suggesting that it does. It's just well, that when we take pieces of evidence, what right. we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to basically account for pieces of evidence. Okay, we take well, it a scene. Yeah, so, her basement was and that again was from Her basement was a wreck. Right. And I tried. I that, was that's, there. that's another argument. I'm like well, I don't care. I mean, that, 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 that's neither here nor there. Right. Right? You trying or not trying it has nothing to do with that. I mean, we're talking about evidence here. We're not talking about you trying to clean the basement. That's not, that's not, has nothing to do with anything. You know, when I came in here and I asked you, you know, do you have any other questions? Do, do you well, want to talk anymore? Or do you have anything? The, the, the answer that came out of your mouth was, you're not going to tell me what you want me to say, but you've never told me what you want me to tell you. Not, not, not say, not say. Well, you've never told me what you even want me to tell you. Well, back, I'll, I'll tell you that. Back to what you said. I, I gave the truth on that paper. There's nothing nothing, nothing on that paper that, that, from my recollection unless something comes up when I'm well, talking to somebody else. But okay, I'll ask you about that. Friday night going into Saturday. That Friday night going into Saturday, okay? You're at this party. You're at this party at the club, okay? You're telling me there's nothing wrong on that paper. I can tell you this right now, Patrick. I have phone <laughs> records to show that you are blowing the shit out of her phone Saturday morning. It's not this situation where you get home and say, I, I might be concerned about her and what have you, so I might I, I did, I, We did stuff like that. We, we called Dude, back and forth. Call back and forth? 
And I had 19 calls from the house to her cell phone. 19 calls. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Correct. No, it's not that. It's the thing of she's getting tired of you calling her and it's going right to voicemail because we can show that. But I didn't. She is telling people. But there's no crazy messages on our voicemail. Dude, it has nothing to do with anything. Uh, you, You have to understand. You tell me at the beginning, Todd, there's nothing crazy on that phone. Correct. Oh, I, call I don't Christy call Christy a hundred times. I don't call my wife nineteen times to try to figure out where she's at. I do. I well, do. When, I do when I do when I think she's drinking. Then I tell you what. Then I do when I think she's drinking. I think, I think somebody, she's driving. I my, th- my take is if somebody is calling somebody nineteen times in a one hour period, I would say that's a little obsessive. I think other people would think that's a little strange. Nineteen times when it's clear that it's going to voicemail. Practically every time. Well, I beg so if you're calling, I beg to differ. I beg, I beg to differ because all my relationships, that happens. If I don't hear from you, I'm gonna keep trying. Well, what does that tell me about you? That that tells me I, I not that I'm a, a, a crazy maniac. That I care about who I'm with. Not that I'm, I think I'm, you're a little obsessive. No, and because she did the same to me. Look, obsessive. She did the same. She treated me the same way. If I left, didn't call from work. I mean, you in retrospect, then we're going on the uh, flip side. Mm-hmm. If I uh, get off work at Conagra mm-hmm. at eleven thirty, mm-hmm. and when I had whatever phone I had, okay. when when before she took it from me, all right, uh, took the bill, she would call me constantly. Okay. The same way, I mean, I treat her the same way she used to treat me. Right. I mean, that's not obsessive. That's just our relationship. Okay. That might be a relationship, and you might not see that as being normal, but th- there was no. Uh, but on the other side of that, the other side of that is we have people with her that night where they're they're telling us she is saying I don't want to talk to him. I'm getting tired of him. But that's not what she told me, dude. I kicked him out this morning. That's, that's another thing. That's right. another thing. That's Friday that's morning, she told me. Friday morning, you say everything's fine. Right. We all we're kicking it. We're all kicking. We it. got witnesses well, for that. Really? Well, I'll tell you what witnesses I have, Patrick. Mm-hmm. I have Bob, I have kids. Mm-hmm. I have. I have a child in that daycare who goes home and tells her mother, Patrick and 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 Passionetta, we're breaking up. Not only that, she put him out this morning. She put I don't him out this no, morning. She, me and so, her talk, so, let, me, let me explain that to you, Todd. I, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. But Passionetta pulled that girl in the kitchen. I said, Passionetta, that is inappropriate. She pulled that child in the kitchen. But Patrick, let me, no, let me here's the me. difference. You now want to explain it. But you never told it at the beginning. Cause that that's for what? That's for that's for my lawyer's ear. Because you guys are thinking that as as you as don't a, think we know that. You I don't think. I mean, but you ask what takes three years. Sometimes what takes three years is hunting down hundreds and hundreds of people to talk to. Well, about your relationship with Passionetta. Okay. Well, I can tell you that right little now, girl. You are playing it like it's perfect. Okay. And believe me, it ain't perfect. Well, my witnesses and your witnesses and mm-hmm. some of her family witnesses that I, I know for a fact. Mm-hmm. No, and that little girl, back to that little girl, because I remember Pastor said Mr. Patrick's moving because they love they love me there, and I said I sure am, and th- we was in the kitchen, and then she went, she uh, uh, what was her name? I think it was Day, Day and Deja, because she talked to them like they're adults, and I thought that was inappropriate. I'm like Pastor, you shouldn't be telling them kids that crap, even if we are splitting up. That's not for their ears. Dude, she was putting you out. It's not a situation of just splitting up. She's putting you out of the house. She told some let's, people let's that be on clear, Friday Let's night. be clear, Todd. Me and Pastor had broke up countless times. I'm not saying you did. So putting me out and right. asking me to leave, and then if she's putting me out, Todd, and right. it's supposed to be like you're saying, mm-hmm. she let me use her car. Mm-hmm. Yep. And 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 we still having whatever. Mm-hmm. That's not put. Yeah, she's putting out to me and just giving me that olive branch to hopefully I'm gonna still kick money out. Right. So there's there's no. I've been put out of her house a lot of times, mm-hmm. and it never resulted into this right. because I had no reason to do that. I look at it as a a little time alone, mm-hmm. a little time to do what I do. So yeah, I might have. I do, I do stuff like that. But and and, Patrick, and why, why wouldn't you tell me that and when, story at the beginning? And then witnesses. You were saying, hey, full truth. I told you the truth of what's on that paper. And well, you did, no, you didn't. You didn't to me. You didn't tell me the situation relating to the kid. You didn't tell me the situation relating to them thinking. You uh, I'm not it. getting into all that. There's things that's going to come up. The kid in the kitchen, the kid in the kitchen, just like me and her, her me and Anthony had a conversation about me moving out. Mm-hmm. And I guess, you know, if it happened, it happened. If it don't, it don't. But if I, if I do leave, I'll leave my kid. Not a problem, you know. 
things of that nature. But that kid, the only thing that came of that conversation, no anger, was that was inappropriate. Yeah. You know, did, you don't tell them kids our business, you know. And she talked to them like they're an adult. And I was telling my little girls. And I know they went home and embellished. Mm -hmm. But we're not putting out, because if it was putting me out, I would not have, I got put out when I couldn't use the vans. I got put out. When, when she asked for this, that, and that. I got put out when she uh, cut the cell phone off. Mm -hmm. That was a breakup. And we were, we were apart for about four months, three, four months. Okay. And really didn't speak to each other. But then we rekindled. Mm -hmm. She came around to Michelle's house and we talked. This wasn't, uh, 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 as you say, bring it. I mean, it, it, what, what, what I mean, yeah, I'll bring it. I mean, think about this. Bring it. Sa okay, I will. Saturday morning. No problems, right? You say there's no problems. You get home, you say. Now, see, this is this is where you're wrong on your time. And then again, I know I know that I've told you here, and I'm not about to sit there and lie to you. I know that I can't sit there and expect you to remember exact. Right, time. I don't know exact time. Not saying that, but when I'm I got not saying home, that, but when I am telling you is this: when you got home on Saturday morning, you told me this. I got home on Saturday morning, and within minutes, she's coming but back. But that, that wasn't the truth because I'm. Then, I know that. it wasn't right, the truth that wasn't because the truth. I told you just now. You're blowing up her phone. Right. For an hour. Then she came so, home. Right. But see, we don't want, we, you know, I wouldn't want right. you to tell me the truth earlier. Now, the thing, I'm, I'm bringing this all out. Now you're thinking, okay, maybe no, I'm not thinking that. Truth. Right, because I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, uh, Am uh, I reminding you of stuff? You're not reminding, you, you're, that was three years ago. Dude, how so, would you forget that? How would we I forget were, that? We were talking about, we were talking about. This is how I forget that. The way you talked about the love of your life. I, could tell I didn't tell her that was the love of I didn't say that was the love of my life. What I'm saying is, is that the way you're portraying it in this room. I didn't say that was the love of my life. Okay. I said we were in a relationship. It, yeah, and you loved her, her very much. I cared for her. You loved I mean, her too. I cared her. I cared, I cared for her. And and the love started uh, 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 dying when she didn't pay attention to what was breaking us up. What was breaking you up? The, 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 the parties, the, 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 the financial uh, uh, deals that she didn't. She wanted my money, but she wasn't paying bills with it. So, so, okay, were there any problems going on between you two that's creating this issue? Because what you're saying is everything is on her side. No, 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 no. On my, no, this, well, this is on my side. Okay. On my side uh, of the relationship, I can get a bit, a bit abrasive in my tone. I think about, so. About, we have witnesses to that. About, well, not nothing. She busts me in my head. I don't put my hands on her. I can talk to her kind of. Kind of, they never uh, witnessed me cussing crash. I don't call her foul names. Have you ever put your hands on her? No, well, I grabbed her to keep her off of me. Have you ever punched her? No. Have you she, ever? No. Have you ever, for any reason, created any type of situation where you guys got into a knockdown, drag out fight where, where be injuries or blood or anything? No. Not, never, never in a situation. When she pushed right, me from behind, with the exception of that incident right she there. She pushed me from right, behind because you told me about that incident earlier. So, right. And I'm I, and I'm riding in your taxi on that incident because I talked to Michelle about that incident. She remembers you coming over to her house right. or something, saying some story about being jumped by oh, some guy. Be right? in this taxi. But what um, I'm saying is, is that other than that particular incident on your forehead, had you ever been involved in any type of situation with her where and it doesn't and I'm I'm talking about all situations a physical confrontation situation with her between you and her where basically it's a knockdown drag out you guys are both getting injuries and you guys are bleeding have you did you ever get in a situation like that with her no i know what you're talking about i'm we, asking we no, we got in a situation in the bathroom uh, uh 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 when we left the club it was always because of uh uh me doing her saying something at the club and she came in the bathroom and pushed me up against the wall and it busted my nose right. and there was blood on the wall but in the bathroom. Were, but there were times at clubs where you wouldn't want her on the dance floor with people. You would pull her off. I have witnesses to all that. That is not a normal relationship. That, look, I didn't pull her off uh, of the dance floor. I, I just did what she did to me. I said, Passion, if you pull me away from, like, for example, when I got this gas, mm -hmm. it was because we was at a club, mm -hmm. and someone came to speak to me, and she said, don't speak to the, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so. I'm like, that's just a, a friend, X, Y, and Z. And then she went to the restroom, and the old girl was... Uh, like dancing near me, but I'm just standing there talking, waiting on her to come out the restroom, right. and that threw her off. Mm -hmm. And so when she got home, she pushed my head up against the desk. You don't dance with no so and so when I'm around. You don't. You don't do this. You just. You just be around me when I'm out. I'm this, that, and other. So if you treat me like that, I'm gonna treat you like that. Okay. So no, I, and it's only one time when we at the club because we didn't go out often, mm -hmm. and I, I know that time down at the Elks. I'm like, no, we're here for a party. Let's just kick it. Come on over here. 
you know, then I whisper in the ear. Remember you did that to me? Yeah. But the, but the thing is, is that so no, I don't think I'm for. Okay, but portraying it as that this relationship is 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 great. It it, it, it look look. look that, there, there's obvious times there's not, but I'm not saying that, that. that all relationships are great because they're not. I'm look not that. suggesting. Look that. Look that. I just don't want you to portray that it's perfect because it's not. I didn't say it was perfect. If it was perfect, she'd have well, got my check. And I guess I shouldn't say perfect it, right. in a sense, but. I never you were talking perfect. about a loving relationship where people have never seen you have problems with her. And I'm telling you, we have people who've seen you have problems with her. Those people have. have and, and, and that, don't mean, that don't mean I murdered her. No, I didn't say that. But, I mean, we even have our own friends saying that, you know, we even have our own friends saying, well, you know, I can see why Patrick would be upset with her. And I'm like, well, why? And and she'd be like, well, because there are times where Patrick and I would talk to him like a child. True? Talk to you like a child? No. Well, <laughs> They are witnessing this. They're hearing this on phones. They're hearing it in conversations. Where Pastor Dana would, would like always that. leave the room. First of all, that's a bunch of bullshit. So okay. we would leave the room okay. and talk on the phone. And our, our, our disputes, uh, my tone is like this. I mean, she could say foul shit, well, but I might say foul shit back. But it's not a strong tone. It's not, it's not like I was being demeaned okay. to the point where it was upsetting me. Okay. I, I, wouldn't let, I wouldn't let that happen. Okay. Because I always saw a way, there was a way out for me. Okay. I could always go, and I always been back and forth to Michelle's house. Right. I'm like, I, I don't have to uh, listen to this, and you you need my support. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and the more I left, the more she saw that. Okay. But then, uh, uh, like Michelle told me, she must have, when she started telling her friends, I'm tired of him, she must have found a groove somewhere mm -hmm. that said, okay, I can, you know, finally end this. Mm -hmm. Which was cool with me because I was gone. It wasn't something that I was upset with. And you can have all the phone records you want, but I'm telling you, Todd, there's there's a whole list of other folk. Well, and I'm, and I'm sure there are. There's going to be other folk on your side that's going to probably give us a different story. No, the, the, the same exact story that you told me, mm -hmm. because that's how I am. Okay. I, oh, you're talking about the way with the phone. With whatever. the phone, I right. call my family too much. I call. I, I, that's me. Right. So it's not that I was mad at her. Right. I'm, I'm concerned that I'm, I'm more I'm like, Where, come on now she drinking did something happened and, you know not but how would you how not would you, look okay. so and so you better bring your so and so home you better not be X, Y, and Z because okay. you got her phone so then let me ask you this then is that if, if you look at those that set of that part of that phone records there on that early Saturday morning where you are calling her constantly from the house to her cell phone trying to figure out whatever because it's going to the cell phone it's going, it's going to straight voicemail. to voicemail it's going straight to voicemail right then the question would be, after those phone records there, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of calls that's coming from you coming when it comes to Saturday, Sunday, and what have you. So the, the thing right. is, is that you have a tremendous amount of You know concern. why? You know why? Well, no, because I'm gonna you tell have you a tremendous why. amount of concern. I'm going to tell you why. No, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why there's no, no, no calls. Because... <sighs> okay. There's a damn good reason why. Okay. You, I, I, you you can't explain it to me apparently, nope. but I can tell you this right now. There's you know, a damn good reason you know why, why I read that. There's a damn good reason why, Todd. I'm telling you right now. When, when, now when, here, this, and here, when this comes out, yep. when this comes out, when this comes out, there's a damn good reason why. Okay. After I, I did that, yep. and then we had that conversation Saturday, yep. and then here's, here's then I thing. left. Mm -hmm. Then I left. I left Saturday, and then there's a reason why there was no more phone calls. I mean, this is a, this is a situation where you're talking about a person that you care for. Mm -hmm. Where you were calling her constantly on Saturday morning, trying to figure out whatever, like I said, how she's doing, where she's at, or what have you, 19 times in an hour. And then after that, you know, I know you're with her Saturday morning, and I know you're with her into Saturday afternoon. Right. Once you reach Saturday afternoon, well into Sunday night. And I leave. Not only do you leave, right. you never call her back. Correct. And there's a reason for that. Well, th that's what I don't understand. I don't understand that. For someone who cares well, as much as you do about Passionetta to go one you. and a half days Look. to not even to find out how she's doing, that makes me wonder about something. Okay, well, wonder this. Because the thing is, Here is that is. to me... You know why? You know why? Well, well I, I'm not going to tell my lawyer. My, my lawyer already knows why. There is there is a, 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 a reason that will shut all that down. Okay. Well, let me let me ask you this. So go to something else. Cause that's okay, it I, now. Will, I, I will go into something else. Then. Okay? Do you, remember, do you remember the night that she was found dead and you came down here and talked to detectives i came here correct okay you got me on tape all right and do you remember do you remember 
that because you've already mentioned that hey you looked at me you took my dna and all that do you remember that mm -hmm. you remember how you explained you got those injuries on you the garage nope that's not what you said that night mm -hmm. see you're saying that tonight i know i know because well, i don't know what injuries you're talking about okay how do you how do you, do you remember what you told us that night of how you got those injuries because the garage story as far as i know the garage story never came up that night there was a story that came up that night of how you got those injuries as they were looking at you and taking photographs of you. I don't remember what you was going on, but I know. You said you were chipping wood. Now, I, 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 I don't die. I was I was bullshit and I was scared okay. and that was that that was bullshit. Because, yeah, and because I, I agree that with that was because, great bullshit. Right, because I agree with that, that was great bullshit. I didn't want to hear that because okay. I my mind wasn't right. Uh, just, they just found passion dead, okay. and what I said was to, to just to get the out of there. So you can use that all you want. I got a witness. That's what you said, though. I got a witness of, of what happened. Oh, no, outside. I'm not suggesting that you don't. What I'm saying to you is I got that's a witness. What you, that's I don't what remember said. what I said that day. Okay. That's what you, you do. Said. You know. Well, I know I know. And, and, and the thing is, is that you're going to tell me, okay, let's go on to something else because the phone stuff is blown. You know, yeah, there's yeah. an explanation right. for the phone stuff. Right. A good one. Okay. Uh, actually, not a good remember one. The, uh, remember, a the gene, one. remember the jeans that we talked about? A great one. Remember the jeans that we a talked about? A great one. Yes. Okay, those were found at the house. No, they couldn't have been, dude. They couldn't have been. If that was the case, I'd have been in jail. No jeans of mine. Why? Would, Why would, would you be in jail? Because if, if you if you're telling me this right now is for a reason, you bringing that shit up. I would be in jail if, if you figure I did something with these jeans. Because you bringing up jeans, you bringing up. Yeah, but uh, but, but, the, but the question is why. You said the, the the thing that you just said is if you found those jeans at, in the house, then correct. I would be in jail. I would, Why would you I would be, be in jail? jail. Because Why? you consider that a key piece of evidence. Why? Because you've been missing it for thirty minutes. Well, yeah, but the, why would you think that would be a key piece of evidence if all this, that happened this, was? This, this is why. Why? This, this is why, Todd. Why? This is why, Todd. I read a lot, and I'm listening to you. You 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 you, you pinpointed earlier on the the, but you found, you brought it back up. You pinpointed earlier on the phones, but you just told me why. Because you kept asking me about. Yeah, I want to know about the phones because oh, you, but let's you get were back not to, telling the truth. Let's get about, back. Let's you get were back. not telling the truth about what happened on Friday going into Saturday. That's why I asked about the phones. Look, I want to be able to show you that you're not telling the truth. Look, to, to, for my recollection, when I came in the house, and if I called her, but why are these jeans so important? The jeans are not important. But then why do you think you would be in jail if we found them? I mean, I, no. That is what you just well, that, said. You said if I if we found them in the house, I correct. would be in jail. Why? Th this is why, Todd. Okay. This why? is why because you said earlier and your key evidence. What? And I didn't say anything about key evidence. Well, well you keep going back to these jeans. Okay. I didn't do nothing in those jeans other than cut grass. And I doubt it's the jeans I had on because the jeans I had on, I'm pretty sure I kept because I went straight to the party. Okay. So whatever those jeans are, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure whatever fiber. Uh, deal you got it what has nothing to deal with passion now. Passion. You had an injury right here on your leg from the garage. Yep, that's right. Okay, and you had some scrapes and what have you on your knees. The reason why we know that, Patrick, is because you took pictures. We took pictures that night, right, in this room. Okay, this is the same room I think that you were in that night. Okay, you took pictures, right? That's right. Okay. When we're looking at the scene, we find those jeans. And lo and behold, those jeans have a rip right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doing okay? Yeah. Those jeans have a rip right here, which obviously is going to be consistent with some injuries. From outside. I ain't worried about that. you that. have on your legs. Right. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I'm not. When that and, guy and, came and, up. And, 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 and Patrick, on the inside of these jeans right here was your blood. If the garage fell on me, right? Correct, naturally. And on the outside, of the jeans right here was her. Blood. No, it wasn't. You'd arrested me a long time ago, dude. Let me explain something to you. It was. I've got a picture of it. We've had it tested. There's four different areas on the outside of that jeans. Two of them were tested. One of them is her blood, and the other one is a mixture between you and her. No. Yes, not. it is. Patrick, there's no reason for me I mean, to lie. And, and the thing is, is we, that you're, you're saying you would have arrested me a long time right, ago. I, I, I can tell you this right now, Patrick. Mm -hmm. We had that evidence for a while. But you know what? There's more to this case. So the thing is, you have to look at, okay, just because a pair of jeans, you know, and the reason why those jeans are important, you're, you're thinking, I'm not even sure if those are the, Sure they are. Because there's a note found in the jeans. Remember the questioning that I had for you when, late earlier when I said, hey, 
Patrick, do you remember uh, picking up her car from any shop or what have you? Well, I can tell you that happened. And I'll tell you why that happened. Because on Friday, you did that. I have records to show that her car was down there. At 60th and 8th. Okay, that's a you, you went You went into this shop, okay? And, I, and I'll tell you why. I know this. You met a female in there. She gave you her phone number. Got it. And I you put sure it in the jeans. I sure did. I sure did. They're the same jeans, Patrick. They're the same jeans. Understand what I'm saying here. I'm not taking this leap of faith. Well, look. Now listen to me, Patrick. Hear me out. When I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, that's a, there's an answer for that, too. No, there's, there's, there's not, because you didn't tell me that at the beginning. You're like, well, God, no, I don't remember going down there. I told now, you I didn't tell you everything. Well, sure. Why would you not tell me about that? Why would you not tell me about, yeah, well, I did pick up her car, and I did meet a few. Because I didn't, that's not on my head, right? The, the, the van, like I, I know told you, that's important. The Patrick. van is not, the, the note, van. The note she wrote to you, Patrick, you know why that's important? The note she wrote to you was her name and her phone. You stuck them in those pair of jeans, okay? Those pair of jeans were found in your house with your blood and her blood and that note in the pocket, okay? That's what I'm telling you. So these are the same jeans. We are not talking about having different pairs of jeans. Mm -hmm. This is all happening within two or three days of each other, okay? You've got those jeans on. You're seeing this female down at, yeah. I kept my jeans on. Patrick, it's, Patrick, you can't explain it. And the reason why you can't explain it, it, you can say that you kept your jeans on and that's fine. You can say that to your blue in the face. What I'm telling you is, at the scene, we found a pair of jeans with rips in it that's consistent with your injuries. It's got your blood and her blood on there. And then we have the note in the pair of jeans. I know for that a fact that not, her blood is not on my jeans. It is. There's no doubt. And then I'll tell you another thing. Okay? And if it's from some pre uh, previous, I know for a fact Big Daddy, listen. that... Listen to me, Patrick, when I'm telling you that her jeans, I mean, her blood was not on my jeans. Well, guess what? Your blood, your blood is also on. Uh, that, I was your, outside. Your blood was also on the shirt she was wearing. And, and you want to know why? You want to know why we did the case the way we did it? Because the thing is, Patrick, when you're sitting in here preaching to me about you better do a, a complete investigation, you need to do this, if you can sleep at night and what have you, I can tell you this right now, Patrick. I'm not suggesting that this investigation was done every day. I'm not saying that. Okay. What I am telling you is, over months and months and months, we worked this investigation. And as we kept on working it, pieces of evidence were coming forward. Phone records were coming forward. Witnesses were coming forward, okay? Did we have the genes with the blood on it? Yeah, we had that for a while. And I'm not suggesting we didn't have that for a while. But I can tell you this right now, is that given the circumstances of this type of case, you should be thanking us that we just did snatch your ass up off the street at that point. We decided not to. The county attorney's office said we need to look at a little bit more. So we started looking at a little bit more. We started testing oh. some more items relating to DNA and what have you. Oh. And Patrick, I can tell you this right now, there's an area on the front of her shirt that's probably maybe an inch, I'm not sure, your blood only. No one else's blood, Patrick. No one else's blood. Your blood only on the front of her shirt. There's a small area near the neck. You and her are in that area for DNA. You are the major... I mean, I, I may loved her that night. You bled on her shirt? No, no, no. You bled on her shirt? I, I kiss her and DNA all over. Blood. Patrick, I'm talking about blood. On her shirt? Yes. I doubt that. Okay. Why would I fucking lie to you about it? Why would I lie to you? You're wondering why you're sitting in that chair? I am telling you, Patrick, there is physical evidence to show that you're the person responsible for this. But the thing that I don't understand is why? I mean, if you guys had a loving relationship, and I understand and what have you, I get that. But I can tell you this right now, Patrick. There is physical evidence to show that you're the person responsible for this. I have told you two of the pieces right now, okay? And the, and, and the shirt is the kicker. I mean, the jeans, why do you think we didn't file on it at that point? The shirt is the kicker, Patrick. No, you can have my DNA that, 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 that weekend. No, no, we didn't have your blood, Patrick. The thing is, is that you're going to try to now sit here and claim some bullshit. Oh, not. And I can tell you this right now. Oh, there's not. blood on the front of her shirt, on the no. front of her shirt, that belongs to you. I find that hard to believe. Don't, you know what? We'll get the DNA analyst up there to prove it. And you're sitting there going, well, you know what? When this is all said and done, it, it's going to be fine. I can tell you, dude, when a DNA analyst gets up on, on the stand and they're explaining that your blood is on the front of her shirt in two different areas... You're going to be the one who's going to be wondering what's going on. Well, not us. Not wondering. We had fights before. Oh, oh, no, 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 Patrick. Before, you said we don't fight. 
No, I said it. I asked you. That one time that blood blood went everywhere when you busted my nose. I told you that. Yeah, I told totally you that right. all over the bathroom wall. So right. who knows what she had on? Sure, was she wearing her pajamas, Patrick? Because yeah, she was in her pajamas. It, she was in her pajamas. Yeah, our fight, was, our fight in the bathroom was she, early in the morning. She was in her pajamas. Is that what you're telling me? In the bathroom, you told me that happened at a club. No, 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 no. no. When we went home, witness this fight. All right. You can pull. You can. You can pull. Uh, witness it. Okay. Patrick. She bloodied me up more on more than one occasion. Okay. In, 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 in her pajamas, in her. Do, do you think that makes sense, Patrick? That somebody is going to bloody you up on more one occasion, and then she is wearing bloody clothing for years. Does that even make sense? Look, that doesn't even make sense. Not years. It? That could have been. Uh, been our fights. Not years. What are we talking about? Years. Like what, what, what I'm saying is, let's even say months. Let's even say weeks. Maybe she didn't re- re- see it there. I mean, the I do the laundry at that house. It's just, I do the laundry at that house. She's got blood all over her. Right? I do the laundry. She's got a speck of your blood here, and she's got your blood here. Are you telling me that she's going to continue wearing that? No, Patrick. That, hey, I tell I you whether it makes sense or not. I do the laundry at that it house. It doesn't make sense. I do the laundry at that house. It doesn't make sense. I do the laundry at plus, her laundry. Plus, you've got the blood on the jeans with the ribs in it. So, okay, explain that. You can't explain it any of it. But the lawyer will. Well, sure, he can explain it. Sure. I'd like to know how he's going to explain how your blood got on her shirt that was found on her when she was dead. Okay? I'd like to know how that's explained. Hey, well. Okay. I just explained it to you. I mean, it could have happened anytime. But when, when, when she came home and Patrick. when she changed, she grabbed, listen. You know how that junkie that house is. That house is not well kept. Sure, I'm, 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 the house is not. Let me just finish this. And this is this is for your knowledge only. Uh, well, not only. I'm pretty sure folks will listen. You go up them steps, the big uh, 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 thing of clothes, and the, the other thing of clothes, and the laundry, and another uh, problem hours, because I was the only one to do laundry. And whatever stays there, and what she, she'll grab, she wouldn't grab, now, uh, uh, now, if it was something nice, like a, 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 a dress or some stuff, the nice shit she wore to the play. Now, we, we never fought none of that. Now, if it was some of my blood on some of that, that that's different. But pajamas, when we wake up or yeah, but, go to bed. But, but, but here's the problem, Patrick. Here's the problem. With the exception of one incident, you tell me I've never had any instance with her where we have fought where she would have blood on anything. Here you are now saying, no, well, if, if we fought one time. No, yeah, but then now you're saying. At the, end of this, at the end of the interview, Todd, right. I'm not going to argue with you. You, no. asked, you asked me, have you ever had a knockdown, drag out, blood out? And I said, no. I have been bloody right. a lot of times. No, you did One time. This one time, time and the busted nose other time and uh, maybe another case. But her son witnessed it all. He, he didn't witness me whooping her ass. He witnessed me bloody. Yeah. So that's how you're going to explain it. It, I, don't have, I, don't, I don't have to explain it. You don't. It's it's in the it's it's the, the proof will come out. How, we, how? We, we've had we have physical evidence at the scene that puts you at the scene. No, Your not, blood on her shirt. Not at the scene. Yes, we do. I live with her and we fall. Okay, so what? And I did the laundry. I mean, so what are you? That I'm, all I'm saying is when, when she's rushing that day to get outside to uh, 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 to do whatever. Because she had just got out the, the, the tub, mm-hmm. and whatever she threw on... Mm-hmm. Uh, was probably bloody at that time. Was out of, out of the dirty clothes, mm-hmm. or out of, you know, just grabbing shit. Mm-hmm. Another conversation that we've had a hundred times. Because if I don't do the laundry, it just sits there so and piles the f*** up. Okay, so what you're saying is that that could be bloody clothing just laying there. Does that make sense to you? It makes sense because I do the laundry. Okay. No, I'm not saying that. Does that make sense to you? That it's not going to make sense to you because you're a cop and you want me to be guilty of this. And mm. the conversation is almost over. You you, okay. you want me to be guilty of this no matter what shape. I mean, that you can you can spin all this blood and, and evidence. I'm, I'm glad I know this. Okay. I mean, because it's... You well, know, you, you've tried to explain it, and I, I'm okay with that, too. I'm not, I, don't have to, I don't have to explain it. I mean, that's the same thing as the wood chipping thing. Ludicrous statement. But, but, you, but you know what? Well, I did a wood chipping, and now I did it because of, uh, I'm sorry, because of the garage door. Look, let's be clear. Which which actually, if I'm not mistaken, and, and again, I may be, you know, I won't even say it because I'm not sure if I'm even right on that statement, so I'll wait. Well, the wood chip came because I was scared and nervous and wanted to get the f*** 
out that room. So you just said it, just to say said it? Said anything, because I wanted to get out. I, I just okay. got some terrible news. Okay. Which is not true, obviously. The wood chipping thing's not true. You don't wood chip. The, the guy, the guy, the guy at the at my neighbor who came out to help me getting beat up by that garage mm-hmm. is he, a witness to all of that. Right. Witness to the garage thing. Correct. Yeah, but how, how is he a witness to her I, being on your jeans? That, look, again, we oh. fought a thousand times. Okay. So you would have bled on those jeans, too? Look. Yeah, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, if I'm she, fighting, it, it, if I'm here, fighting here, here, someone. Here, here's the thing, though, but you're not explaining it. We fought a thousand times. She wasn't bloody. Me, I was bloody. I had the nose. I had the head. That's what you told me. But you know what? Her blood is on your jeans. How does she bleed on your jeans? Look, let, let's, let, let, let's talk. Let's talk. All right. Let's so talk. so, so now, one time, now, 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 we, now we get another story. No, 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 not another story. Sure. I'm going to bring it up. Well, she's not a story. Well, we just, talk, we, you're not going to bring it up because you don't want to tell us the truth. I, I already told you the truth. There when, you when, we, when, I, when, I, when I stopped her from uh, beating me up one time, and I grabbed her arm mm-hmm. hard, mm-hmm. and I threw her down. And I'm pretty sure you, you heard that she had bruises on her arm. I threw her down. Threw her down. This is a person. I, this is a person who never physically assaulted her earlier in this interview. No, 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 no. Throw her down to keep her off of me, not physically assault her. When you throw a person down, what? It, I mean, you are you 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 weigh eighty pounds or seventy uh, pounds heavier I, than I her. I pushed her down to the bed. She jumped up, threw a, 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 a candle at me. I'm already trying. I'm trying to leave. Mm-hmm. I'm protecting myself. Right. I've never brought harm to her. Okay. And once or twice, the uh, 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 with me bleeding, I'm just trying to get out of the house. Okay. And there's a. Uh, don't you don't you think it's a little ironic? Don't you think it's a little ironic that those just happen to be the same pair of jeans throughout this weekend, where it's got the female's phone number in it, the tears on it, the blood on it for her. I don't look. I don't I have mean, jeans. I wear the same pair of jeans on a. Re- and those those jeans that Marvell had, I you know used to cut grass. Not Marvell's, not Marvell's jeans because they're not okay. the same brand. Okay, got they're it. They're so they're, they're my grass cutting jeans. I don't know what type of jeans. They right, are. and I throw them on on a regular basis. Okay, with her blood on it. Look, I'm just asking, dude. You're you're trying to you're trying to sit there and tell me. Okay, you, no, there, there was another incident. I'm, that I'm I didn't sure. Tell you. I'm sure. I'm sure there were no big gashes of blood. And if we had a little scrape or a fight and something happened. And it's, there's blood. We, we fought on occasion, but nothing that would bring us to this point. Huh. So sometimes she's drunk out of her mind. So know, this, this, this is all her fault. No, no, no. I'm drunk too. So if two drunks are fighting, then we end up making up. No, no, it's not all her fault. If we, if but I mean, Patrick, you were portraying this earlier as we don't fight. We don't fight. You're, that's what you're portraying. Now the thing is, now, got, now all this stuff is coming up, and I told like, you about this. I know, and I told that. you about the, the bloody nose. Mm-hmm. But there's a couple of other. But, little, but that's her against you. You still can't explain the blood on her knees. You still can't explain her blood on your pants. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can. I mean, at, at this—that's all going to come out, right? Exactly. At, at okay. this point, Todd. I mean, I'm glad you got that, but if. All them other folk that's on your team, well, that's telling you these stories, because well, they're on your team. All these other folk that are on my team will tell something totally different. Right. And not only totally different. Yeah, and but, but, but the thing is, is that I, I think, Patrick, here, here's the thing. Let's just say this. I think you can look at a case like this, and you can look at each team's side, and if you wanted to, you could probably wipe out every story. Because there's one thing that you may never be able to overcome, physical evidence. People want the CSI effect. Right. People watch CSI. Right. Juries want the CSI effect. Right. And I'm telling you right now, we got it. I don't we got the physical evidence at the scene. We got the jeans with her blood. We've got her sh- shirt with your blood. You're not. You're going to have a harder time explaining it than you think. And I think your lawyer, you keep on mentioning that, is going to have a harder time explaining it than you think. Okay. And the thing is, there may be an explanation. Okay. There is. Well, you're saying there's an explanation, and the thing is, is that my explanation is. Things may have just gotten out of hand. There was nothing Between to get out of hand. Two. So let's not go there. There was nothing to get out of hand. Well, you, you, it's, we, it's, it's, her, it's physical evidence to show that you're at the scene and it puts you at the scene. And I live there. No, 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 no. It puts you directly, directly at the scene where she's found. I'm not talking oh. about you living there. I'm talking about no. where she is found dead. The shirt shows your blood there. Okay? Look, so the thing is, is that if things got out of hand, things got out of hand. I understand that. 
But the thing is, to sit there, it's, all, it's almost like this thing of it's almost like this thing of a kid having his hand in the cookie jar, and mom finally comes up and says, "I caught you in the cookie jar," and he says, "It's not me. That's not me in the cookie jar. That's exactly what's going on here. Evidence to show he's in the cookie jar. Evidence to show that you're at the scene, that you're right there, where she's killed." And there's blood to show that. Now, I think, you know, the explanation may not be, okay, Todd, you know, yeah, I meant to do this shit, exactly what have you. But the explanation could be things got out of hand. It got out of hand between us. And if that if that's what happened, that's what happened. The guy stepped on me, so I'm... Okay. That, that's, that's not what happened. Because... Then how do you explain? You're, you're going to keep... You're going to... Well, again, I told you, I, I didn't tell you everything. Well, and there's a reason for that. All right. I told you this earlier when you said... So you're going to be... What you're telling me then is that if you didn't tell me everything, can I ask you this? You, you The rest of the story that you're going to tell later, whoever you're going to tell it to... Now, not the rest, there's some pieces in there is, that's is, missing. ...is going to be able to explain the physical evidence at that scene yes. of why, why your blood would be on her shirt. Correct. But, but the thing is that you told me earlier that can't be. You told me earlier about the pants. That can't be. Now you're saying, well, I know there's... But then there's I'm thinking, okay, maybe... The, I'm thinking this time. Uh, whatever I'm thinking this that if there's anything there concerning with me it's from something that happened in the past how and, can you say that and I know it's, it's right there on the shirt she's killed it and I know how does that well something happened that day between you and her something happened but nothing uh, uh, between you and her she was she was alive and well when I left well apparently something happened that day because she's got blood on the front of her shirt she was alive and well when I left alive and well she she's was, bleeding she was alive and no, she, well, look. Listen, Patrick, if something happened, just look explain time. it to me. If you think you got an explanation, that's fine. But the thing is, is that I, I just can't believe how you're going to explain that. I can't believe how you're going to be able to explain. She, she, is, she is found at her residence, and the shirt she has on has your blood on it. How the hell do you explain that? We fought all the time. So what you're saying is you fought that day? We, 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 we fought. I'm just going to leave it at this. We Passionetta, did, did you fight with her? Passionetta, because something happened that day. Passionetta, Passionetta was a fighter and always would uh, try to uh, start some nonsense. I always would try to leave. Try to did, leave. Did she try, try to start to shit with you that day? Try to leave. Try to leave. Did she try to start shit with you that day? Look, Todd, what you're telling me, and I, I'm gonna look you in the eye again. What you're telling me, it can't it, it can be explained. Oh, sure. But I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, throw, that, was, throw that in your basket. Well, I, I didn't throw. There were three things. Three things during this interview. There's, there, there's a lot of things that you didn't throw in there. I, I was well, able, I, I was able to prove. I was able to prove that. Let me finish. I was no. Let me finish. I was able to prove. Well, we can, that, we can that, end it. We can end it. Okay. Uh, there's three things that's, that's going to end. That's going to change this time. You're not going to tell me those things though. Well, Ty, you're comfortable with this. You know what time is it? By the way, how long have we been? Uh, you need to use the restroom or anything. It's eight thirty-five. No, but I'd like some water. I guess I'm not going to get any. I'm, I'm starving. Okay. Okay. Back. Say again. What happened? Uh, you yeah. said somebody stepped on you or something? Yeah. Put these behind the back. No, okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. I appreciate you coming in and talking. So, no, no, no. Here you go. No, no. No, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't know everything. You know some stuff. Oops. Well, oh, that's right. That's right. Well, uh, believe it or not. Well, I well, got, got keys to this. Uh, I, got, I got keys to them. Am I following you? Thank you. No, hold on. Can you watch him for a second? 